Okay, where the fuck are you guys going? You're sailing your way around the horrible plague lands, looking for a spot. I'm looking for that little yeah, right there. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna try to park cold. park right on in there. Okay. Right in there. So you're coming on up on it. You're coming around, and you, whack, kind of as you as you approach the that little nook in the plague lands, you get a good look at it. You do have a spyglass, after all. And, uh... Ahead of you, what you see is what looks like, uh... At one time, it might have been, like, really nice farmland. You know, like, flat, fertile, some rolling hills, the occasional little patch of trees... But uh, it's pretty clear that everything is dead here now. There's like a thick fog. And uh, even like the grass is kind of withered. All the trees are dead. Uh, so it looks kind of like this. There, there's various little like towns in the distance. Because the land is so flat... You can see like really far, especially with your spyglass. It's super flat, and you can definitely see like there are little like towns or what used to be towns scattered, you know, like a hundred miles apart or whatever, fifty miles apart, like here and there. But it's very agricultural. There's the occasional like little farm farmhouse or whatever, but you can easily walk for acres and acres without like encountering anyone or anything. Uh, can I spend ten minutes and get uh, Mr. Ambassador back? Oh, clearly. Yeah, you get your spider. Little Pepper reminded me of him. Thank you, Pep. Should we talk about inventories here? I'm looking at all the heavy Since stuff in my inventory. Kind of embarking on a pretty long walk, yeah. and we're going to be doing some swimming. I want to leave all my books behind. Yeah. I'm leaving my great spear. I'll just go with a uh, single weapon. And, so if yeah. if what you guys would like to do, just to make this kind of easier, anything in your inventory you want to leave on the boat, but that you're going to get again after this, just mark it with like an asterisk or, or whatever on your sheet, like put a star next to it. And I'll take that to mean that you left it in your room. You know, like, instead of adding it to cargo and then having to go through the rigmarole of putting it back on your sheets again later, that's really annoying and time-consuming, mm -hmm. you can just kind of, like, indicate which things are being left. I'm doing two <coughs> hashtags. And probably when you're done with that, I'm going to take a look and just screenshot them for my personal knowledge. And then for we'll the, move for forward. The, the keeping up on us, keeping time. Just to just to know what you've got with you. Should we bring our bedrolls? Do you think? Hmm. Yeah, probably. It's seven pounds. I mean, we're gonna have to sleep. Are we just gonna sleep on the ground? Thames, like, what's wrong with that? Sounds pretty bad. Not a great night's sleep. That's assuming we can even find a safe place to sleep. I'll br yeah, I'll bring my bedroll, sure. Probably gonna be wet by the time we get there. Yeah, maybe it's even buoyant. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll leave behind my set of bronze cutlery. Oh, you're not going to need to cook some food on on the journey? I've got rations. Yeah, I'm leaving cut my cook the... utensils as well. So. Yeah, so we can eat before we leave. Maybe eat once on the way there and once on the way back. So should we only bring two days? <sighs> How far away is it? Well, we're going to eat before we leave and then maybe spend one day getting into position. Maybe one day eat on the way back. Maybe two or three at the most. And I'm switching back to my Lena Thorax so I don't have disadvantage on stealth. Plus an Iron Bell Caress, I imagine, would be really heavy. 
Uh, pretty heavy. Yeah. Um, I'm still taking my iron shield though. So sounds good. Should yeah. I bring my disguise kit? <laughs> mm, probably. Are we gonna try and like dress in their clothes after we take some people down or something? I would rather have that option than not. Okay, I'll yeah. take it. I can't imagine it's very heavy. I don't actually know how heavy it is. I think most it's of like, it is it's like, like clothes and stuff. Right? It's basically makeup, makeup and sewing supplies. Yeah. It's yeah. like what you need to make a costume. I'm making I'm sure take... to uh, put my ointment on before we set out. I'm going to take three rations. Uh, so I guess I'll put a star <coughs> asterisk for... Oh, fuck it, Zan. Can you put th four rations back in the cargo? Yes. Yeah, will, will you put three? Will you put three? Exactly how many me? I'm taking with me? Yeah. And, me to and add three for me, pretty please, with the cherry on top. So four and three. Okay, got it. And I'll update that on my sheet. How many ropes are we gonna take? Is everyone gonna take a rope? I'm bringing rope. Yeah. I wasn't planning on it, but I can if you want me to. I mean, we probably don't all need to. I don't have a rope. Two ropes are probably all right. Probably. If we have to go further than a hundred feet, it's probably not a good plan. Yeah, I've got a I've got a good carry weight, so I can I can afford to take a rope. I'm also bringing my uh, crowbar just in case we need to break in somewhere. That's a good idea. Um. Okay, so I'm bringing ink, a pen, my spell book, a pouch. My herbalism kit, one vial of ink, a water skin, a bedroll, a torch, three days of f my three heads, my oil of slipperiness, my lesser healing potion, and a water breathing. That's it. I didn't have that much stuff to begin with. Packing lightly. Nope. I'm debating on if I want to bring my whip or not. I decided against it for now. I'm leaving my 15 foot chain. <laughs> I, th I think I want that back. I feel like that'd be my 15 foot. I think I'm gonna leave my torch. I don't think we're gonna need that. I have one torch. Yeah, I have one torch, but I don't know if I want to bring it. Oh, I yeah, do I have this lantern too. Uh, I need to take better notes because I literally have a book called Boring Book, which I think <laughs> is the book with the plague with the lot. Mm. Is Boring Book. As far as light goes, as long as we only split into teams of two, yeah, they can keep us lit. I think we'll be all right without torches. I don't yeah. know if I want to take this lantern or not, though. The repeating signal one. Yeah, I mean, no. I imagine you accidentally you leave it, it on and they just. What, what if they accidentally leave it on and they just see it across the ocean, like from their? Well, goes we're not gonna be able to so swim bad. with the lantern on, like. What if we're just like sitting at camp outside the coast and he just like accidentally gets turned? <laughs> it just does It's a candle. I'm not gonna accidentally turn on a candle. Uh, <laughs> Halloween candles know, gonna come on and off. Accidentally stumble near a campfire. I don't know. Spooky lights come on and off. You know. I don't think I might take this amulet for now either. I don't know. Maybe that's, that's fucking nothing. Weighs nothing. Why not? Lantern, I will hold off on taking, though. I'm not going to bring it for now. Don't forget the heads. So it'll make you more more buoyant. What? I my three heads. Make me mm. more buoyant. Yeah, yeah, dead heads. No, don't should, I leave behind, should I leave behind the water breathing tube? Yes. <laughs> I think I'm going to leave all my money, too. Oh. I think I'm just going to keep... Uh... I don't have a lot of money, so I'm taking what I have with me. Nine gold, 18 silver, 20 copper. Just pocket change. I think I will leave my money, though. Yeah, I'll I'll just bring, like, five gold. So, all money but five gold. I, I should let you guys know before we set about doing this, I don't have a very high stealth check, but at least I won't have disadvantage on it. What's your stealth check? Like plus, plus two. two. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not good either. <laughs> Probably about the same as the rest of us. 
other than me. You, Matt, yeah. what, you have like plus three. Me? Yeah. Plus three. Yeah. yeah so like, it's not that bad. Okay. I think we have a net positive stealth score for our our group. Yeah, I've got plus two. Yeah, so we're, we're all we're all, all right. Probably one of the more stealthy D and D groups. To Actually, be probably right. Yeah, most people have zeros or negatives, negatives or disadvantage. And disadvantage. Yeah. <sighs> oh, okay. Um, my thing's pretty well set. Oh, I'm leaving behind the short sword. <laughs> How'd you get? Oh, should I bring my crossbow? Yeah, yeah I should bring my crossbow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> bring your crossbow and some bolts. Yeah. I'm gonna bring my dagger because I don't know. You know, I might need it. You're gonna walk up yeah. and slit some guy's throat in his sleep. Yeah, the first time I'll ever use the dagger. We don't. I don't know that will <laughs> happen. He's <laughs> gonna go all serial killer. I'm like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> How badly do you think we're going to need thieves' tools, though? Probably Extremely. not too bad. We might need them. Though. I would think so, yeah. If we're, if we're yeah. Doing that. Okay, you were joking. Good. Okay. <laughs> Probably should bring the crowbar, too. I am bringing yeah. the crowbar. No, we don't need a crowbar. If your thieves' tools fails, it's our backup plan. <laughs> Can we just go naked, like, with <laughs> armor? <laughs> Who needs undergarments, this right? This is an awful idea. <laughs> I think I'm ready. I think I've got everything marked that I'm not bringing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, same here. Same here. I'll just need to change my spells a little tiny bit, like one spell. I think I want Unseen Servant. Wait, is Unseen Servant? It is. Okay, yeah. never mind. I'm good. Unless I want Grease. Do a little Grease. I'll move all the stuff that I'm leaving down to the bottom of my list. Alright, what do you guys got prepared just so we can like plan for this? All right. Well, for me, I've got mage armor, magic missile, shield, false life, invisibility, blindness, deafness, spider climbing. Okay, invisibility is a a must pick. Mm -hmm. I've got those prepared, and then on addition, I've got animal messenger, entangle, and, and unseen servant, and identify and detect magic and find familiar. Okay. So the only thing I'm not taking is grease and ray sickness. I think the only useful spells I have for a situation like this would be like silence and depending on the situation, featherfall. Yeah, silence is key. Except for strike for like closing the distance, doing like a lance a lot with a guard. <laughs> the super <laughs> sneak attack. Teleport, yeah. Yeah, Zephyr Strike's useful. Yeah, but we don't have to worry about our um our cheat god powers because they're always with us. Or is with us just like the force. And our mentors that die, no, they're always with us. <laughs> oh, oh. Never mind. I had a flashback, but it was a different campaign. It wasn't even our campaign. It was my Sunday game. Anyway, I just got telekinesis, and I've been like literally telekinesising everybody, pretending I'm a. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> just force lifting boulders and like moving people around. I don't know. I'm having a lot of fun. That's right, attention. So I had to get telekinesis, and then I can continue to be a Jedi that I was born. To. I think you guys were talking about spell preparation. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so, I've got what about guiding you? bolt, bless, cure wounds, detect poison disease, create or destroy water, healing word, augury aid, prayer healing, lister restoration, find trap, spiritual weapon, and then my cantrips. Oh hell, you've got part. You got destroy water. Well, hell, we don't need the snorkels. <laughs> part the Red Sea, Moses. <laughs> <laughs> Destroy that much water. By <laughs> <laughs> the time it gets recast, it'll fill. As we but walk, like... do a rolling destroy water. <laughs> the destroy water is in case our boat gets flooded or something. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Good so call. So I can Good like call. get the water out. I like that. Most people use like a bucket. You're just gonna like god that. <laughs> we are leaving the boat behind for this, so. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if there's another first little spell you think would be better. Let me take a look at them. It's hard to say. Do you have uh, detect traps or shield of faith? I've got I've got fine traps. Yeah, I don't know if I want shield of faith. Let me see. It's shield of faith I is could... concentration, right? Yeah, yeah it, it is. It, it, it would conflict bless. with bless. So oh, yeah. it's like... it is a really good spell, though. I love that. 
Yeah, it's hard to say which one is more useful. Like, Bless has come in so clutch for us so many times. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But giving a theme that plus two AC or, you know, something like that. Because I am, I am losing two AC by switching my, uh, my armor. Oh. Just Either when you way. get that upgrade, they Sand just pushes you back down. Well, the... no, I I got to make use of that upgrade in the in Tella. That's true. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I we can't hear you, Zan. Can't hear you, Zan. I didn't do anything to you. You can bring the Iron Belt race. There will be no. consequences. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm not doing anything. You can. Yeah, you I know. Can, I know. You can take. You can keep your shit if you want. I'm not making you leave it. I know you're not. This is like, to him. but if you go, if you go swimming wearing, fucking, <laughs> like, okay, it, it was more for the stealth disadvantage that I'm, that I'm uh, switching it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I found something. This is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take ceremony, and uh, mark. Well, theme and Valen, are, you're gonna get married, and you're both gonna get plus two AC <laughs> yeah. for a week. For that will yeah, for that'll seven last days. But you have to stay within thing. 30 feet of each other, okay? You just gotta stay close. <laughs> Can I be the best man? No, 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 no. Only if no. is the best woman and the maid of honor. Best woman. <laughs> you know, I'm a man, but I okay. Thought you, I thought you had to be the past. I had to be the best man, the. Uh... Whatever the girl equivalent is and head usher look if somebody if somebody can have a dog as their best man i'm sure the pastor could be the best man too <laughs> <laughs> got the ambassador as a witness and <laughs> it's gonna be a good good wedding i'm excited thank god this is awful <laughs> I you guys something together that was special. matt are you sure you want a spider for this what would i want instead you sure you don't want like a goldfish or something <laughs> Could get a small squid or whatever the water equivalent is. I like the horses. They don't really make any noise though. I can't even make a noise. They're just they're just a seahorse. Does a does a spider make a noise? Makes little little skitterings. Oh. <clears throat> well, I'm prepped. I don't think I have anything else to do. Yeah, I think I'm. I think I'm good to go. But we gotta trek across this horrible place and then survive a night, and then we can swim across and then die. Oh, maybe we should get like masks. <clears throat> I have like an old, my old tailor, my old, my old sailor outfit. So I'll just grab, tear a oh. piece of it and use it as a handkerchief, bandana thing. You know, yeah. I will do the same. That's a great same idea. here. I still got that as well. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So I'll rip a sleeve off of it and cover my mouth or whatever works I, best. I guess I'll take the asterisk off my tattered sailor's outfit. <laughs> We're just taking one part of it, but well. <laughs> you've been you've been carrying that thing with you everywhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've had rags in my in my pockets, I guess. Never know when they'll come in handy. I'll play dress or you know strip a body naked, but then care about its decency. Yeah, it doesn't weigh anything. Having yeah. extra rags might come in handy. All right. I cover myself in the arcane armor and uh, get ready to hop off. The Is our ship going to be cool here, guys? You think anyone's going to take it? All right, so I'll describe what you're approaching because you guys have been doing your thing. Mm -hmm. um, as you approach the shore of this little kind of nook that you're coming into in the continent, in the island, um, there it, it is kind of just like a beach, but... There are some places it looks like where you might be able to hide your ship a little better. So we're going to just take a look right here. Um, okay. So I'm just moving this marker so I can show you some of your options. Um, so like along this part of the coast is pretty much open beach. So that's like, you're just going to anchor your ship out in the water. It's going to be clearly visible. Um, in fact, that actually spreads all the way up to there. But it looks like it begins to get like a little bit more like cliff face sort of deal up in here. Um, to where you could potentially anchor your ship like next to a cliff where it'd be a little bit harder to find and then um 
up in here is actually the best because there's actually some caves. So you could actually put your ship like in a cave. My worry about the cave is that people might be living in them. Well, they're flooded. Never mind. They're, they're oceanic caves. Okay. If it was a if it was a dry cave, I don't know how you'd get your ship in it. You'd have to pick the ship up and like place <laughs> it in the cave. <laughs> no, but, they're like oceanic caves where it's just fucking seawater. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I I am all for d taking the bit of extra walking for that uh, for the security of our ship and our treasure chest. Yeah, I'm with him on this one. I agree. A little extra walking for <coughs> keeping the ship safe. Don't forget that the little bit of extra walking does put us in the plague lands <coughs> longer. Yeah, which isn't great. It's okay. It keeps us out of the water longer. I mean, we're going to be in the water for the same amount of time. It's just going to take us longer to get there. <laughs> it, it at least delays it. Yeah, I'm going to see the yellow or red. What do you guys think? If we have to do any further away, I, I'd say yellow. Okay, so the yellow, yellow your, your boat would still be visible from sea, but it would be hard to see from the island because you'd basically be parking it next to a cliff. So someone... Like, here's the cliff, and here's your little boat. So it's like someone who's on the island probably won't see the boat. But How someone who's out at sea can just see the boat. How many people have we seen sailing around these parts recently? Um, You haven't passed a ship yet, but at the same time, who knows? I mean, it's a big ocean. Although, on second thought, imagine this. Imagine we, like, park in the yellow, trick our way through the green it actually goes well we're in the central base we find the goods we break out we're swimming across then that's when they like single sig signal the alarm that people are in escapees or they you know let's say they think it goes to shit and they send out boats to like look for other boats that might have happened mm, if they come oh, out yeah. here to look for us if they're green they can just like basically spot us with no problem, like DC five probably. If we're in the yellow, they're just gonna see us because they're they're not gonna like look for us by land. They're gonna look for us by sea. So then, if they leave the island, they're probably gonna see our boat anyway. Yeah, the but only if... way to hide your boat from sea uh, yeah. is to go like into one of the oceanic caves up in the north end. Yeah, Matt makes a good point. I, I would. Yeah, you sure do. Yeah. So let's say they literally summon the entire fleet to look for us, and we didn't, we couldn't sail. We can like safely hide away for like a couple days in our boat until they like give up on their search and then, um, and well, or you make we, a good point, man. Well, it's the yellow. It does yellow and green are basically just as dead. So I think like in case yeah, yellow yellow protects you from people on land. The green is just like you're literally just fucking parked at the beach and everyone can see you. Like that means if we if we leave off. our ship on the green, it, it we're not coming back to it. It's, it's gone. Yeah. Like, if somebody right. in the plague land finds a ship, they're like that is their way it's to just freedom. swim over there. It, that is an escape <laughs> for them. Yeah, they get to finally get off. Get off this awful island. Look, a ship. So I feel like it's quite massive pain and punishment if we don't. For such a small benefit, if we do or don't. So yeah, yeah, it's gonna be awful walking the plague land. But these are just peasants down on their luck. They're not gonna harass us hopefully as much as like Doctor Einstein and the. Green well, I don't know. I you don't know, know. You they, know what they're... is going to harass us while we're walking the plague lands, though? Plague. Well, the fucking plague. <laughs> yeah. got our little the, if, there, <laughs> if there are any people here, though, I mean, they would see like taking like taking us down as like their way of like making it, pretty much. Do oh, not worry. Hands. And if it's... you get the plague, I will heal all of you before exactly. Myself. Oh, that's very kind of you. We've got our handsome but slightly flamboyant healers that keep us healed from the. <laughs> Hey, I left my crown in the ship, okay? I'm not flamboyant right now. Okay, I'm sorry. Later. Take that. Later, you'll be. I'm not Later. flamboyant. I'm not right flamboyant now. right now. Right now. Right now. <laughs> mm -mm. Until I get my night face on, then I become flamboyant. All right. Oh my god. Mm. <laughs> I apologize. Don't get all sassy. Oh, but I'm me. not. I am so not leaving my cosmetics on the ship, though. That is a <laughs> non starter. Gone. <laughs> Don't worry, I brought my makeup. You can borrow some. <laughs> Hopefully, we get another right, hot pot, yeah. Jeremy. Just... I'm taking some extra rations, though, <clears> since <throat> we're going to be walking on land longer. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll take one more day. Uh, can you take 
four rations out of the ship for me? I can. Yeah, give can me you one add more. Five well. to that, because I just want one, one more. Okay, that's a total of ten. Six. Mark wants four. Yeah, four, five, and one. Gwen wants one, and I want one. Gwen wants Does one. Want anymore? Oh, I thought Gwen wanted five. No, she said five total. She was doing the math for us. Yeah. Sorry. I was trying to, and then I realized it would be confusing. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't confuse me because I'm smart. What do you want, Matt? Huh? Do you want rations? One. one? Okay. One of ration. Thank you. There, for there you go. One of ration. Got it. If you get hungry, you can eat your, eat your spider. It's fine. Okay. Mm, <laughs> All right. I'll, so. I'll look it up real good for you. So you guys basically go just south of uh, this this big flooded city in the north end you you go like many like like maybe 10 20 miles south of it like out of view of the city where you find like all these different oceanic caverns you pick out a good one and you sail like pretty deep in there it's like pitch black there's no way anyone could see into this cave like it's completely pitch black and there's many caves so they'd have to even if, like, someone had the wherewithal to start searching these caves, it would take them a little while. And there, there'd be a whole lot of nothing until they find your found your boat. Um, so you manage to get in there. It's, it's dark, it's cold, it's damp. Uh, oh, bada boom. All right, that's kind of good. <clears throat> you're not really sure how you're going to get out. <laughs> um, you're, in, you're in an oceanic cave now. Don't have a rowboat. All right, guys. Before before I pull into the cave, no, I'll drop you guys off outside the cave and I'll pull into the cave. But... Okay, you take out okay. the sails once you get in there. No. <laughs> That's not gonna work. It sure isn't. Um, I mean, I can I can lead a rope for us. All right. Like swim and then climb up the cliff. Okay. Sounds good. So you swim over there, and you climb climb up the cliff, and then uh, so it's a it's an oceanic cave that goes like inside. So where are you leading the rope to? Just to like the entrance of the cave, I guess. Okay. Just right, out, just right outside the cave. Do you tie it to something? At the top of the place, is there like anything to tie it to, like rocks or something? Yeah, you can find like a rock or something. So now you have a rope that like comes down and like arcs into the boat, basically. Yeah, but, I mean, I wasn't imagining it going like directly above the boat or anything, but I was just kind of like just tying it to the top of the cliff to let it dangle down so they could swim over to it. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. All right, so y'all are gonna swim out here and climb the rope. Yep. Seem, seem will go last. <laughs> Give me some athletics checks, except. Jeremy, who just has a climb speed. All right, let's go first. Not oh, me. athletics. Go for it. Zeta. Nah. Got this. Oh. No. I would say zero is not great. <laughs> Yikes. All right, so the first person to dive off the boat is Zeta. <laughs> Zeta lands in the water about five feet away from Valen. And fucking sinks like a rock. He's <laughs> gone. He doesn't Whoa. come back up. Phelan like waits for a minute and he's like looking down. He's like one, two, three, four, five. God damn it! And he dives in. Okay. He dives into the water and he starts swimming down after Zeta. Uh, is Zeta wearing heavy armor when when he jumps? No. No. Okay. Valen, give me an athletics check to pull Zeta. <laughs> just Lena, it's just Lena Thorax. <laughs> yeah. No, it's medium. Well, you're having a little bit of trouble. I mean, it is medium armor and like robes and whatever the fuck else. So like, it's it's awkward. It's a whole person, but um, it is salt water. So you're so like you're both buoyant in salt water. So although it's awkward. And uh, Zeta probably definitely gets some water in his lungs. Uh, you do manage to eventually, like, slump up against the side of the boat with Zeta. Uh, 
And Zeta, you're not feeling too great after that, but you're alive. My whole life just flashed before my eyes. <laughs> Thank Dean you, was, Captain. Dean was thinking was about die. jumping in that whole time, but she was like, couldn't bring herself to do it. <laughs> <coughs> you alright there, Zeta? <laughs> because of you. Thank you, Captain. Alright, let's try Get to keep around. our heads above water next time. <laughs> <laughs> Keep ourselves in high oxygen environment. I'll show you how it's done. Oh my! <laughs> <You're on the roll. laughs> it's gonna be one of those sessions. <laughs> Wait, you rolled two of them though. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, oh. That's lucky. <laughs> I'll show you how it's done. Oh yeah, man, you got eleven. I don't know why you double rolled it. I don't know. Yeah. Is... So Argos is able to swim to the rope and get up. Cause it's just it's just DC ten. Just swim over there and get up. Oof. I'm going to myself quick. Uh, with Valen's help, they they can get up there. It's 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 all theme now. All right. One theme you can do. Right, Theme's one. actually the good one at this though. Yeah, but she doesn't like salt water. Get over your fear. All right, because of Theme's crippling fear of salt water. She hit. She hits the water going. Where, where is she like fucking just? <laughs> boom, she, like <laughs> water trail behind her. She runs across the water. Yeah, yeah she like cartoon style runs across <laughs> the water. Scrambles up the fucking rope like a like a fucking Tom and Jerry shit. Like, right, and I'll dry her off as soon as she hits the top. <laughs> and she's she's sort of panting at that point. Fear is a powerful motivator. <laughs> You did really well, Theme. I mean, it has been. Uh, it, uh, it never, it never get used to it. Uh, <coughs> you're not afraid of spiders, right? What? You're not afraid of spiders, right? No, spiders are fine. Okay, so don't mind that thing on your shoulder. As long as it doesn't touch my skin, it's all right. It, it's right there on your shoulder. No, it's on my armor, then. It's okay. <sighs> all right, maybe next time, Ambassador. He just hops back over to. Remember, Theme's divine legacy is she has resistance against... I, yeah, resistance against fear. <laughs> oh. Nothing scares you except water. Yeah, basically just salt water. Spiders don't scare her. Snakes don't really scare her. They just make her uncomfortable. As they should, they're awful. <laughs> For Freudian reasons. Um, Alright, so you guys are in the plague land. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even plague. that. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. I'm just being mean. Um, you guys are in the plague lands. Uh, it looks it looks like shit. It smells pretty bad. It smells like rot. All the plants are dead. All the trees are dead. It smells like shit over here. Mm -hmm. Can I get this over with? Yeah. Sounds good. good, good. All right, we begin the long trek to Never Never. Alrighty. So you guys begin to travel. Um, as you travel, you occasionally pass some uh, some sites. Uh, the first farmhouse that you you pass by uh, smells truly horrendous, and you can see. Like through the broken windows, that there's a few corpses in there, um, just rotting, just openly rotting. Doesn't look like anyone's alive. Um, you pass a broken carriage with two half decayed uh, horses in front of it, and then uh, about a mile down the road from that, you pass a disheveled campsite thrown together by someone who uh, who's uh, dressed like they might have been the they might have like been the person who who was uh, piloting that carriage and uh, their their corpse is a little bit decayed too they've been dead for a long time it looks like maybe their horses died and then they tried to just walk it and then they succumbed to the plague not too long after that um so far, after about an hour of travel, you've yet to encounter a living person. <laughs> Yikes. Okay, we're not being bothered. We're I'd say continue. we 
I say we avoid contact with these corpses. Mm-hmm. Yeah. At the end of the hour, everyone give me a con save. But I'll give you advantage for covering your faces with rags. Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. So at the, at the end of the hour, uh, Zeta ha- develops a little bit of a cough. Uh-oh. But is otherwise feeling okay. Zeta, you feeling all right? <coughs> Zeta. Stop coughing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brother. I don't Did think I it's... hear from someone that one of the doctors saying it starts with a cough? Yeah, it's like early, early stages. Uh, it takes a while for it to develop into something dangerous. Uh, unless a restoration can fix it completely at any time. Might as well so... continue to just be sick for a while. Yeah, not not worth a yeah. spell slot just yet. Just live with it until it's... Well, it's just a cough, yeah. It could just be yeah. allergy. It does take a while to, to develop into something, yeah. Uh, so far, I've rolled nothing but crits. <laughs> That's a good... Wow. We want to save those for the, for the Death Star. I know, right? <laughs> so, you guys continue to travel. Um, and after some time... Still having not encountered anyone alive, it does begin to get dark out. Um, up ahead is some shelter. There's a, a small building that looks like it might have once been some kind of a stable or something. The farmhouse next to it is collapsed, just a pile of wood. But the stable is still standing because it was like stone. Um, there is a tree near it. That has a corpse hanging by its neck from a noose from one of the branches. Hmm. Is there any dead things in the stable? Uh, When you look in the stable, it looks like no. The stable is empty. Uh, And it's pretty cleared out. There's some broken remains of, like, some stuff. But there's no corpses. Alright, I think we should set up camp. Use this as our uh, shelter for bed rolls and get some food and there's like a couple of torches on the walls that could be lit. And there's two doors leading into this building. Okay. And there's like a... Is there like an abandoned house nearby? It's collapsed. It's basically a pile of wood. Yeah. Yeah, so no one's coming back for this. I don't think anyone's going to care if we stay here. All right. Sounds good. All righty. Do you light up the torches? Yeah, I'll use it with press agitation. Cool. Alright. Alrighty. Do you uh do do you, like close the doors? Yeah, I assume we would. Yeah. Okay, it's up to you. Yeah, we should. Probably a good idea, yeah. Yeah, you yeah. can leave them open or you can close them. I think close them. Okay. That they'll be banged on in the middle of the night and not uh, people walking. Alrighty. Uh oh. Alright, you're in your little uh, stable building here. Kind of sleep wherever you want, <laughs> set your watch. Left <laughs> for use, and I'll just. The doors so, are here and uh, here. Kind of goes without saying, but I figured I'd point them out. Okay. I'm going to give Zeta some space <laughs> to sleep on the other side. <laughs> Sorry, Zeta. Nothing personal. <coughs> um, Tina will sleep near one of the doors. Oh, we're very haphazard. <laughs> we're just like all over the. Well, fireball's not gonna get us. That's right. <laughs> and the twenty foot radius, I think, it fills this entire shed. <laughs> sure, it seems to like look... it. Meh. But sunbeam wouldn't get us. <laughs> <laughs> not shatter. <laughs> Thunder wave would get owned. 
Yeah, I'm sitting near the door, just like, if anybody comes in, I'm like, I'll be right there. I gotcha. All right. Uh, same watch order as usual? Right yeah. to left. Okay. During Argos's watch. Mm -hmm. Give me a perception check. Oh, yeah. You hear sniffing and scratching around outside. Okay. Uh, that's that's fine. I'll just... Uh, are the torches still going? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll put that one out with precipitation. Okay. And just try to hunker down and be quiet, clutching my spell book and pointing the finger aggressively at this north door. The finger of doom. The finger of doom. Like, ah. Yeah. Then you hear the door next to theme jostle a little bit. These are like old, rotten wooden doors. <coughs> Are they locked or are they unlocked? Do they have locks? They don't really have locks. <laughs> you just kind of closed them. You hear like scratching. And then uh, this door down here just kind of bursts open and uh, giant rats r rush in. <laughs> and you go, Holy cow, we're being attacked! <laughs> <laughs> now you're gonna tell us we're being <laughs> not like a minute ago. The door attack. bursting open might have woken me up, but yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, so everybody wakes up. Ah! <laughs> rats. Had to be rats. At least it's not rat swarms. Everybody's least favorite enemy. <laughs> <laughs> Your least favorite enemy, Jeremy. They are swarms of enemies are literally the worst thing in Great. D. They're perfect. Look how many there are. <laughs> I thought it was just three. Oh my god. Wait, what? 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 One swarm of rats, but no, there are thirty individual giant. <laughs> oh my god. I don't have any good AoE spells yet. I've got Shatter, though so that's not exactly <laughs> the quietest thing in the world. So, I, I see what you're doing with the initiative <laughs> order there. We're on a bell curve. <laughs> okay, nope, nope, no mind, just ascending. Oh, am I actually awake for this? Yeah, you wake up when the door slams open and rats flood in through the, the bottom door. Uh, they're Jesus all bloated. Christ. They're all bloated with purple splotches and there's Ugh. slime coming out of their mouth. Oh no. Alright, so I stand up I grab my crossbow and I'm like, oh Jesus. <laughs> and I take a shot at the one right next to Theme. Alright, cool. Go for it. So here we go. 24. Oh, you hit him. Nice. Right. Almost and does crit. theme count as an ally for a sneak attack? Oh, sure, yeah. Alright, so there's a total of 12 damage. Oh, you can kill that rat. Oh, don't worry. Okay. There's only two left, guys. Alright. <laughs> um, that will be my turn. I'm going to move down this way. Okay, cool. Argos <laughs> protect me! Alright, Argos. Oh, hold on. I panic, <clears throat> and uh, the weeds seem to reach out from the outside the hut and start grasping at the rats trying to... Uh, I'm going to do my best to... I can't see outside, so I hope that's a good only five feet of outside. Yep. You're entangling me. Oh, you're getting entangled, so everyone needs to make a strength... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, seems also like yeah. Well, all the rats fail. No, so does Steam. <laughs> okay, it's difficult terrain, and uh, 
They're in their restraint. Well, at least they're restrained away from you. And I'm gonna. There's probably might, might be some more breaking through that other door, so I don't know. I'll move uh, here. Not being used as human shield. <laughs> no, that's my turn. All right, cool. <laughs> I don't know what would make you say that. <laughs> anyway, the top door bursts open. <laughs> <laughs> and a, a rat comes through it and goes for Argos. Dermron, <laughs> it's been longer than eight hours. Oh. <clears throat> I'm going to get chewed on by a rat. Oh, oh you're alright. Another one comes in. Oh, no. Okay. Ah. Ah! Oh, no. And ah! Damn it, Dargos. Right. Give me a constitution saving throw, buddy. Being poisoned? It's not against being it's poisoned. Not, it's not poison. Yeah. Seems pretty good. Alright, you're, you're good. And then I can't save on Entangle. It's good. Thank goodness. And this one rushes through the door and goes for Valen. And misses. Oof, thank goodness. Zeta! <laughs> it's rat! Zeta, there are rats everywhere, help! <laughs> <laughs> Why did I turn the torch off? Help, Zeta! <laughs> Shit, I'm stuck! Yeah. Can you turn the torch yeah. off? Okay. It's really dark in here now, Zeta. What did you do that for? I just said I didn't like the one off. I, I didn't do anything. Fun. And, uh. Plus. Say to do something. <laughs> he did. Is it selfless plus or is it the selfish first? Right? It's, I think it's not Argos from now on, right? Yeah, not Argos. Selfishish. Cool. I selfish feel left out now. <laughs> you don't make any attack rolls. You literally just cast magic rolls? missile. <laughs> seven I, times I a day. I can still feel left out. <laughs> Thank you, Zeta. Alright, is that it? Yeah, that's it. Cool. Okay. This rat comes in. <laughs> and goes for Zeta. Uh oh. Oh. And <laughs> misses. Get good. This one comes in. And this one comes in. They're all coming in the north door. Why did I entangle the south door? I thought that was really dark. Oh my god! There's so <laughs> many rats! <laughs> <laughs> hey, this one Good comes god. in the south door. What do I gotta do? A strength save? Uh, no, it's just difficult terrain. It's just difficult terrain? Well, he gets to like there then. That's He'll attack the team. If they're entangled, god, they're dang it. stuck. But if they're. They're just okay. moving through it for the I first get, time. I get advantage on theme because she's restrained, right? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Ow. Yep, that hits. Thanks, Arcos. No problem, rats. <laughs> Where should we <laughs> do rat overlord? Oh, you're good. Good con save. Alright, they're kind of piling up a little bit at this back door because they can't, like, all get in now. They're They're in the way. All right, theme. All right, I'll use my action to try to get out. Got it. Um, so that strength save. Yep. Okay, and got bless oh, on that, but I don't need yeah, it. That beats my DC. Okay. Uh, and I'll. I would fucking hope so. <laughs> God. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a lich and just didn't tell you guys. <laughs> um, I'm going to action surge to attack the one right next to me. Cool. Yeah, plus. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I think you probably hit anyway. You Perfect. hit him. All right. That many. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, yeah, he's dead. All right. <coughs> Move up to here. Um, cool. and I'll bonus action compelled duel this one. <laughs> oh. Nice. Uh, wisdom save. All right. Hey, for once. Not for once. For once, it worked out for you. <laughs> yeah, cool. Uh, so if I attack anything else, um, then it ends it. But all right, the rat—you can hear the rats piling up outside the bottom door. 
like really piling up out there. Yep, so I moved right here to try to stop him from getting in. Wanting to get in. This one here. It's gonna attack theme. He's restrained. Uh, I guess he can attack still attack. You. It's just disadvantage. Yeah, it's disadvantage. <laughs> Miss. There's so many rats. Oh my god. <laughs> Right, Red there's, City. There's Red, Red like, City. They're they're piling up. Oh they're god! Like, oh, oh god! My oh god! Goodness, they really are piling <laughs> they're up. like they're like climbing over top oh. of each other. So one of them takes an attack on theme. Yeah. Oh my goodness! Oh, oh no! Oh, no. <clears throat> Give me a con save. Ow! Bless. Oh no! Last time I'm gonna bless. I'll freaking do anything. Uh, yeah, for seven. Wow. You, uh, you feel like you might have the Violet Plague. Yeah, great. The, the symptoms are not immediate, so. Right, this one over here is restrained, and we'll make a strength save to get out. Oh, yeah, baby. Strongest rat alive. Yeah, he Hulk moves. That was his action, right? Yep. Yeah. He moves over here. And then, uh. <laughs> that red is gonna attack me. Looks like he's speaking his head through the wall. Looks like he's got a ghost. No, it's, they're all like clambering through oh, the door. Oh no, it's like, the door. They're, right yeah, they're, they're like climbing climbing. over. It's yeah, just really over dark. Each other. They're they're like climbing on top of each other. Yeah. Miss. Okay. All right. Phelan. Theme is just like the bulkhead, and this this is fucking pile of rats. Just like, <laughs> like getting my waving. shield up and just like yeah. pulling my shield up and get the wave of rats. <laughs> like oh, title waving up <laughs> against her. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> I'm doing my job then. This, All right. This is, theme. This is basically a rat swarm, but it's a swarm of giant rats instead of normal. Rats. God damn it! <laughs> All right, theme. This is this is for your own good. <laughs> So Phelan, I believe you. Phelan pulls out his sword and he starts like twisting it around in like a cyclonic uh, motion, <clears throat> and the air starts to like pick up in a cyclone. <clears throat> and he like whips his sword over, and a ball of pressurized air just flies over right into the middle of that group of rats, like right in the doorway. Cyclonic. And, uh, what a good word, Jeremy. I applaud you on that word. Thank That's you. A thank you. Uh, everybody in that 10-foot radius needs to make a con save. <laughs> Poor this theme. is for your own good, theme. I'm good. I'm good. Oh. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, good seven. Good chatter. Nine. <laughs> I'm saving you a lot of pain. I know. Yeah, I knew exactly <laughs> what you were doing. I'm like, yes, please do it. I'm fine. <laughs> I'll be okay. I don't. I think they're probably dead regardless. It does eight damage on a on a save. Well, I don't know. I've done nine damage and killed them. I don't know what their health actually is though. Ah, uh, so many dead off the turn order. Ah, oh, the turn orders are turning nice. to normal. Okay, so your explosion sends ten giant rat corpses ragdolling across the landscape and throughout the inside of the room. <laughs> <laughs> Walls and doors. Yeah, so I was actually hoping too that since Shatter does damage to like everything around it, that it would just collapse this wall. It actually. I don't, I don't know if it does any damage to the wall or not. Okay. No, the wall is stone, so it actually holds up. Okay. But it fucking blasts all those rats. They're all dead. You just killed ten rats. Okay. Woo, all right, good nice. enough for me. <laughs> so, um, that was his action. Uh, as a bonus action. Valen's going to uh, bardically inspire Zeta. But I'm imagining. Gosh. What does that sound like? Uh, that sounds like Zeta. Don't get fucking bit. <laughs> That's pretty. You, there's a lot of goddamn rants in here. When you bardic inspiration in the middle of combat, I imagine like swing your sword and shatter and then take out a mandolin and bang, 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 bang. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna hold my hands out in a fan, and coming from north to south, they get a missile. Each has three damage. Let's hope they have. It's still alive. Very little damage. Three damage. It's still alive. Oh, max damage. Now it's, now it's dead. Five damage on the. Okay. 
Alright, this one attacks Argos. Miss. This one attacks Argos. Miss. Alright, Zeta. My spiritual weapon right there. Mm -hmm. That's gonna attack this one. Like here? No, one back. Ah. You hit him. Awesome. It dies. Nice. Nice one. Nice, nice. <coughs> and then... This one give me a... Dex save. Uh, it dies. <laughs> Wait. Oh no, that was the damage for spiritual weapon. Where's the damage for the... Oh, it does die, yep. Which yeah, one? Yeah, 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 nice. It roll. was the one next to Captain. Okay, yeah, they, they have seven health, so. <laughs> we found nice. it. Two two rats down. Which is funny when Matt did six with his two <laughs> magic missiles. <laughs> and then he wasted a five shot. That's because... not funny at all. <laughs> he could have killed two pretty easily, but he oh, did yeah. not. Alright. Uh. That one's compelled duel on me. Okay, well, it's gonna go for you. You're gonna. Well, is Zeta even holding a weapon? No. I don't think Zeta gets an attack of Bob because Zeta's <laughs> That's not even okay. holding a weapon. It, it's gonna try to attack the. He's able to climb through all that stuff? That's a miss. Uh, well, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Yeah, okay. But he yeah. still misses, so it's good. Yeah. Okay. Um,. This one comes over here and attacks Argos. Armina! Is <laughs> that 18 on me? Uh huh. Uh, I rolled another 18. Okay. Uh, can't save for the plague. I'm definitely plagued. Can't right, save for my entangles. Entangles up. Ow. Wow, good thing you saved Entangle. <laughs> yep. Alright, this one goes for Valen. That's a hit. Oh, I think we're all plagued. We're all, all right. we're all plagued the whole together. party has the has the violet plague. It's officially a plague <laughs> ship now. This one attacks Argus. No! Ah! I'm gonna cast shield. Okay. Alright, theme. <laughs> Alright, I'm attacking this one right next to me. Yes. Oh, nice. I think that's pretty much guaranteed dead. Yep. Right. Everybody gets inspiration. Hell yeah. That's like my favorite feature. As I like call so it. I already, ha I already have it. Use it up, Matt. Yeah, it's all I have magic missile. What do I need to use inspiration? Could have used it on that athletics check earlier. Or the yeah. sword saving Con throws. Save. Yep. Yeah. Um, so yeah, as as I compel that thing over towards me, I'm just sort of like waiting in the vines. As it charges towards me, just jab my uh, my sword down and just like pin its head to the floor. Not impressed. <laughs> I think Zeta already had it too. <laughs> so yeah. only, only Malin and Theon benefited from that yeah, one. Yeah, I like to I I use, use that shit soon. like as soon as I get it. I've been critting like crazy today, guys. I mean, it's a good yeah, thing to like use those. <laughs> three out of what, like ten rolls or something? Yeah, I've been four them. so far, actually. Don't use them, you lose them. That's what. Yeah, that's I'm, what I'm, like. uh, I'm moving as well to get out of this freaking entangle. <laughs> one, two, three, four. <laughs> that five, I saved. Six. There we go. <laughs> All right, so All right. Balin, uh, this rat is getting attacked. So here we go. Twenty-two, hit him for nine plus. It doesn't matter. Eleven damage. <coughs> um, yeah, I'll just move over here for no reason. Argos, All right, the Oprah of magic missiles. Every rat gets a missile. Starting from. <laughs> Okay, that's dead. That's my turn. Okay. This one attacks Argos. No. This is Zeta. It's gonna attack that one. 
hit. Dead. Nicely done. Burn the rat! Nice. Is that it, Zeta? Mm -hmm. Are you gonna throw some holy gobbly loads? Yeah, give me a deck save. Oh, that's a good. Oh. Ah, it made it. That would have killed it. Uh. Oh well, Theme's gotta turn next. Uh. Yeah. Theme, there is one rat remaining. Now I'm getting it. Yeah! Yeah. Nah. <laughs> Tried. But it's the immortal rat. No one can kill this yeah, rat. Yeah, for real. <laughs> oh, crap. Nobody can kill the rat. <gasps> 14. Alright, you hit him. <laughs> ah, he's alive! Wait, didn't, didn't uh, uh, Argus didn't, hit him with a, with a, a magic, magic missile? missile? Oh, you're right. Okay. Yeah, Everybody okay. got one. Fuck that rat. <laughs> the Oprah missile. Uh -huh. oh, what, what happened to my entangle? Uh, the fight's over is what I happened. I got out of it. Oh, It's still there. <coughs> Guys. Uh, I don't yeah, feel this great. This looks like it's going to be infected. <laughs> I feel great. So I will cast Lester Restoration on Theme and Valen. Oh, okay. Do you not have one for yourself? Or me? You should probably save one for yourself, though. I'm going to be a selfless individual and let you do it. Captain, it's too late. God damn it. I'll just die with you, don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> Look, it's <laughs> you're the most important party member at this point. <laughs> Without you, we're all dead. <laughs> I might be getting disconnected from Roll20. Is anybody else noticing that? No. no. no I haven't had it happen yet. Alright, so Zeta was able to fix two people. And you guys are about the long rest, so like you'll get the slots back. Good. So That was a good call to do that before you guys long rest. I'll just close the doors. <laughs> I'll just like... Well, the, bo the bottom door got blown off its hinges by Shatter, but... Okay, just, just like roll one of those door. pillar things into just into the door. The frame. door like against it the best I can. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah. If you're looking at it like half blind through just, the dark, just have themes. Way. Just have themes sleep in the doorway, so anyone who tries to enter will trip over her. Oh. Yeah, basically, <laughs> my shield over top of me. Yeah. <laughs> hey, uh... Stick the tank in the fucking door. I, I am the wall. I mean, I was holding, <laughs> holding back a wave of rats. You were holding oh, back like an, a wave of fucking rats. Yeah. That was an awesome shatter, Jeremy. <laughs> hey, sorry about that. I didn't mean to blow you up, but it seemed like the lesser of two evils no, it was there. It was definitely the right call. You were about to get mauled. <laughs> it's okay. I can... You, I'm sturdy. You know I can take it. I know you'd be alright. You really look comfortable in my bed of mine. I'll do that more often for you. <laughs> You got targeted by two party members' spells, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> the collateral damage on theme was pretty bad. I, I don't like the vines, though, like, just in my armor. Not oh, pleasant. They were everywhere. They were all over you. <laughs> Ooh. Disgusting. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> they, were, they were restraining the crap out I, of you. I can take hard hits. I just don't like gentle touches on my skin. It just creeps me out. I don't think the I don't think the vines from Entangle are gentle. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't see that Soft as being caresses. gentle. Soft yeah. caresses. Like, no, <laughs> they, it's, no, no. Okay. I gotta get some sleep, everybody. It's still my watch, and I'll just like sit down, and slowly cough myself to keep watch. So you guys long rest and get all your slots back in the morning. Zeta and Argos' condition advances. Um, the two of you awaken feeling... Uh, let's see here. Spectacular! Right? I... <laughs> That's probably the word that he's going to use here. <laughs> you get a little cough, but then you feel like you have a lot of energy the next day. Like, it really gives you... <laughs> bumps up your mentality. <laughs> Should we mark off a day of rations for our first stage? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah do it. All right, so uh, the first stage has hit, and uh, 
Argos and Zeta, you feel nauseous, and uh, the nausea is distracting. Uh, Not so for you... long, as I cast Lesser Restoration on the both of us. Okay. You, if you want to blow it now, you can. I'm going to, yes. I mean, okay. We won't have it later if we catch it during the day. My finger's like halfway down my throat when you cast. When you okay. ca- like, I don't All right, well, nausea. before before you cast it, you felt as though this, this crippling nausea and sickness was going to give you disadvantage on attacks, ability checks, and saving throws. Ooh! Wow. Um, um, that's yikes. yikes. But uh, the lesser restoration restores the two of you to working order. Oh, Zeta. Is that all don't... of your? Is that all of your second level spells for the day? No, I've got oh. one left. Okay. Zeta, I never didn't believe you would heal. <laughs> all right. Do you guys pack up and continue your travel? Yep. yep. Keep this party going. I'm gonna, I'm gonna How much longer the... do we think we're gonna be in this shitty plague lands place? Um, you feel as though you are now, a, you're approaching this midsection here. Oh god, we only made it that far in one day. Well, We didn't, didn't bring enough rations. Jesus you, didn't, you didn't have a whole day. I brought ten rations. Yeah, you, didn't, have, you didn't have an entire day, to be honest. Because you, 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 you sailed during some of the day. You have to eat some of the guards. <laughs> Jesus. I've resorted to cannibalism already. Absolute monster. Maybe, maybe when we get into the lab, you can find some peanuts or something. They're not people, they're monsters. <laughs> I wouldn't eat a monster anyway. I, I brought some extra rations, so if we if you need some, you can have some of mine. Now, as Appreciate you approach, that. as you approach this part where the island, the island like has an hourglass shape, like it dips in and then opens back up. That bar of land in there is kind of like a valley sort of area it looks like and located in it is a sprawling town or at least what used to be a sprawling town it looks like a lot of the town is now in ruins and abandoned but not all of it Um, basically it used to be a pretty populated place now it's a less populated place not unpopulated but less uh, and it looks something like as you approach it, it looks kind of like that god a lot can go wrong in six months <laughs> mm-hmm. unless this place was already on the downturn <coughs> oh it, it's been more than six months this is where the plague started so you actually don't know how long it's been here you know that uh, the Hesperides heard about, started to hear about the plague for the first time like eight months ago. So then, like this, who knows? You know, it could have been eight. It could have been eight year, eight months plus. So like, it could have been a year. It could have been a year and change. Not really sure. But um, yeah, you guys kind of don't have a choice but to. You can either try to like kind of sneak through the sides of this place, or you can interact with these people. Does this look like people um, are actually moving around, or do they look like zombies wandering around? No, no, they're 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 people. They're they're alive. They're 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 actually in a big crowd in the middle of town right now. Um, and there's like kind of it's some kind of a town meeting is going on right now at the center of town. There's a lot of people there. I think we should go take a visit, take a look. <coughs> they're probably sick. And I made sure to put put on my ointment this morning, so I still got my health. Cool. I've been keeping track of how many uses I have left. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just think we should go. You really want to... I want to cast my vote. This risk. is a democracy. I'm just playing devil's advocate, honestly. I don't really care if we go in or not. I'm just saying, like, if we go in, we do risk getting infected. we got some extra food we can buy. Maybe. But Would we trust the food That food's going to be good enough for us. Like I said, it can detect disease on it, right? What's the range? How far can you see the disease? Let me check real quick. You can... Within 30 feet. You can okay. ritual it before we actually eat it, though. If we did get any here. I really think anything last? that even grows here is going to be, gonna be uh, tainted, though. 
it's too bad about all this disease because it like it made a lot of food. Yeah, probably in the past. So do you guys approach the middle of town where this this meeting is going on? So well, we yes, what do you guys yes say? No Three other. abstains. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't care either way. But whoever's taking, whoever's walking out in front, I'll be right behind you. Um, I don't like it, but we can. If you don't want to go, we don't, we don't have to. But I'm kind I just of feel like it's a, a good a good place to get reinfected, and we should probably avoid it if we could. Well, if they were infected, they'd probably be dead soon anyway. They would. They wouldn't be having a meeting. They'd. They'd probably be in bed. Maybe that's what the meeting's about. You don't see any purple on anybody. Maybe these are like the people that are immune to it. Might be reassuring. Maybe we could find out more about how they've been defending themselves against it. Well, many of them are wearing rags over their faces. Uh, it looks like maybe they're just trying to keep away from the infected. And the the crowd that's in the middle of town looks to be a relatively small percentage of this town's original population. So it seems like these are just the people who lucked out, basically. That that would be probably your best guess, is through whatever number of circumstances, they've just managed to not get plagued yet. So this is like maybe a tenth of how many people used to live in this town. Good sanitary standards. <coughs> Wash your hands, don't touch your face. Yeah. Well, anyway, while you get near it, because I I, I want to go. I feel like we're we're stalling. So yeah, we're going. Since you oh, guys we'll aren't, aren't really making a decision, um, let's say you guys just start moving through town. You can kind of decide why you get near this without really engaging. You, it, uh, it's as you get closer. Uh, it looks to be an interesting sort of meeting. It's the sort of town meeting that involves torches and pitchforks. Uh -oh. um, hmm. there, the, it's it's pretty passionate. There is uh, up on stage is someone who looks like uh, what? Come on, there we go. Looks like this. This lady is up on stage, and uh, there's some there's some peasants helping her, and they've got uh, some girl. And it looks like they're getting ready to hang her. People are yelling and stuff. Um, Does she look and... sick? No. <clears throat> no. But the, the the old woman here, pictured in like the white and red, starts to speak over the crowd and says, uh, We found another one. The one true god, Deus has cursed us with this plague because of paganism like this witch has been practicing in our town. We found a symbol to a grossa in her home. She is clearly partly to blame for what has happened to our land. Everyone's cheering and everybody seems to be super into this. Oh, gosh. Mm. Not my problem. Let's keep moving. Can we see the? So oh, I'm sorry. Does the person that you have up is the person giving the speech, not the person yes. being? Correct. Okay. Can we get a? Can I use the telescope to see what the person that's being being hung? There you go. Yeah. Uh, she's a pretty peasant lady who looks pretty fucking innocent. She's like maybe 16 years old, like some farm girl, <laughs> like basically nobody. Okay. Um, You're really just going to stand by and watch her get hanged? for? She's like yeah. crying and begging and saying and apologizing. And Do we really want to get involved I mean, with uh, Gross has Gross has got rights too. If it was like one of Zeta's clerics, I'm sure, or Pantheon, you'd, we'd be rushing into hell. It is my it's Pantheon. Not because... It's not because of that. It's yeah, just... Grossa <laughs> is in the Theogen band. Well, I meant like one of your, your main people. If it was a sun or moon goddess, you'd be running in there. To... All I'm oh. saying is, do you really want to create a stir before we try to sneak into the fucking base? Like, I don't I don't want to just leave her to, to hang. They're all probably dead anyway. 
I'm, su I'm surprised you care so much. What, what's your stake in this? Not, I don't know. I just feel like it's it's not. I don't know, it's just, I'm just surprised. Like you of all people are the one that actually cares. What is it? Because you think she's pretty or something? Like... No, I said I wanted to rescue him even before I knew what they like. This makes me sick, but we don't have the time to help her. There's too many of them. Let's just keep moving. This is a fucking role reversal if I've ever seen one. <laughs> <laughs> what are we supposed to do if we save her? Take her with us? Yeah, what are we going to kill everybody who lives here? Like, they're just going to come back for her. Theme looks very indecisive. I could, like, magic missile and at least it'd break the right. rope and give here's her more the, Here's the peasant girl. She's going to get hanged. There she is. Aww. Uh, they, could, they could be my daughter or something. <laughs> How old are you? 28. Did you have a kid when you were 12? Like, what the <laughs> fuck? Very young. All right, wizard school. I mean, this is ancient times. Who knows? <laughs> so that you've got plenty of time for both. And then she went across the sea and... I got a complicated family history. Uh -huh. If we ever do 23 and me, it'll take a while to get the results. But it's been a while. Argos, if you want to get involved, be my guest, but... I think the argument no, could be made. I think the argument could be made that Deus has forsaken these people with this plague. That might convince them to re reintegrate her into their success well, society. If, if no one's gonna do something about it, then I'll I'll do something about it. And I'm just gonna like start strolling up and making my way through the. Well, okay. The team will be right behind you. Well, you're a stranger. Uh, these people don't know you. They sort of quiet down. As you push your way through the crowd, they get out of your way. They don't know who you are or where you came from. So they're just kind of like, okay. Uh, and the the old woman up on the stage also kind of like stops her speech and glares down at you. Uh, because you're you're obviously like aggressively making your way towards the stage. Mm -hmm. So she gives you kind of a like, what the fuck do you want look, you know? <laughs> okay. And I'm going to speak up. Uh, does the breast digitation let me boom my voice? I think no, that's the other thing. That's thaumaturgy, yeah. Uh, I'll speak up. I was like, her and her deity does not have anything to do with this. If anything, it was Deus that caused the plague in the Empire itself. Jesus Christ. Okay. Dame's got, Dame's got her hand on her sword and is like just holding her shield really close, standing right next to you. Pain, this people will not cause you your suffering. Okay, uh, the, the, the old woman up on stage in the robe says, Blasphemy! Agents, uh, uh, agents of the devil have come to take our happiness and spread plague and disease. Look, look at their strange foreign clothes. If this Clearly, is happiness, I'd hate to see what a bad day. And all the, the, the people start to get their pitchforks and torches ready and are... are some of them kind of shove Argos a little bit. Or like, who who are you, outsider, to to say such blasphemy in our town? The theme's going to shout. If hanging so, um, if hanging someone that truly means you no harm is evil, then what is good? She's a witch. She's a pagan witch, and she's the reason that my daughter died of the plague. Says one of the farmers, and they all start yelling like, "No more! No more plague! No more!" These pagan gods. The land. pantheon's been around long before the plague. Why would that happen all of a sudden now? If anything, Deos is the new one, and he might have caused the. Hey, give me a persuasion check. I'm gonna use my. Ins I'm gonna use my inspiration. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay. Persuasion. I wish I would be more charismatic as a person, but I feel like my heart is true, and I'm fighting for a good cause. Thirteen. Okay, a negative one. Isn't Thirteen. All right, the the lady up top is like, you shouldn't listen to the blasphemy of some stranger you've never met who just showed up on this day. Perhaps he was summoned by this witch to aid her. Oh yeah, no, the crowd's on the, on her side totally. Um, so the 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 crowd start to get kind of aggressive. They're, they're a little bit hesitant only because they don't know you. You're all dressed weirdly. You're all armed. Like, you're clearly wearing armor and you have weapons. And these are peasants with farm implements. So, like, 
their only hesitation is that they're a little worried that you might kill them. <laughs> that, like, it looks it looks like if you if you looked a little bit less intimidating, you probably would already be like being attacked right now. Uh, but I'll... they definitely don't want you here. They're shoving you. Someone throws a tomato <laughs> and it hits Argos in the head. Like they want you to get the fuck team, out. Team of will here. let that through. I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> point I'm going to point at the person on the stage that's been talking, like, you priest, like, disgustingly. When, when did you get here? How do we know you're not the witch that brought the curse onto them? You showed up one day, too. <laughs> just like I. And, uh, some of the townsfolk get angry at you about that and oh indignant, and they're like, Mother Agatha has been part of Blackshire for years. Okay, she probably didn't cause the plague, then. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Okay, can, uh, theme yeah, the theme wants to turn this off now. Theosis has been an Imperial province for quite a while. Okay, okay. theme, uh... <laughs> okay. Well, theme theme will take a turn to, uh, to speak. Uh, and, and I'll say, um... Like, we may be strangers, but we have come to lift this plague. And Deus did not send us. Uh, give me a persuasion check, nope. Dave. Boy, I might be using my operation <laughs> on this too. Um, I actually have a positive charisma though. Uh, but dupe, I'll use my inspiration on it just to see. Um, persuasion. You want to try and beat yeah. a sixteen? Maybe yeah, we'll get a yeah. reroll. Uh, I, I mean, better would have been amazing, but yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. the 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 lady up there says, uh. We've come to help you. Then why would they interfere with with this? If they're here to stop the plague, obviously we're we're trying to kill this evil witch who has caused it. Uh, but the people are kind of like, ah. Uh, I mean, if you're really here to help, like they they get a little bit less aggressive. They still don't really like you. Some of them are like, okay, if you're here to help, then go do something about it. But. Uh, we're still gonna kill this lady. <laughs> like, we'll let you leave and go deal with the plague if that's what you're here to do. But okay, theme will, and theme will keep talking. So, uh, uh, <coughs> yeah, she'll say, she'll say, hanging, hanging this girl will not rid you of the plague. Um, and I had another thought I was gonna add on to that. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hanging this girl will not will not rid you of the plague, and um. And whatever whatever gods may be true will judge you for how you treat the uh, the pure of heart. And uh, Mother Agatha says, and so too would Deus judge us if we did not exact justice upon this pagan oh, he's going witch. Southern, southern priest on us, southern preacher on us. Just gotta let the spirit feel you. Let Hallelujah! Can I get an amen? We, we must exact justice upon this witch, and oh if we God. let her go, then we will be judged for that. If you and if you kill her, you'll be judged in our eyes. Okay. And we and we are the ones. Another, that, we are the ones that intend to lead you to salvation. Give me another persuasion. How do you know someone didn't plant that uh, holy symbol? In God mouth? damn it! No, hers was pretty low too. So someone could just be framing her by putting that holy symbol. What if it was found in someone else's house? Hey, Zan. Yeah. Uh, from the back of the group, uh, I want to try and like sneak my way in and intermingle myself into the crowd. Yeah. So like okay. with nobody noticing, I've got that so you... feature from the. Uh, do you oh, have? Yeah. <laughs> do you still have like your tattered outfit or your rags or any of that kind of thing? You got disguise kit on. Uh, I mean, I do not. You can just muddy yourself up. Yeah, give me a disguise kit check with disadvantage because you have to do it like on the fucking spot, just to kind of like. It was a nine. Uh -huh. Ah, fucking, fucking good enough. People aren't paying a lot of attention. You throw some mud on yourself. You grab a pitchfork. <laughs> you kind of so, just get in there. So I get in the group and I'm, I'm just kind of like keeping my head down, and then uh -huh. I shout out, you know the. The newcomers have a point. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right, <laughs> all right, theme. I'm gonna let you re-roll that persuasion. Okay. Uh, Valen's. I'm treating this as Valen using the help. Yeah. Action. yeah that's awesome. <laughs> okay. This is basically Valen doing the help action. Uh, so all the people are like, uh, 
You know, Mother Agatha, maybe we should investigate her crimes a little further to make sure it really is hers. Uh, after all, uh, she she's been a she's been a good girl. Her she lost her parents to the one person like she lost her parents to the plague. So if she caused it, then she's already kind of been punished for it. And uh, some of the people should talk. Mother Agatha is like, no, we have to we have to take action. And uh, eventually, <laughs> some of the people are like, "Well, let's let's just look into it some more." And uh, the the woman who's up on stage, the girl they were gonna hang, is is still tied up. She's taken away somewhere to be held. Mother Agatha is like, "Fine, then we shall continue to investigate her crimes, and then we will come to a conclusion tomorrow." And uh, she gives you guys, like, a death glare. And it's like, keep an eye on these outsiders. Lest they sow their vile machinations <laughs> in our midst. And then uh, she sort of storms off stage. If you would give us more time than tomorrow, then we'd be able to bring better news about whether or not our, our, plan to, our mission to cure the plague will succeed. Oh, she's leaving. She ain't yeah. hearing any of your shit. All uh, right. <laughs> yeah, I didn't like her. Yeah, you bought you bought peasant girl a day. They're gonna go investigate. Who the fuck? What does that mean? They're peasants. I don't know. You bought her a day. Um. So Pete, the crowd's starting to disperse. It's up to you guys what you want to do. You could go see where she's being held, or you could tail Mother Agatha, or yeah, you so could do whatever you want. Uh, I'm gonna try to like f to like fit in with this group here and see if I can't like s follow them to see where they're going. Well, the group is dispersing, so people are going back to their homes. So they're all okay. going different places. Okay. I want to try to follow where the peasant girl is taking. Okay. Well, you see that they are. Uh, they seem to be keeping her held in what used to be like a barn. They basically just tie her to a post in the barn, and they've got like they've got a guard. But the guard is really just like a guy who volunteered for this. <laughs> There's just like a dude in there with a with a torch who's just hanging out. Okay, and we're able to take a look around for Mother. Yeah, Mother Agatha is going to. Uh... Okay, you see uh, that building right there. The only nice one looking into. Yeah, it. the the big tall one with the steeple kind of deal. She goes to that building. That seems to be a church to Deus. You know, guys, if we really wanted to stick it to them, we could just burn it down. <laughs> burn their church down? <laughs> I like that idea. Burn their church down and then write in blood on all the walls and floors. The pagan <laughs> gods have come for you! <laughs> Jesus Christ. I like it. That's a great idea. <laughs> First, let me cast darkness over her room so everything just goes Yeah, yeah this fucking... <laughs> <laughs> cast darkness on her room, use prestidigitation to make, like, thunder noises. <laughs> oh my god. Your path is misguided. Oh my god. <laughs> you guys are gonna do, like, a fucking Christmas carol thing here. <laughs> You're going to Scrooge her. <laughs> Dress Argos up as a ghost. A ghost of Christmas <laughs> that is yet to come. <laughs> that, that's <a> Christmas path. <laughs> Mother Agatha, I have come to teach you a lesson. <laughs> All right. Uh... <laughs> huh. so well, I think you... Balin's going to meet up with Argos here. All right, you guys are here in Blackshire. You're in the town of Blackshire. Argos. Who are you, peasant child? Argos, it's me. Don't be stupid. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look, are you really... Are you really going to get into this? I, don't know, I did it just for fun, but I mean, we could. Look. I said we should rescue her. Why not? If you're really that adamant about it, I'll give you a hand. I'd appreciate it. going invisible and just going in there and getting... I mean, I could, or we could like. I think actually turning these people towards towards the right 
like the right line of, line of thinking might be the better way to go about this. How do you suggest that? Yeah, that seems much harder than sneaking a girl out. I mean, what are we going to do with this girl if we do <laughs> sneak her out? Right? Yeah. Yeah, sneaking Wait, her out is, is going to be a very short-term right. solution. But We've we... saved you! Come with us to Central Base! Yeah, we... <laughs> Come swim across the ocean now. If we, if we, we free her... If we free her, I'll, I'll take charge of her. You don't have to worry about it. <laughs> take charge of <laughs> Like a pet? You'll clean up after her? You? <laughs> you'll feed her, you'll clean up after her, you'll take full responsibility. I'll walk her, Mom, I promise. Oh, God. Well, let's take a break here. Okay. <laughs> yeah, good idea. <laughs> Alright, we'll come back and figure out what the fuck you guys are going to do or not do in Blackshire. We'll continue. This is a good tryout for Central. <laughs> One peasant with a pitchfork guarding a girl in a box. <laughs> One peasant to One rule peasant. the box. All right, guys. Give us uh, a central bait. Five, five minutes. All right. Burp. Oh, you've got the climb speed, Mister. I'll give you invisibility and go break. Fine, I'll do it. <clears throat> I, I really right. don't think breaking her out is going to work in our favor. I'd like to try to convince them to delay it, and if we can't, then we can break her out. All right, okay. do it. All right. Go try to talk to him. I think they've had enough of me for one day. <laughs> um. So will the priestess allow us to talk with her? Well, she's tied to a post in a barn with a dude standing guard, and the priest. No, no. I mean, the priestess allow to, like the priestess, not the not the prisoner. You want to talk to the priestess? Yeah. Okay, well, I, you don't know. She went in that building down there. So, like, you're standing in the road, and you went, well, the priestess let us talk to us. No one responds to you because you're <laughs> standing in the fucking road. Okay. Like, you, you don't know. She's in a building over there. Like, <laughs> do you go over there? Do you knock? What do you do? Like, Yeah, I'll go over. Okay, you walk up to yeah. the... It's a church of Deus. It seems pretty mm -hmm. obvious. It's a big fucking symbol of Deus on the door. Um, to remind people about that. Wait, wait, where's... Oh, oh my god, there's so many fucking boulders. Okay, there's the symbol of days. There you go. Enjoy. Yeah. Enjoy it. So, uh, yeah, it's a ramshackle church with that symbol on it. Um, so the door's shut. There's like a light on inside. Okay, I'll um I'm actually gonna uh take my uh my sword and its sheath off and uh sort of lay that outside by the door so I'm not coming in with weapons or anything, being being respectful and everything. Okay. Yep. The door is... pick that up so some <laughs> random doesn't, doesn't, doesn't take it. <laughs> the door doesn't seem to be locked or anything. Okay, well I'll knock anyway. Okay. When you knock, the door kind of just swings. Okay. Because it's cool. sort of just on a hinge, and it's, it's almost like a saloon door in function. And the interior is, is like, lined with pews, and there's, like, a podium at the end. It's, it's like a church. Um, mm -hmm. There's nobody in here. Now, you know, you know the building is tall, and there's upper floors. There's there's some doors behind the podium that might lead up. Um. Okay. So um, I'll I'll take those take those stairs then. Um, okay. Well, there's doors behind the podium. Oh. There's no no visible stairs. Doors. I'll go to the doors there are, there behind the yeah, podium. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> mm -hmm. There's two doors. One on the left and one on the right. They look visually identical. Okay. Um, I'll try the one on the right then. Okay. You knock on it, or you try to open it. I'll uh, we'll knock on it. Okay. There's no answer when you knock. Okay. Like one of these has got to be a stairway up, but I'll I'll <coughs> I'll try to open the door. It seems to be locked. Okay. How about the other door? Okay. You try to open the other door. I'll try to knock on it first. Okay. You knock on it. Eventually, you hear kind of a huff, and then someone coming downstairs. 
and the door opens just a crack, and there's like a chain. Mm-hmm. And Mother Agatha peers out of the crease at you and narrows her eyes and then shuts it in your face and you hear her lock it. Mm. Go away! Mother Agatha, I know you're a reasonable person. We just want to help. I will hear none of your blasphemy. Is it blasphemy to want to save you from the plague? It sounds like she's going back upstairs. You pissed her off real good uh, arguing with her in front of her people out during the hanging. So she she does not like you at all. She doesn't like when you're in a good hanging. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you it ruined really, her hanging. Really, she just wants to, to hang people. Yep. All right. Um, well, given that, I'm not going to press the issue. I don't want to further antagonize her. Okay. Um, next thing to do, I guess, would be to uh, talk around town. Um, All right. well, while Theme is in the church trying to talk to Mother Agatha, the three of you are out here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I don't have a discussion anyone... with Valen. Okay. All right, go. Hey, hey Valen, that disguise earlier that you had in the crown was really good. How about you just go up to the garden and say you're there to rule? You think it'll work? Maybe you're you're a pretty charismatic guy. You just put some put some mud on your face, have a pitchfork and a torch. Look, you know, just like hey, I volunteered, go grab some. Maybe give him a gold piece by a drink, and you know, get him get him to go. You know, I have a feeling that these people have lived here like for years together. I'm sure he's not going to be like accepting of some stranger covered in mud. <laughs> Maybe he's a stupid pet. There is a big difference between blending in with a crowd versus walking up to an individual person and trying to, like, convince them that I've lived here my whole life. Yeah. Well, like a disguise kit thing. You could, like, look like someone else. Put a a wig on or go go Look like one of the people that live here? Like, yeah. I don't don't know about that. (laughs) That's just an idea. If uh, Thing can't get uh, Mother Agatha to listen, then what's your plan? How do you plan to get her out if I catch some visibility on you? Pro- probably not. I was thinking uh, maybe like not saying the that like, there was something going on in the other side. It be like a fire or something that everyone needs to come help with. So if you want to light another building on fire? Not actually light a building on fire. Just give me like five minutes to untie this girl or something. I don't know. Be like, mm. oh, those adventurers are killing everybody. Just be like, they're like not going to blow you. To no, it. I'm not going to talk directly to him and be like a voice from the street or something. You know. Oh, okay. Yeah, he still might not bud. Yeah, I don't know. I think we could just pay him five gold enough for five minutes of time with the girl by the way zeta is standing like right next to you guys while you have this little conversation okay because there's nowhere else that zeta would be so zeta you're like standing right the fuck there yep <laughs> yeah you have any thoughts on this Zeta? or are you just completely done with this i'm kind of done okay if you if you want me to help you in some way i will but i think we should act sooner rather than later the more time we waste the worse it's gonna we could be. try we could try to bribe them so theme comes out of the church around now. Uh, so now the party's all together. Any luck? No, she refuses to talk with me. She's okay. pretty upset. Plan B for breakout. You could just shoot him with a crossbow. Not gonna murder this guy for no reason. <laughs> Not me. Shoot him in the toe. <laughs> Let me see. Let me see what I got here. Turn the turn the bolt around. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I could just blow <laughs> away with a gust of wind or something. Yeah, Blowing out the door. <laughs> the cannon is you can flip the bolt around for uh, non-lethal damage. <laughs> if not, I'll just walk with murder. We're not gonna murder the guy. Like he's just a stupid peasant. He we've we've done enough murder in this campaign. Just make him blind. <laughs> That might work. Though, 
Okay, make him blind. I'll cast silence. Then he can't shout out. And theme runs in and stabs him. I mean, butter. <laughs> oh my god. Or Zeta could make that darkness so, on him. You could make the, the silence on him. The place where she's being held, is it like public? Like how how many people are around? Scope the barn and- it's a barn on the on the edge of the part of town that's still inhabited. Uh, if you went out the back of it, you could just basically go right into the plague lands from there. So if I were to like go into the back of the barn, is he inside the barn or outside the barn? He's inside. He's leaning against a post next to the girl. Hold and on. she is tied to a post. Hold is on. he Sorry. watching, like looking at the girl? Uh, his arms are crossed and his head is leaned forward and it looks like his eyes are closed. All right. I, I climb through the back of the barn and I cast silence on the girl. Okay, it lasts how long does it up to ten minutes. It lasts ten minutes. So I walk I cast silence, I walk up to the girl, I untie her, is she tied, locked? Like what is it? You just you untie her. It's easy. Yeah. I'm like I'm like shh. She can't make any sound now, but I don't want her to make any sound after <laughs> out of the thing. I'm like, she makes she makes this kind of face. She's like and I go, and I, can I go out the same way I came in? <laughs> okay, yeah, she goes with you. She looks confused. Uh, maybe even a little horrified. Um, so you walk her out. And am I able to, like, wave my party down from somewhere that, like, is yeah, in the yeah. center of town? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're, like, the you're way out on the edge of town. You wave the party. All right. Uh, when I get up to her, I'm going to say, um, "We'll explain it a little bit." But for right now, okay. Really so have... nothing comes out. You're in the range of silence now. Oh. So. Okay. I'll scoot <laughs> five feet to the right, <laughs> and then snap uh, my fingers. Well, you cast silence on her, right? No, it, no. The silence is a point. The barn. It, it's yeah, a silence in the barn. Yeah, silence okay. doesn't move with anything. It's just a, a okay. fixed point. Well, okay. So as soon as you're out of the silence, with hushed breath, she she goes. Was, was that witchcraft? Are are you the witches she spoke of? It's not witchcraft. It's God given. We're just we're from the gods. It's hard to explain, but we need to get you out of here. Uh, I can't really have them see you walk out. So you're gonna go invisible. It's cool. Just follow close behind. What? And I make her visible. And and she uh she she you can hear her like almost hyperventilating. She's freaking out. It's all right. Yeah, it's uh, all here's right. my cape. I'll just like hold my hand my cape to her. You can just hold on. We're here and to just help follow you. us out. Okay, she follows you guys out. <coughs> and, uh, <laughs> and we're just leader out. out into the plague lands again. Yeah, we're going we're, south, we're, I guess. Yeah, okay, we're in short term solutions here, guys. <laughs> all right. So you're in the plague lands, traveling south. Okay, once we're out of clear view, um, I'll stop the party. We'll have a little powwow. Uh, All right, we can she, walk and talk. She, does she become visible by no, this I'm point? Not, it lasts okay. an hour, so until an hour. We're... <coughs> All right, well, she she whispers fearfully as you guys head onto the plague lands. Are are you going to sacrifice me to your pagan gods? So you're you didn't you don't actually worship the Asian gods. Uh, my mother did. It was her token that they found. I think we can take her back. No, they're much. There are better sacrifices. Don't worry. I mean, but clearly, she's not guilty of what they were going to hang her for. Yeah, I don't think they're the, still going to hang her. For I don't it. think the mob cared about <laughs> logic yet. <laughs> what, what What is your name? My name is Suzanne. Hi, Suzanne. My, na- my name's Argos, and this is Valen and Theme. It's good to meet you. Thank you for saving my life. Yeah, the, the party nearly hung me instead of you for this. So you owe them a, a big thing. Oh. Well, what, what, what do I do now? Well, I don't know, Argus. You... What does she do now? Well, what did you do before you were... Um... Before all this stuff went down. Uh, well, sometimes my father would have me work on the farm, but then the crops died, 
and then he died and then my mother died and i was living off of what we had left in our storeroom and sometimes i would help around the town by uh sweeping and um i i like to weave but i ran out of uh yarn so i couldn't do that anymore well, you're in luck. How, I'm, I'm more of a, an employer, if you think about it. How would you like... To, you know, I've got a place that uh, happens to be on the ocean. Um, it sails around a lot, so you get to see a lot of sights. Um, but it is quite, quite dusty, so it does need a lot of dusting. And you see these clothes? I mean, I don't know how to fix them, so I'd love it if someone could, you know, fix these clothes up for me. Argos, you're horrible. I'll pay you... <laughs> I'll pay you a... a Three copper a day, is that okay? And you can hang with us and you, know, you can see the world and maybe maybe learn a trade while you're at it. There's lots of places in the world that just to play. In the end, the decision is up to you if you yeah, want to you're come a, with us or if you, want to end up, if you want to end up going home. I, I don't think I have a home to go back to. Uh, is three copper a lot? I don't really know how much that is. But it sounds good to me, I suppose. It, it's like, not a whole lot, but, you know. Could I, could I use it to buy some food from you? No, you can have that for free, and I'll, I'll give her one of my days of rations. Like, oh, are you hungry? I'm so... Oh, oh yes, thank you. And no, that's starts, that's free. And so I just she give starts, she starts eating. Uh, yes, this, this sounds lovely. I've never been to sea before. I've heard that it's big. It is. <laughs> yes. <laughs> It is big. Yeah, we, we could really use more help on our ship. We're kind of under understaffed, so if you wanted to. Just All right, Argos, to... you've got your you got your creepy little underage mate girl. Off. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> She's very innocent and naive. Extra innocent and naive. There you go. I am ashamed oh of you, Argos. What? I given her a job. I freed her. <laughs> You Argos, you, you you know we can't vouch for her safety. I was just about to say I was going to vouch for her safety. <laughs> so, so if, if you don't mind me asking, sir, who are you? Uh, I'm Argos. I've already entered, and you cannot call me sir. It's Argos. No, no. What I I'm what I meant was like, who are not not your name, but like where did you come from? I've never seen your style of dress or these powers you have like um, what are well, you if you've never seen the ocean i doubt you've heard of where i'm from but um i'm from galeen even we don't even know where it is so we have a general idea we have a general <laughs> idea is is galeen another world pretty where much people, really. where people have these powers no no, not 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 a lot of people. no. it's an island <laughs> It's an island very much like Theosis, just very far away. Here, the theme, the theme's going to draw draw in the dirt, so like draw sort of an, a general outline of, of this island. Like, this is the land that you know, then outside, this is the sea, and then draw Failing goes into their theme's the backpack island. and pulls out a map. <laughs> I, know, I, I, yeah, I, left, I left my cartography supplies on the ship. Yeah. Uh -oh. the map, yeah but... And I'll, I'll draw another... Wait, another... we didn't bring a map? Nope. We need a map I, I don't quite understand, but okay, I'll um. I know, Suzanne. You must be very confused. It seems I'll, like through quite a. Lot. I'll do We're... my very best to serve oh. you, Master. Oh my oh, God. God! No, <laughs> I'm not. No, again, just yeah, Argos. No. <laughs> There's no serving. It's Shoot. I'm paying it my employee. <laughs> yes, sir. I just roll my. That's all right, Susan. I know it's a lot to sink in. Just do as we say. I don't think you're listening to what I'm saying, Susan. <laughs> Jeremy seems so amused. I think he's gonna like log out. I'm not. <laughs> Susan, I, mean, I don't think I, I don't think you're paying attention. Argus. Susan, <laughs> this is. Balin's walking. He's just like going. No, Susan, pay attention. Oh, okay, that's okay. Okay. breathe. <laughs> We need... Gosh, she is not safe with us, guys. We really just do, should find do some way to leave say, her back there. Do what we say, and hopefully you'll make it through this alive. Okay. Now, do you have anything to cover your face um, from all the... I've got more disease? rags. 
All right, brought, we, we turn off the screen four here. Cover this in your under face. So you don't get. Yeah. Uh, okay. She does. All right. Just stay invisible. Um, it'll. It's got like a couple minutes, and then uh, we'll worry about it later. We need to find a safe place for her as like as soon as possible after all this is over, if she mm. survives it. Mm. All right. Well, you guys start to travel again, yeah. Mm -hmm. And now we have a maid. Theme will tell her uh, that it is very dangerous where we're going, so please stay close to me. Uh, yeah, I will. Um, are you also employed by Master Argos? <laughs> <laughs> what did I do? No, no. Don't even kill me. No, she, she, asked, she asked Theme, how many girls are employed by... <laughs> how many other girls are there? <laughs> None of us serve anyone else. <laughs> Suzanne, this is important. Nobody here serves anyone else. We work together. We cooperate. What have I done? <laughs> this was your idea, man. We all we all have our different strengths. I protect everybody here. Zeta keeps us alive. Balin kills stuff for us. Oh. Argos. Why is... am I the mass murderer? <laughs> Argos is here. She, uh, she inches away from Valen. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. He doesn't kill us. He only but kills we, people I tell him to. But we look after Only each people other. that deserve it. Yeah. Okay. I understand. So, if you wanted you dead, if you get hungry or you feel ill day. or you get injured, I can help you. With yeah, say it is our doctor. Did you have a doctor or a shaman or a herbalist or something in your village before everyone died? Uh, Mother Agatha. We're not going to talk about her anymore. <laughs> she was a very bad woman. Oh, okay, well. Yeah, I guess so. I think she meant well. No. No, she didn't. I mean, it's not her fault she was ignorant. Yeah, it's just her, it's her religion. We understand people about her religion. Like I told you, this was a short-term solution. Yeah, we're kind of be... risking a lot to rescue, so don't don't make us oh, regret it. It's going to be much harder to keep her alive. Oh, I'm me. so I'm so sorry. No, it's not your fault. You didn't have a, if anything, you, you know, now you're just our hostage instead of theirs. But at least we're not going to hang. Argos. <laughs> I mean, employee. You're right. Thank you for the correction. Theme will Theme will just gently take Suzanne's hand and hold it tight. Do you know how to use a dagger? What? Not yet. She's not ready for fighting. <laughs> Use the knife. <laughs> for what? I've yeah, chopped. Please. I've chopped vegetables. He's about Turkish gladiator. No. Um. <laughs> Argos. Just no. Oh, well, I wonder if to defend herself in case you know rats attack again. This is the fucking best part of the whole campaign for me right now. Is Argos <laughs> awkwardly trying to deal with this fucking <laughs> peasant girl? Oh, and I don't think I've laughed this hard the whole campaign. <laughs> Maybe when Valen dressed up as a as chick. Oh, that, was, <laughs> that was pretty good. Oh man. Well, we're gonna teach you how to use a knife, okay? Guys, yeah, I'm, this I'm, campaign I'm keeping... has had some fucking great moments. Yeah, I'm keeping oh, keeping okay. Suzanne close. I mean, I get the feeling she has like one health. <laughs> like Probably anything not a... not much more than that. Yeah. Yeah. If anybody if anything attacks us, if she takes a single hit, she's probably gonna die just, on the just spot. Just make sure so. you take the dodge action in combat, Suzanne. Just run hide and take she the was, dodge. She so was one much... thing that we like to do is always take the dodge action oh, God, every no, step. No, no, stop. Would, would you say you're dodging right now, oh, Suzanne? If stop. Not, <laughs> this is painful. <laughs> <laughs> You can take the dodge action all the time, but your character yeah. is actually actively <laughs> Rest of us are hiking and Valen's doing like combat rolls on the like, gal like in Galaxy yeah, Quest. I'm rolling around on the ground. <laughs> I'm doing parkour the whole way there. Yeah. It's all all Galaxy Quest. Watch the room too, Zan. No, it's Bloodborne style where you're just rolling. You're the just Dark rolling Souls all the whole way. Yeah. The Dark the Souls, way. yeah. <laughs> Watch that man, Suzanne. That's oh, how you man. survive in this. <laughs> Bad theme is theme is keeping Suzanne close to her, so she can protect okay. her. Okay, All right. Well, it. eventually you arrive at a. You find another building that looks pretty secure. It's starting to get late, 
it's probably time to rest. And uh, you estimate that the next day you will probably reach Central Base. Nice. Um, now, the, the shelter you run across for this night is, once again, a situation where all the wooden buildings have kind of fallen apart. But there's a stone structure that look it's much smaller. It looks like it might have been used to store grain or something. It's like maybe 20 feet across. It's enough that you guys can pile in and like there's room for everyone's bedrolls, but they're almost up against one another. Um, there's only one way in or out. Okay. This might be a good place to just leave her while we're going. Yeah, we'll, we'll see how safe it is overnight. But <clears throat> And because it's a granary, it's easy to see from a distance too because the, the structure itself is pretty tall. Okay. All right, Suzanne, we're going to buckle, buckle down here for... T- um, is there anything you know about this place? Oh, I've never been all the way out here before. Okay. There can be a lot of new things. There's going to be a lot of new things. All right, and I'll uh, start saying it. Unfortunately, we didn't grab, like, an extra bed roll, so I'll She just can use mine. Use I can... No, no, she can use mine, because Theme can, can comfortably sleep on the ground. Okay, well, you can use Theme's bed roll for the night, and we'll get you your own. Well, thank you. She sleeps on the bedroll. And I'm going to sleep in the doorway. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm going to cast Mage Armor. <laughs> okay. A little nighty hat. And then before Suzanne goes to bed, I just want to have one last talk. And I'll just be like, I know Suzanne, you've gone through a lot to see the last couple days, I bet. If not the last couple months. I got a little gift for you. And I'm going to rum it. Actually, I don't know if I brought it with me. Crap, hold on. Okay, never mind. I didn't bring it with me. Never mind. Ignore it. I got a gift for you, but it's not here. Yeah, back in my ship, I've got a gift for you. So something to look forward to, okay? Oh. Okay. She looks really kind sad. of ner- nervous about the gift you've got waiting on the boat for her. <laughs> she's, not, she's not sure quite what that means, but... You know, she's, nice she's, will, she's willing to do what she has to to survive, so... She's, uh... <laughs> emotionally prepared... <laughs> And unfortunately, I don't have any copper on me, so are you okay with uh, taking, a, taking a tab? Uh, yeah, that's fine. I don't have anywhere to spend money right now anyway. All right, well, rest up, and if you hear monsters, just make sure you hide and remember, take the dodge action. Like, like, yeah. Okay. Always dodge. Just like All right. that. All right. And if you see some weird stuff, don't panic and run away into the night. It's going to be weird if something goes down, okay? You're much, get ready you're for much it. safer closer to us. If you feel if you feel mm. like you're in trouble, if you feel in danger or scared, run towards me. No, no. Go. No, that's where you get shattered. <laughs> <laughs> and, and entangled. Honestly, <laughs> honestly, you should stay close to me so I can keep you safe. Correct. Oh, no. That's the yeah. right That's a right better decision. idea, then. He is a very sweet man. Just don't mind the tiara, okay? <laughs> He doesn't and have the tiara it. is on the ship, okay? We've been over this. I know, and I still just like making fun of it because I love it so much <laughs> and I miss you but without it. Okay, thank you. I mean, it doesn't make any sense to you, Susan. That's okay. Get some... I thought it was Suzanne. It's Suzanne. Uh-huh. I'm just going to continue. Argo doesn't even Susan. know her name. <laughs> is that okay? Can I call you Susan for sure? God. Susie? <laughs> All right, Keeping Susan, this girl sure. alive is going to be the hardest part of this campaign, guys. <laughs> You're gonna, you're gonna turn out to be someone great. She's gonna be with us forever now. I I would like to find a better place for her to live. Maybe at that other island, that other we'll, city. Don't worry about that. But we can we can drop her off at Nuri. <laughs> <laughs> Good God. No. We'll worry about that. No. Snake people. We brought you an offering. <laughs> you can put him in the pit with the guy with the broken leg. <laughs> oh. Man. <laughs> this was a bad idea. <laughs> All right, good night, everyone. Wake me up and it's my watch. No, just... <sighs> All right, well, tonight actually goes by uneventfully. Oh, nice. You managed to get through this long. The dice were nice to you. Nothing fucking swarms your place in the night. Good. <laughs> okay, um, I want to swap out, swap out spells. Okay, you're swapping some spells. All right, done. I knew what I was going to get. You have anything okay. that'll help her survive here for a few days? Ah, uh, a few days. Yeah. Can anyone use these heads in, or do you have to know how to do? Ma- uh, 
like technically anyone can use the head, but I don't think there's any way this peasant girl is going to, number one, want to touch the severed heads. <laughs> number two, understand what the fuck she's even doing. You know what I mean? Like, anyone who is who understands, like, anyone who's an adventurer... Anybody that has a level oh, in one class. Oh, it's a magic item. I can activate it. Like, yeah, but she, this is like a 16-year-old peasant girl. She doesn't even have, like, a level in yeah. common. Like, have a, a level in a class in order to use this. A level one commoner is, like, an adult commoner. She's, like, level 0. 0.5. She's not even, like, a full commoner yet. Um, we're going to leave you here. Uh, kind of like, when we see the shore from a rat, like, if I stick my head uh, I mean, because the land is so flat, yeah, but it's pretty far away. Okay. We've got a really important mission that we have to go on. Um, we might get killed. Uh, I don't know how long we're going to be gone, but I would just give it a couple days. Um, and if you don't see us in like three days, um, what do you guys, I just kind of look at my party, find a way back to the ship. She's not going to know where the ship is. She's not going to know where the ship is. She's not going to no. survive to get to the ship. We'll come back for you, Susan. Um, just hunker down here. Be safe. Take some... Uh, I don't have any... I'm, I'm giving her four days of rations. I'm asking you for my food. I don't have much food. I was like, unfortunately, don't... Is there, like, any barrels or anything in here that's... No. Okay. I don't have any way to get her water. I'll, I'll share water with someone else, so I'll just give her my water. Right, so here's some water. Here's some food. I, I, my my background feature allows me to resist thirst and starvation longer. So I mean, so I'll share your water skin then. I'll like, okay, yeah, I'll, my I'll water. give her. Yeah, if you can try to ration it for as long as you can. Don't don't go. Don't drink it all in the first day. And we'll we'll try to come back for you. We will come back for you. And here, I hand her my dagger and a potion of healing. Wow. I say, oh, use this if you have to to protect yourself. And this is for if you get injured, not if you start getting sick. I can take care of you if you get sick once we come back for you. But this is like, let's say you trip and you scrape your knee and it really hurts. But save it for something that really hurts, okay? So okay. This, this will Thank save you. your life, potentially. Here you go. Thank we'll you be back. back. Valen takes like five minutes to kind of go over like some... Uh, like stealth theory, like yeah, give us some places to hide, <laughs> some yeah. tips on like hiding and things like that. Theme will okay. theme will cover the basics of sticking with the pointy end. <laughs> I look at I look at my Stick party and, I, and a single tear just rolls down my cheek at how how helpful and friendly they're being. This year. Aww, I was like, you guys are so great. Uh, there goes my dagger. I, I knew that's why we're together. Look at what great we things we can do Say together. Not. Here you go. You can have my spare dagger. Oh, thank you. So, in case I have to stick someone with the pointy end. Alrighty. Alright, so Rest do you have any there. other questions for us? we got to go and do a really important mission. No, please be safe. <sighs> come back. Please come back. I'm more worried about you than I am of us. Yeah, we'll come back for you, I promise. I kind of want to use a spell slot on her. I don't know if one spell slot will make a difference for today. So I will... Can I cast two of these? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to touch her with uh, Mage Arm. Okay, you're pretty sure you're going to reach Central Base today. Uh, Alright, you'll be fine, Susan. I don't recommend spending spell slots. Yeah. I just want you to be safe, okay? Alright. Good luck. Do you have questions? No. Susan. Try to keep yourself busy, but also safe. Don't be too bored. I wish I had something to entertain Okay. I left my morning book back on my boat. Okay. All right, we're going to go now. Okay, bye-bye. Argos! We're leaving. All right, let's go. I hate... To... Like, as we... As, like, once we're, once we're like, on our way out of, and, like, away from the theme, we'll just say, I hate to be the pessimist, but she's, we're going to find her dead when we come back. Yeah, we'll give you that idea. Let's, let's hope not. I think we did a great thing here. All right. She would have been much safer at the village. Mm, have you debatable. seen the village? <laughs> <laughs> if we could, could have convinced the people to let her stay. That didn't seem to work out very well, though, did it? 
Well, I didn't. We didn't get the chance to talk with the people, just the priestess. But whatever, it's behind us now. That was masterful breaking her out. By the way, you did. Uh, you did a great job. Yes, that was very good. Mm, thank you. Thank you. See, it was a good warm up for Central Bay. All right. Does anyone have to use the bathroom or anything? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good to go. Okay. Good. <coughs> you are. You travel for <laughs> several hours. Maybe four or five hours. It's about midday. Uh, late, late afternoon, perhaps. Um, when you begin to approach uh, a part of the island that is flooded, the the seawater ahead of you is extremely shallow. In fact, it starts out being almost just like high tide. Like the water barely even comes up to your waist. And it's like that for miles. It's like it's like miles of island that the ocean water that that sunk a little bit enough for ocean water to flood across it. Um, and it it goes and it goes and it goes. Um, you're looking at like like 15 miles of. Seems, uh, that theme cringes as we start walking through the salt water. Well, you haven't started walking through it yet. You've arrived oh, at it. Gotcha. All right. Now, with your spyglass out, you can spot something at the other end of this. And it looks kind of like this. Oh, boy. It looks to you like a an enormous stone structure, not shaped like <coughs> any sort of building you've seen before. It's jutting out of the side of Silurion, facing this shallow, uh, flooded part of the island. Uh, you can't get a lot of detail on it from where you are, but it's pretty big, and it looks to be like the back half of a base that actually runs its way like across like inland and, and across like other parts of the shore. But this is like the part of it that's facing you. This is the first time we've seen Imperial architecture, huh? Yeah, yeah, like pure Imperial architecture. Since yep. Galene, like they would have set up statues and stuff there, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But this is like the first Imperial building. That you've seen, probably. Okay. Oh, boy. We're in it now. Well, you guys ready to get walking? Slash swimming? Yep. Slash I'll waiting? Cast mage armor to make it look like a scuba suit. And <clears throat> uh, start making my way through the water. Theme just kind of makes a face. It's like, oh, all right. <laughs> Be brave like Susan. I'll do what I can. Yeah. This as one's ready as I'll ever be. Yep, getting up, getting out the snorkel. The water too bad. All right, you guys start to walk now. For a while, you know, the snorkel is kind of unnecessary because the water isn't deep enough. But eventually, it is. Um, after walking for some time, maybe about five miles out, you know, it's slowly getting deeper and deeper. It it never gets so deep that you can't like touch your feet to the bottom, but it gets. It gets pretty deep. It gets <clears throat> maybe six feet deep at the deepest. There's not much of a current because it's this water is like uh, going across this land mass that's many miles to your left and right. So it's like any sort of ocean current gets kind of killed on its way to you. So it's very like pretty still water. Um. And as you get close to the base, you get to where it it is now deep enough that you could use the tubes to submerge. Okay. Do I feel like that they would see us from this distance if we didn't use the tubes, or could I continue to like tread water? You're not sure. You do see that the top of the uh, the top of the building has like a lot of people up there. Um, okay. Probably lookouts and guards. <laughs> And it is daylight. Probably safer to just go underwater. <coughs> All right, guys, if you need anything, I'm going to be underwater. Uh, I guess it's just if you really need to talk for whatever reason, or you see something, 
uh, just tap on their shoulder a couple times. Okay. Squad yep. Seal Team 4, assemble. All right. So, uh... Yep. Oh, boy. I'm so excited. Let's work some shit up. So you come up at what we're all wrong one. Hold on. All right, Valen, you got this. It's gonna it's oh. all up to you to lead us to victory. I mean, I don't okay. know what you're expecting from me. <laughs> Sneak Lord. So you 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 begin to approach the cliffside, um, and you find yourself beneath the base, because the base is like jutting out of the cliff. You're sort of submerged underwater. You see there are some large pipes sticking down out of the, the base. The water here is a little bit red. And uh, these pipes are pretty big around. There's like three of them. They're all sticking straight down with the opening of them a few feet above the water. And after a short delay, you hear something tumbling down one of them. The pipes are like easily five feet wide. Um, and you see like a bunch of meat and broken bones and flesh dump out of one of them into the into the ocean. It seems guys, to be some kind of disposal. Guys, I hate to say this, but I think that's our entrance. I think you're right. Let's make our way over there. Okay, so you get under the uh the bloody pipe. Um it goes straight up. It's slick with blood. It's like metal. It's it's not going to be an easy climb. Even with a climb speed, you'd still need to make a check. All right. So here's my thoughts. Uh, I'm assuming we're above water at this <laughs> yeah, point. We're like surface out of right sight above. range mm -hmm. for the for the base. Yeah, you surface beneath the pipe where like the guys at the top of the base can't see you. All right. All right. So guys. Mm -hmm. Give me a minute to try and climb this pipe. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it, but I'll give it a shot. All right, if not, uh, I do try to... as well. Okay. If we have to take that, then that that works. But um, yeah. Make sure you have some ropes when you get up there. You yeah, can I'm gonna down. toss a rope down to you guys. Hopefully, I'll find somewhere that I can brace myself and hold it. Okay. Uh, just give me a minute. All right. Take, take ambassador too, just in case, and I'll have him. Okay. Right as he starts going up, I'm just gonna give him a good tap. Okay. To... Do you not have Do you not have spider climb ready? Argus? I, I do, but if I don't have to waste a second level spell slot, okay. then can just do it. Gotcha. Plus, it's all like right. A check anyway. So, so right, they, as they I'm begins to climb, as I'm getting into the pipe, I kind of like brace myself against opposite edges of it and try to like. That's kind of the only way to do it. Yeah. Chimney up it. So what kind of check do you want for me? Uh, acrobatics will work. Okay. All right. Come on. You got this, Jeremy. Plus plus. <coughs> plus, plus. Uh, guidance. Plus guidance. Yeah. Uh, 16. 16. Well, you do have a climb speed. So you manage to slowly sort of like shimmy your way up. Like your back is against one wall. Your feet and hands are against the other. And you're just kind of like <laughs> going up. Um, and eventually... You you reach a part of it. It keeps going up, like way 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 up. But you reach a part where it there's a there's an intersection, and a pipe does jut horizontally out from this into the base. Okay, so the pipe goes a ways in there. I don't have a light source, so I'm assuming it's pretty dark. But do I see any light at the end of the pipe? You don't see any light in the pipe okay. that's jutting out horizontally. Okay, should have brought a torch. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to try to feel around on the inside of the pipe. Is it like just smooth all the way around? It's pretty smooth. Yep. Okay. Um, I'm going to kind of like creep down the pipe a little bit. How far does it go before I really like f see anything or like feel anything unusual? It seems to go really fucking far and it's super dark. You can, you can go 30 feet, 40 feet. 50 feet, you're not reaching an ending. Okay. Yeah. And how far did I climb, if I had to guess, to get to this spot? Probably 30 feet up. Okay, so the rope would at least make it down. Yeah. All right. Um, do I want... 
So I'm going to like, I don't want to shout because I know it's going to echo through the pipe, but I want to say it loud enough for the rest of them to hear it. I'm going to be like, theme, theme, come up here. And I'm going to throw, I'm going to toss the rope down. All right. Um, Sadie, do you want to give her a back rub? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, please. Okay. Do you want to just all come up here? Well, I'm, I'm specifically asking for theme first so she can help <laughs> me hold, hold the rope when she gets up here. That makes sense. Okay. Boom. Oh, that's a really Hang on, let me, let me roll yeah. the guys. Uh, so Did you need an th anything from me? <laughs> I do. I need an athletics check from you. Can you like tie the <gasps> oh! 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 We got this. <laughs> I give Team you... a high five when she gets up. So the two of you managed to get up there. Um holding the rope, you can who's the next person up? Keep your heart out, George Clooney and Brad. <laughs> what? It was an Ocean's <laughs> Eleven joke. Who's the next one up? All right. Uh, how about Zeta I go? Argos? How about I go? Because you can give me a slap, and then because okay. if you go, I won't get a slap. Yeah, I'll give you a good slap. All right, I'll go. Can I just like tie the bottom of the rope to me? Just have them pull. No. <laughs> okay. All right. I'll try to oh boy. Acrobatics or athletics? All right. What's better? Uh. Not athletics, so I'll do an acrobatics check. Wow. All right. <laughs> the, the dice gods are on our side here. They want us to get into this base. Yeah, it's because right. we did such a good job with Suzanne. The dice gods reward us. All right, Zeta. Now watch me fail. All right, I'm going to tap myself. I'm gonna do it. I can do acrobatics, right, instead of athletics? Yep. Okay, yep. we're doing got that. Got Zeta. You've got this. May the dice of Suzanne be with you. Oh. No, come on. You can guidance yourself. I don't know. Maybe it'll be like a... Yeah, I... All right. Well, you end up sliding back down. Um, and then uh, a bunch of rotting flesh and bones pour down the pipe and dump onto Zeta. <laughs> God. But then uh, you can give it another shot. You smell bad now. Can I like wash off in the ocean a little bit? Yeah, yeah, you can wash yeah. off in the pressure up a little. Oh, <laughs> all right. We we'll go back That's to the ocean good. and freshen up a little bit, guys. All right, I slap myself again, and uh... okay, you managed to get up there, yeah. Okay. <sighs> all right. Did it? Wow. This is a big fucking map. <laughs> it's a Zan map. It's a class. Absolutely oh my enormous. God, so long to scroll through. Oh make, sure, God. make sure you all got music for this sucker. Yep. Oh yeah. All right. All right. Now you estimate that, judging by how far up the pipe went, that you have entered into either the bottom level or like almost the bottom level of the base. This is like the basement. You know, like there, th there was a big fucking building, um, and you didn't go very far up at all. So you're like, you're in the bottom, which might explain why you didn't see any light. You don't know, you know, in mo most fortresses, the bottom sections are like not exactly too populated. Usually you may have lucked out like, you know, so it's, this might be storage or something else. You're not really sure, but. It's it's a way in, that's for fucking sure. But you definitely don't hear much going on. Like you don't hear people. Um the base seems pretty well manned, but a lot of that manpower is probably further up than this. So, so is our objective our first objective to find some guards to uh, take their armor off of? That might be a good idea. If we see it we can, but the nice yeah. thing about their armor design is you can't see the face that and uh, we need to find the laboratory so if we find any clues on where the laboratory might be and any like lone guards that we could try to steal their gear from it might be maybe. worth it to like interrogate a guard to find out where the laboratory is if... look if they're undead they're not going to tell us right. well, any of the live guards and... uh... all right guys give me some space here while i scout ahead uh, okay try to stay at least like 20 to 30 feet behind me do you right. want light, or are you good? Uh, just keep me within your light, or just at the edge of your light. Okay. And, uh, yeah, just try to keep it like that. 
So I, that's pretty much as far as I can see. Right, let's move up a little bit. Here, Zayda, why don't you go just in front of me? I'll take up the rear. Sounds good. Alright, nothing yet. Well, as I'm going, I'm just kind of like trying to listen for sound. Any kind of noise. So far, it's pretty silent. Okay. And I'm moving. Oh, what is this? That is a junction. So you reach a part where the pipe that you're in is connected to another pipe. Are they going horizontally or vertically? It's all just the, it's the same, horizontal. Okay. So it's like two pipes that are exactly identical going the same direction, just connected together. Like, that's just where they connect. Okay, so yeah. I'm going to wave Zeta up. <coughs> I, say, I need some light. I need to see down these pipes. Oh, I don't think that you can actually walk through them. Yeah, you can you can walk right through. Okay, because it's just they're looks connected black together. To me. No, 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 it's connected together. Yeah. Okay, I just see black though. You just see black right now? Yeah, yeah there's, there's no... just walls. Yeah, well, mean... all we can see is this passage. We see that it's a different color. That's right what here. I mean. That's what I mean. You guys okay. are. You guys are dumbasses. All right. But when you said jump, we thought hey. it goes that way as well. No, no, no. Here's a pipe, and here's another pipe. Oh, okay. We thought there was gotcha. like a pipe like going. This no. Way. Oh, yeah. I thought you meant like yeah, like no, like a ninety it, degree no. turn or something. No, 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 no. It's two pi okay. identical pipes going the same direction, connected together. That's what okay. All right. Those oh, were my God. words. We heard <laughs> junction. Sorry. I said they went the same direction. Well, no. when you said the same direction, I thought you meant they were both horizontal pipes. Yeah, same. I don't know. We all had this. We're just running the same page. We're, we're together nope. now. Nope. Go ahead. Just go ahead, Argus. Pipe. Go ahead. All right. All right. It's real creepy in it's here. A heck of a pipe oh, in here. wait. I think I just passed something. Yep. So it looks like there's a couple of openings here. But it's hard to see them from where your light source is. It's real dark. Now you can see clearly that uh, it's like a grate that opens up into into a room. But the grate is uh, pretty. It's attached, so you'd have to maybe break it off or pry it off, stuff like that. I have a crowbar. Do we want to go through the first door? Uh, hold on, let's take a look inside before we make any judgments. Okay, so it's so just a grate kinda... we can like see inside, right? Mm-hmm, you peer through the grate. Alright, well, you see a small chamber. It looks kind of dark. Um, you don't really see much. There's a little bit of blood on the floor, but other than that, you don't see any objects. You see a door on the opposite end of the room. Is this like a service <coughs> room or something like that? It might be. Yeah. There's not much in there's not much of anything in here. We could keep going to see what else we can find. Yeah. That or we could peek in that door and see what we find. Well, just see. give me a minute. Just give me a minute with the door. Is uh, it locked or anything? It, there's a grate. There's a closed grate in oh, the Oh another way. Yeah, no. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. My bad, I forgot. This is a, this is a great. You're looking yeah. at a great. I've got a crowbar. Yeah, uh, we got the crowbar if you want. Quietly. <laughs> yeah, quiet and crowbar in the same sentence usually. Yeah. So. The stealth crowbar strikes again. Yeah, I mean we can move on for now. See if we can't find some other prospects. All right. All right. Back in formation. Okay. <laughs> I'm assuming this is like the same room right here. Yeah, so that's not a grate though. That you're looking through from the other side of what looks like uh it's a bunch of like blades on a little on like a spindle and there's like a slot for people in that room to put stuff in. Um, the blades aren't moving, but presumably th there might be some kind of mechanism on the other side that'll make them turn, and it would, like, blend stuff up and dump it into the pipe. Yeah. And although the pipe urine is horizontal, it is, like, inclined just the tiniest bit so that stuff would slide down to, like, where you came in. Right. Okay. 
Gross. All right. Well, I see what that room is now. <coughs> hmm. <laughs> you guys shuffle around back there is the funniest thing. Kind of hard. Oh, have to there's another there. thing coming up here. Oh, okay. Here, come here, Zeta. I can't see anything. I'm gonna pass by it. All right, so this is another grate. Do you peer through the grate? Yes. Turn the light off first before we peer, if we can, if it's not... If well, no turning the light off is pointless, because then you're blind and peering does nothing. So you peer with the light on, because peering with the light off isn't peering, it's just being blind. <laughs> um, <coughs> through the grate, you see uh, four skeletons in armor, um, and you can tell they're undead pretty much right off, because they're sitting in a pitch black room, they're standing... All with the exact same pose with their spears, just facing that wall to the left, not moving and not moving at all. There's there's even like a little bit of dust on their shoulders, so it, it kind of doesn't leave you with any question that these are not people. This might be our disguises. Yeah. Uh, I say we, we go for quietly. it. All right, I agree. All right, well, there's still a grate in the way. <clears throat> and just for reference, the uh, the enemies in this room that you're looking at look like that. So they look a little a little fancier than the ones we've come across before. No, those seem to be the run of the mill. Okay. These are the spearmen that you've fought on a couple different occasions. Okay. Very cool. We've never had a handout for them. All we've seen is the little token that is the mask. So I figured I'd give you a handout. Yeah, cool. All right. All right, I think we should take them. All right. Team, <laughs> you want to crowbar your way in there? I'll do it as quietly as I can. Maybe we can get another source of light. Okay. Well, I've got an advantage on the athletics check. Oh, oh my Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> what? It was all that natural all right. point talk. So you, yep. you stick the crowbar in there, and you put a little bit too much force into it in a spot that is too well secured, and your crowbar snaps in half. Oh, my ah, Shit. Give me a stealth check to see how loud that was. Oh, not good. That's not great. Okay. Yeah. Um, we, we did. Well, <laughs> I've used up all my high rolls for the you day. Hear a, you hear a shuffle of feet as all the skeletons in that room face the grate. And then uh, they, they quickly assemble forward. And they all just thrust their spears through the holes in the grate. Like all of the tips of the spears <laughs> entering the pipe. So uh, <clears throat> I'm just going to make some attacks with disadvantage because they're attacking like through the great holes. But they basically just shove all their spears through the great holes. And you, you see there there seems to be six of them assembled outside the great now. So this is going to be, uh, let's see here. going to give them disadvantage because they're shoving it through the great. But this is uh, two for Valen. Probably both misses. Yeah. Two for Zeta. I think the 21 hits. Yeah, the 21 hits. So they managed to stick Zeta in the arm for 10. Ooh. And then two for Theme. Miss both of them. Okay. So then after that, you guys are a able to, like, shuffle your way one way or the other. I don't know where you... Which way do you guys want to fucking go? Back up, Argos. Back up. <laughs> okay, so you're going to back up. Get out of the way, Argos. Yeah, so you guys back the fuck up. Oh, I meant the other way, but... Oh, oh you said back... You said back <laughs> up! Just, just shh, shh. Well, yeah, right, well, from my point of angle, it was back. <laughs> you you hear all of the spears retract, 
through the grate, but you don't hear the skeletons leave. So they're all like just piled up watching the grate now with their spears ready. <laughs> do we want to continue past Fort Balin? Or do we want to <laughs> back our If we go through the other way, we might be able to find a way around them. They now have their backs to whatever door they uh, goes into that room. Yeah, on the bright side, they don't really make any noise. It seems that they can't. Maybe they can't speak. Signal for help. Like, they're not. They're not setting off an alarm. Yeah, they're not like alerting anyone. They're just. They're reacting almost like machines, right? They have like programming. They're undead. They've been told like, if this, then do this. If this, then do this. So they're they're not calling attention to your presence. They seem to just be piled up around the grate, waiting to see someone. <laughs> So they can all. Um. <coughs> oh man! Do you want to like go, Balin? Do you want to see if there's like another way down? There? Can't see. The cast light. Can you get reach? Can you reach some light? Zeta? Throw me a rock or something. I mean, I think Zeta. I think light is thirty foot range. Yeah, I think it's got some range. Does it? Have uh, a light range? is touch. Well, then you could cast light on an object and throw it to him. Yeah, I'll take one of my nails out, one of my bronze nails, cast light on it, and toss it at him. All right. So Valen has light now. All right, give me a minute. I'll be right back. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Oh, I see another grate here. Yep, it is a grate. All right, let me peek through this one. Okay. Now, through this one, you see a skeleton. Um... From where you you are you're angled, you can only see one. But this skeleton looks like that. Oh. He's dressed quite different, dressed and equipped quite differently. Okay. Interesting. I can only see one. Mm-hmm. Okay, give me a At, minute. I'm gonna keep going. Okay. Is there anything else in the room? Or Not that you could see. Okay. Yeah. I keep making my way down. Downtown. Downtown. Walking slow. <laughs> Taking. All right. Another great. All right. You look through and you see more spearmen. Okay. More spearmen. I see three spearmen. Okay. Keep going. All right. Oh. Now, at at the end of this pipe, you find that it opens up into a vertical pipe that goes straight down into the ocean. Okay, so it does not go up. Uh -uh. Okay. Alrighty. Well, I'm gonna make my way mostly back to my team. Okay. Not in front of that other grate that they're standing at, though. Uh huh. I'll be like, "All right, there's two more grates this way. One of them has one skeleton with a sword. The other one has three skeletons with spears." Um. That I could see. Could be more. For both those rooms. Okay. But if we try to get across, we're just going to get sand. Not if there's no light. Do we want to go back to the other room? Or do we want to keep going this way? Mm -hmm. If you turn all the lights off, you can just creep by silently. Alright. Knowledge religion from the cleric and the wizard. Zeta knows that uh, skeletons have dark vision. From her, ah, from his knowledge of undead. <laughs> Darkness. Wait. Oh. I mean, yeah, you could blow your legacy. <laughs> I could blow my legacy. And... But at the very least, Zeta can tell Valen that no, if you turn the light out, the skeletons are still going to fucking attack you. Or you could save your legacy for sleeping them. And that would make it a lot easier for us to kill them. Pretty sure they're yeah. immune to sleep. Oh, yeah. never mind yeah, then. They're, they're undead. <coughs> no, I, I think this also... is the right legacy for this, but maybe uh, it's up to you whether you want to blow it now, like right yeah. at the beginning. It's also <laughs> like I also have my channel. I can turn undead and have them run they're... away from me. Well, Which is there's another, there's also... another thing you only get one of. If we, yeah. move, if we move through here, they're still stabbing through the grate, so they're still stabbing at disadvantage. 
Mm-hmm. Look at Sato's arm. That still hurt. They got a lucky shot. Maybe we can, like, Bloodborne roll our way through this. Maybe, Maybe the dodge they're... action isn't going to do anything else. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah. Have they have disadvantage anyway, so... Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying. Just go for it. All right, let's go past. Really? Alrighty. I mean, there's also that door back there that might be something. Oh, yeah, that one, that one was empty, it looked like. Yeah. I feel like that one would be locked. Out of all it's it's also like having Valen pass it is better than having all three of you pass it. I don't yeah. know, six attacks on one person might not end up great. I mean, they're gonna get six attacks well, on, like, all of them. Yeah, I mean... No. It's like... They're either gonna get six attacks spread out over three people, or six attacks on one person. Alright, if we all go together, we can't possibly bring us all down. We'll just throw in a massive numbers at them. Is that what we want to do, though? Like... Is that, yeah. the, is that the right decision? We want to miss out on that door then? Because we're not coming back this way, that's for sure. Yeah, if all three of us cross this, then they can't all attack each one of us. Let's just scoot by one uh, one at a time. No! One, one, at a time. one at a time is going to let them all I mean, attack. All of us together, just we got to move together. Yeah. Yeah, not one at a time. The opposite of one at we a gotta time. We got to move our tokens one at a time. All right, do you all run by? Run by? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, make way do it. Okay. So this make one's. Way. Here's two for Argos. Oh. Nice! Here's <laughs> two for Fame. Argos grabs his miss, spear miss. on the way by. <laughs> and that's for Zeta. Oh. 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 Why me? Uh, the, plus, the, the other one was a crit. Ignore it. So it's only 10. It's only 10. Which Another is still max three. damage. I rolled max damage both times. 10 is the God, most dang. they can possibly do. So uh, Zeta gets stuck again for max damage again. Oh my god. I've got health potions if you want to save your spell slots. I think one basic level heal is better than no health. Uh, well, but the, the health potion we can't use as easily in combat. That's true. This is what the health potions are for, basically. So... Do you I have mean, any... I've, got, I've got a health potion. I yeah, I'd say use. I'd say the health potions are good to use in situations like this. Yeah, where we don't want to use just... spell slots. We don't, and we don't have time to rest. You could also you could just hang out in the pipe for an hour. And yeah, we that. don't lose we don't lose anything by doing it right now. Nobody um, knows you're here <laughs> until someone there. walks in that skeleton room and they just see a bunch of skeletons <laughs> huddled <laughs> against the like, great. And they're like, "What the fuck are you guys doing?" Maybe they saw a rat or something like. <laughs> Like stupid and death. Yeah, whatever you want to do, Zeta, we can either short rest in here or we can use health potions. <coughs> I'll just use my health potion. Okay. All right. All right, Zeta. Lead us to this vent, Baylon. Nice. We should go I mean, in there's two of them. Sword. What do you think? One swordsman? Easier to break in? Maybe. We wouldn't get costumes that way, but if we went the three route, then we still wouldn't have everyone in the. We'd have one costume at least. All right, let's go to the one sword. At least three. I don't know. There might be more. So the one swordsman's right here. I don't. Oh, there's actually a door in there too. Okay. All right. This this from this angle, you can see the door. (laughs) Yep. Yep. There's a door. Mm -hmm. All right. This is the room, but we got to get through the grate. I guess we got to kick it. Something. All right, team. Give it a kick. Try not to break your foot this time. Try. Um, so I don't have advantage on this one because my crowbar is broken. I'll go ahead and remove that from my inventory. Yeah, broke the crowbar. It's literally made for breaking stuff. How ironic. Yeah. Yep. For real. All right. Irony God strikes. Yeah. Again. I mean, he literally rolled two crit fails. Yeah. Yeah. Like I was like, you know, I know that we're not doing crit fails, but it's yeah. like. <laughs> No, it's pretty. It's two one. <laughs> On minutes, yeah. Uh, well, I just rolled two ones again. <laughs> well, okay. So yeah, eleven. You kick it. It rattles. Um, it doesn't quite come off. It's not quiet. You hear. Kick it quick. 
I'm going Dude. for it again. I mean, regardless, I've already yeah, made yeah. noise. I want to try to finish this. I don't care how quiet it is at this point. You hear skeletal footsteps in the room, but they're not approaching the grate. It sounds like they're moving somewhere else. Um, so oh, God. Give, it, give it another shot. Go, go, go. He's going to go. Yep, 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 yep. Um, where is it? Athletics. Oh. It's not helping in the ice much. Boom! It doesn't quite, it doesn't quite go yet. Can I get a slap, please? <laughs> you, hear, you hear the skeletons uh, stop. They they went somewhere in that room and they stopped. Yeah. Slap. Okay. okay. Um. So I'm gonna kick the door again. God damn it! <laughs> slap won't even change anything. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> Give it another shot. Oh Wake me God. up when he gets to the grate. <laughs> Can I just take 10 on this if I get to keep trying? I mean, that's only a 14. But then I add the slap to it. There we go. Okay, there we go. Roll the slap. Did you do it? Okay, you, you kick the grate out. Yep. Yeah, I'm coming through with my shield forward. Okay. Well, it's pretty dark, but yeah. Can I get some light behind me? Come in. Oh, hello. Oh. All right, thing. now what you see is these two skeletons that have swords and shields and are dressed a little differently. Uh -huh. Their reaction to hearing you kicking the grate, apparently, was to set themselves up in this corner, their backs against the wall, each one guarding the other with its shield, with their swords low, like held under the shield. Gotcha. All right. They're, they set up in like a phalanx formation, like getting ready for you to come through. And they do react as soon as the grate like comes down, they begin to press forward. And they basically come up here and they block the entrance with their shields and they try to they try to like attack you through like around their shields. They're trying okay. to like block you in there. So we turn order then? Yeah, yeah, we're gonna turn order. Alright. But uh these guys are like using tactics. Presumably yeah. that they were taught by their necromancer or whatever, right? Like, they're not smart. Right, they're, understood. They're, do, they're doing what they were told to do. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Womp, womp. Okay. <coughs> bah, bah, bah. All right, Argos. All right, I'm going to shimmy up to see what all the hubbub is about. <clears throat> I still can't really see very much. Mm, yeah. Uh, um, can but he move the like, Zeta's space as long as he moves out before the end of his turn? Can I like, peek? I like, mean, yeah, you can like peek around, yeah. Hello. Yeah. Alright, well, it seems like pretty dangerous to uh, shoot a firebolt while I'm like hugging Zeta in this tube trying to shoot over theme through a vent. Um, so I'm actually going to hold my little finger of doom out. Um, and the, maybe you can see out of the corner of her eyes the, like, imagine my one finger, but there's five of it, and it's, like, grasping onto the back of the head of the skeleton. And I'm going to try to chill touch it with the 12. Nice. Is it 12 hit? Mm, okay. Yeah. So your, uh, your spell but slams up against his shield and misses. They've got their uh, shields up and they're being very defensive. It you know. clings to the target, so it's just like holding onto the its shield for dear life as I uh, <laughs> back away out of anything. Okay. That's what you're... Does chill touch do necrotic damage? It does. It does, <laughs> it does additional damage against undeads, though. It or, does. Sorry, addition, additional mm -hmm. effect against. It does additional effects against undeads. It's yeah. a very yeah. awful, weird cantrip. It's trip, specifically like... against undeads. Yeah, it's supposed to be against undead. But let's see. Yeah. All right. So this one attacks under its shield, cutting like below, like cut it, trying to cut Theme's legs. Um, ah, dang! It didn't drop my shield low enough. And it, yeah, it goes under your shield and slices into your your like knees for eleven. Okay. Then as a bonus action, it tries to push you prone with its uh. shield. He's got the shield mastery feet. <laughs> yeah, he does. Which is um, gonna be uh, probably not gonna. Ah, do... god damn it! Oh, you're prone. I'm prone. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter. You're. It's okay. Time. I stand back up. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. 
<coughs> Honestly, there could be some changes to that mechanic to actually make it useful, but uh, uh, it, 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 we've already established why it's actually useful. No, no, no. I, I mean, um, like in a one-on-one -on -one thing, it's different. There's a video on it. I'll talk about it later. Um, so I'm going to attack this guy with my. Uh, I don't. I don't want to talk about it later. Okay. No <laughs> I don't ever. I don't ever want to talk about the mechanics of shield push. Anyway, <laughs> they sound really exciting. Uh, not excited. <laughs> not just shield push, but shoving in general. I gotcha. Um, uh, so, <coughs> that is, I mean, boy, wow. I've. <laughs> I mean, there are. To... Yeah. I'll you really got the good stuff well. out of the way early. Yeah. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to move him back five feet though. Okay. There's my God damn it! Are you <laughs> kidding me? Somebody else needs to be up here. I'm doing awesome. Okay. <laughs> so right now. Uh, theme is probably feeling a little self-conscious because the the Gladius shield skeleton hit, damaged her, knocked her down, and then she missed and then couldn't push it over. The skeleton is like showing you Wait, up. One v one me, bro. I started, the, I started the evening with nothing but crits, and now I'm doing nothing but crit fails. <laughs> Holy and crap! An, an, an imperial wizard created a better theme in this. <laughs> Uh, leave me behind. Take one of these guys with you. Yeah, take recruit the skeleton. <laughs> All right, sounds good. One less person. Away. Probably yeah. got better programming too. Yeah. Really <laughs> unlucky rolls. Oh man, Valen, yeah, it's pretty tight. Sure. It's it's hard for you to really get in there. This is awful. Um, they yeah, I mean they're that's kind of why they did what they did. Was we the... got him bottlenecked. We got him on the run. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there's not a whole lot I can do unless I can shoot my spell. You can. Do you have sharpshooter? No. Well, what what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to give you disadvantage because you're going to be shooting right past Theme's head. And yeah, if you if you end up missing the guy, you might hit Theme. Uh, so because you're going to be like shooting chances. right around Theme. Of even hitting the guy are probably minuscule to begin with. Mm. Uh, I mean, the so far the twelve is the highest that anyone has rolled on these guys. So, <laughs> and that didn't quite do it. It seems. Well. I'm gonna hold my action with my crossbow to take a shot for a more opportune moment. I don't know if it'll come up or not, but so maybe. you're gonna like ready, ready in action to take a shot if you get a clear shot. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Well, this one here is gonna try to attack theme. Hit! Oh my god. Ugh, okay, and not a lot of damage for for four. Then it's gonna try to push theme prone. God damn. And it pushes theme prone. Jeez. So now I've got a more clear shot. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> theme is prone, so you have a clear <laughs> shot. Alright. So. <laughs> Still 12. Good god. This is awful. 12 is the cap we can roll. We got, no we got cocked than... by the guards. <laughs> the first undead guards. Alright, Zeta, you've been watching the shit show. These two skeletons have been fucking raping Man your party. Yeah. It is just, like, unbelievable how effective these two fucking skeletons are against the party. No, it's, it's more <laughs> remarkable how ineffective we are. <laughs> they have yet to take damage. And they're just wailing on theme. This is funny. <laughs> it's only two fucking dudes. This, this dungeon is so I big. <laughs> oh man. Do it, do it for I'm Susan. Gonna, they're just like, I believe in you guys. You guys have got this. And I'm just gonna have one give me a deck save. Okay. Save your resources. Mm. Dang. Oh, he does it. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and he, and he, he actually he actually ducks and blocks the sacred flame with his shield because mm -hmm. you know they have shield master. All right, Argos. 
All right, I'm gonna get really cozy next to Zid and try to touch. She'll touch one of these. Okay. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> what the hell is happening? <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. I'm gonna circle back over here in the tube of sand. Oh man, no, this right, guy gets what... advantage. Yeah, he gets advantage, so he attacks with advantage. Miss! Oh wow! Hey! The tables are turning, guys! <laughs> Alright, then. Okay, I stand up. This is amazing. <laughs> it is for real. Uh, the central base, assholes. Oh, the most boy. elite guard stationed here. And I'm they're, going to try the luckiest guards. Um, so I'm going to try. I'm going to use my my attack action to shove. To try to try to push this guy back five feet. Okay. Fail that. Ah. And then a bonus action to shove again. Ah, come on! There we go. All right, pushing him back five. Break feet. the wall. Moving up forward. There we go. Okay. Uh, and Breaking I'm going to. I uh, can't second win, but yeah, I'll. That'll be it. Okay, the wall is broken. Valen. All right, Valen. Valen draws his sword and moves in. Okay. Uh, he's gonna try to attack this uh, the skeleton. That was probably the right thing to do, theme. <laughs> and see that bonus action shove came, fucking came in. Like. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> does a twenty-one right. hit these guys? It does hit them. <laughs> Thank God. All right, so there's ten plus so twelve total. All right, he's still going though. Alrighty, uh, that will be my turn though. Alrighty, uh, this one will uh, attack Valen back, but miss. miss Zeta. Have this one give me a a deck save. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> These are the most elite basic skeletons. I'm just rolling really well. Yeah, uh, no, we're, and we're rolling really terribly. Oh, All right. hit. you hit him. Good. Okay, it's turned around finally. What is the additional effect? It can't regain hit points until the start of my next turn. And huge. <laughs> there's more. Than and but and there's more. Uh, if it tries to attack me, it's disadvantage. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> oh, Pretty big, big deal. Well, Pretty okay. big deal. Thank this one just tries to attack the Okay. Miss. Okay. But it's right, not regain any hit points from any of its yeah. necrotic. Uh... Alright, focus fire theme, focus fire! Yep. <laughs> Is this the. Wait. This the one? Yeah, he's damaged. Yep. yep. Alright. Valen's watching then. everyone attack the other one. <laughs> <laughs> that is ah. Uh, hey, it's knock him down. Um, yeah, I'm gonna um, yeah, try to shove him prone. Okay. To my right. Oh, that's pretty good. There yeah, we right. go. Nice. All right, he is prone. Did the necrotic do anything? Oh yeah, it hurts him. Oh, okay, perfect. Yeah, as a matter of fact, uh, skeletons are not immune to necrotic. They're immune to poison. Oh. Okay. Uh, ah. But yeah. Awesome. Alrighty. So I'm gonna take the uh, I'm gonna take advantage of the one that's knocked down and uh, try to stick them real good. Does a 19 hit? It does. Okay. I don't know. That knockdown seems five. pretty good to me. So right. 10, 10 more slashing damage on this guy. You wreck him. Yeah, we killed one. Yeah, all, all right, right. I'm gonna get. Oh, my, yeah. I'm gonna make my way into the room here now. All right, you yeah, you bust that skeleton. The numbers uh, are dwindling. All right, so I I take my sword and I just. Whack him, like just pound him on the head, and just kind of make my way into the room. They can bleed. We can kill them. All right, Zeta. Sacred Dick point. save. Oh my oh. fuck! These things, deck saves are so good <laughs> right now. Yeah. They only have a plus two. Right, I know. Rub, rub its back a little. This one attacks Valen. At least they're not rolling well on attacks right now. Right. Theme. All right. Miss, a Miss Athema. All right. Yeah. I think she's freaking. <laughs> I'll try to shove him prone. I'm trying to shove him prone. Got it. Yeah. Here yeah. All righty. Set me up, coach. You're set up. All right, Valen. Oh, you you see what you did? 
Yeah. What well. a great feat. <laughs> oh, yeah. max damage. Everybody. Uh, yeah, I mean it's actually really strong. All right. There oh yeah, I'm not. I'm not saying uh, my thing is more about the standing you... up mechanic than the knocking pro mechanic. Mm. Mark, you just did yeah. 18 damage with that push pro. <laughs> All right, they're down. Yeah, I acknowledge that the feed is good. Don't worry. All right, cool. Boom. Do we want a short rest now? <laughs> All right. Well, you guys, if you guys want a short rest, I can take some time to put together some disguises for us at least. I can yeah, it takes like an hour to outfit. build some stuff. Yeah. I'll be disguising myself as one of these guys. I mean, I didn't really use any resources or take any damage at all, but whatever. Yeah. I mean, yeah. a few a few yeah. people are hurt. Yeah, uh, yeah. So I don't play. I'm probably Although... not gonna song of rest here because it's not the quietest thing. In the oh yeah, don't worry. I've got hit dice to spare. No, I can't hear me. Rest up. Don't forget to roll your second win before you roll hit dice. Yep. Good, good call. I can't wear any armor though whatsoever, so it's gonna have to be like a terrible disguise like last. I'm gonna have a, a right. demon. Wow. Nice. nice. Wow. Wow. Yeah, that gets me to 39 with one hit die. So yeah, good. Fucking sweet, bro. Who, who are the disguises for, Valen? I don't you know. Only got, you only got two of these guys, so. Yeah. yeah. What kind of armor is it? Is it like heavy armor? It is Lenothorax. Perfect. Oh, no, that's basically what I've got right now. So. All right, one for theme. Does Zeta want one? Zeta, get out of the tunnel. Come chill with us. Yeah, it would be the same thing that Zeta has. Is there a way to make a decent disguise without it being heavy armor? Can I just take like the robes and it's shit medium armor. on top of it? Yes, but okay. not wearing the Helenothorax will be noticeable. I would say that you take a like a penalty. Okay. Um, not dramatic, but like it it's going to affect the quality of the disguise. I mean, if Zeta and I are wearing them, considering I'm going to be the one that has to talk to these people most likely, <laughs> if we do run across anybody. I mean, it, it probably doesn't matter at this point since there's only two of them anyway, so I don't think it matters. So I'll just give it to Zeta. Okay. All right. Do you want me to roll like a disguise kit check or anything, or you just want to go with it? Roll me disguise kit check. Yeah. With a slash. One or two. Uh, just one. With the slap. Oh, oh that's yeah. A six. Ooh, that's a six. Fail. Plus the bless or whatever. The deep. That's there an eight. You. There's an eight. They look perfect. Man. Thank well, you. I'll tell you Gosh. what, you already had finished outfits here, but while you're trying to get them off of the fucking skeleton, you notice something interesting. When making armor for skeletons, uh, armor for people tends to be, like, really empty. It doesn't have, it has, like, way more room than they need, because skeletons are really fucking skinny. So the armor plating has actually been made for undead. So when you try to, like, put it on Theme and Zeta, it's, like, too small for them. They've got meat and skin. Uh, so you have to, like, bend the shit. You know, it's bronze. So you have to, like, bend it and warp it to get it on them. And they just, they end up looking like, they, they end up looking like the skeleton guards if they were stuffed with stuff. Because, like, all the outfits bulging out. Because they're not skeletons. You know, they have width to their limbs. So it's like, it just looks oh. sort of awkward. It's not great. It's like, if someone saw them in low light in passing, they probably wouldn't question it. But if someone, like, was looking right at them in, like, a well-lit room, they're probably going to be like, what the fuck? Don't worry, guys. I've learned from my mistakes. I'm not going to do that next time if we come across some more of these things. Well, <laughs> sounds good. I'm assuming Theme and Zeta do allow Valen yeah. to disguise them. Yeah, as... it's better than nothing. Um, okay. Yeah, so my question is my shield, since it has, since my shield is not, like, standard issue. Yeah, should... if you want, you can trade your shields out for the standard shields these skeletons have. That would reduce my uh, AC even further. Where would, but, I, where would I put my shield, though? Yeah, it's kind of an issue. There's a there's back. a big, there's a bit of an issue with this whole disguise thing you guys are trying to do. Yeah, like, what like, do you do with your old suit of armor? 
the, this might, considering how bad it, it your disguise has turned out, you have yeah, an opportunity yeah. to scrap this idea and just not do it. Like, you yeah, can let's, just take I'm it not, off. I'm not doing that. Because you'd have to leave your old armor. Yeah, probably. well, I'll, I'm just not using that, that armor. Sorry, Vela, no offense. Hey, I mean, it didn't work out this time. Maybe in the next group of skeletons we find, <laughs> yeah, <maybe laughs> it'll turn time. out better. Maybe if we find some human guards. It'll fit us better. Yeah. Alrighty, well, is everybody ready to go then? I guess. Mm -hmm. Alright. Does this door even open? Is it, like, locked or anything? It doesn't seem to be locked. Alright, I'm gonna just try to crack it and just take a tiny little peek through. Okay. Oh! Well, you crack it open. You see some spearmen. Some spear skeletons. All standing perfectly still. Facing to the right. <laughs> None of them moving an inch. I, go, I I turn back and I give my party this, like. It's worth noting that when the when the light from your light spell floods into this room, the skeletons don't react at all. Mm -hmm. The light, they That's don't good. seem to give a single shit about it. And they're all facing this way. Correct. Okay. Can I try to like peek my head in a little further? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna do that. Oh, I turn around and I go. <laughs> and I go a little further. And I go. <laughs> <laughs> and I go. And I kind of try to creep through the room here, being trying to be quiet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do they seem to notice me when I enter the room completely? Um, from where you are standing, they don't. But give me a stealth check just to see how quiet you are. Let's see if I have fucking trip. Twenty-two. Ooh, okay, nice. so you're quiet. You're not in their range of vision. They don't turn, they don't react at all to you. Okay, so I'm gonna make my way to this door now. Okay. And just try to crack it open the same way. Okay, we might be it... aggroing multiple mobs at once. No, it'll be <laughs> alright. Okay, so you crack it just the tiniest little bit. Oh. And oh, you it's... see you see a skeleton. The skeleton that you see looks like this. Hmm. Dang. He nasty. All right. Now I'm just going to close the door again. Okay. I'm going to go back to my party. <coughs> and I'm going to I'm going to go And by the way, the, the skeleton you saw in that room was facing the wall that you were coming from. Mm, so I couldn't just walk in there if I wanted they to. They were facing this way. Yeah. Alrighty. Uh, well, there's two doors up to the right. One door over to the left. All the skeletons are facing to the right. I'm going to come back <sighs> into this room and close the door a little bit. Uh, we'll okay. And be like, alright. Six skeletons in the other room three more doors that way one to the left with some skeleton archers i'm guessing they're looking right at the door we can't sneak by now we have the opportunity to catch these things kind of off guard or we can turn back there's no chance of sneaking by at this point though do we, we know just... that they'll try to attack if they see us, though? I, I mean, if we try to sneak by these spear ones, the only way that we're going to sneak by after that is to the right or to the left, and then there's more skeletons looking right at that door. Do you remember back on the prison ship? Mm -hmm. We entered that room with some of, the, some of these guys. 
and they just stood there and watched us for a little while until we opened the door. They might not attack us on sight. Do you want to test that theory? <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna I, mean, them. If, I don't want to test that theory. <laughs> if we've decided we're going to be attacking them or fighting them, then we can use this doorway to bottleneck them. But yeah, I can I can test it. See if it see if I provoke them and then move back into the doorway if I do. How many of them were you say there are? Uh, there's six spearmen in this next room. I couldn't say exactly how many archers in the next. Well, if we bottleneck the spearmen, that'll reduce the number of people we have to fight at once. We can use the doorway for that. That's to say if they even come through the door. Well, the spearmen aren't don't seem to be as tactical as the uh, the swordsmen do. But if they just back up, then Argos and Zeta can pelt them from range. It's true. So they'd have to move in close. I want to kill some skeletons. I think we can do it. Okay. Now the question is, do we want to test Theme's theory or just take them by surprise? Uh, fight them in here. I, th I can take a hit if they decide to attack me. Do we want to do any pre-fight bl um, bluffs? Like any blesses or spiritual weapon that turn me break? I'll bless. Well, I mean, if Theme's right, then we won't have to fight these oh, yeah. guys at all. Why, why wouldn't we? Why wouldn't they fight us? Because we're not going to open a door. I don't know. So bless lasts one minute, which is ten rounds. And uh, I believe spiritual weapon is also one minute, which is ten rounds. D just so you have an idea of like what you're spending your spell slot on. So um, is, if you guys are going to fight your way through these rooms, then hell yeah, that might make a big impact. Um. But it depends. Like, if it's if if you think you can clear this room out in less than that many rounds, you know, it's also like bless will make you clear the room out faster. Like bless will guarantee hits that wouldn't happen, so it might prevent damage that like that these guys would do if they weren't killed as quickly as they were. The math is complicated. <laughs> it's not an yeah. easy decision mm -hmm. to decide whether to blow that spell slot or not. This is like you guys. <clears throat> you guys are finally getting into the part of the campaign where the the main spellcasters in particular have some really difficult choices to make on like how to spend their resources because if you scroll out, it's a big ass fucking dungeon. <laughs> um, yeah. You don't necessarily have to explore all of it. I don't recommend you do. You're trying to find something in particular, but still like. You know, you gotta kind of make that assessment. Maybe you don't do bless, and then you guys miss a bunch of attacks that would have hit, and someone like goes down, and you end up just having to spend spell slots healing people. That, mm -hmm. and you end up losing. You know what I mean? Like you might end up losing more resources anyway. Yeah. Who's to know, right? It's there's like luck of the draw. Like bless might save you spell slots on healing in the long run, but it's. I I, I would say we should take a five minute break. Okay. Um, and okay. I'm just I'm using bless and cure as an example, but it applies to Argos too, right? Like, it's like you've only got so many slots. It applies so many to magic missiles. It applies to even theme and Valen it to an extent, right? You've got your your, your combat maneuvers. Everyone's got a divine legacy ability. Yeah. You you have to take stock of like what you have, and then try to figure out like what do you want to save for? What if there's a boss fight? Like you're not like how much Ooh. do you how much do you want to have going into that? Yeah. So. Yeah, I I just don't agree. With, before we go on break, I just don't agree with uh, testing the theory they won't attack us because then we'll be caught in the middle of all of, like potentially spread out or grouped together and yeah. surrounded. Of note, dangerous. the the divine legacy slot comes back on a short rest, and short rests are not don't seem to be that hard for you to do in here. Yeah. So it might be worthwhile to be a little bit more like trigger happy with the divine legacy since you can get it back so easily i guess that's a good point yeah. i also <laughs> wonder if we're able to find some more suits of armor if we would just be able to walk by if possible. they actually think that we're part of their group that maybe. is a possibility they're just undead so maybe killing the spearman would be the way to do that if we did kill the spearman and the... try to make some more disguises did the did the archer look very heavily armored 
The archer seems to really be. Have any armor. Uh, the archer doesn't seem to be armored, uh, much at all. Like that the, they, for Argus. the the archer could have had light armor hidden under its robes, or it could have no armor at all. But appearance-wise, either way would be fine. Actually, like you could so, easily slip some light armor under those robes, and it would look fine. Yeah, that'd be good for Argos if we wanted to disguise for him. Argos okay. and Valen could both effectively disguise as archers. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> I say we fight this room out while we've got a bottleneck and all of our resources, and then we'll try the disguise on the next room to see if it works. We can try to man maneuver. And then use that to get sneak attacks on the archers. Yeah. So we can get their outfits. Yeah, that's that's my idea. Throwing it up. Okay. Seems well, like a good idea to me. I'll I'll take point on the spearman then. Okay. All right. Be right. my guest. Let's take a little break. All right. Okay. How many how many spearmen? Like, do we have to blow up last? Six. Or there... or six. Okay. That's up to you if you want to use your spell saving. Just think about it while I'm breaking. Yeah. I do need All to right. use the bathroom now. So. <laughs> All right. Yep. You're back. Right. Then. Brb. Yep. Nice You're back. Whatever the hell you idiots are going to do next. Let's... All right, where are we going in? I'm seeing if well, we're provoking them anyway, and then seeing seeing if uh, in the next one, in the next room, if um, they'll ignore us. Hopefully right. if we can get some disguises. Well. All right. I guess we're opening this and just attacking them, right? So I'll stand right here, actually. If I wants to initiate the fight, I'm going to... Um, you like hold up my shield. Well, if you want me to take a, sh a shot over your shoulder, I can do that. Yeah, if you want to engage them. All right, yeah, I'll just shoot the closest one with my uh, crossbow. Mm -hmm. Go for yeah. it. Do I get advantage for the shot? Uh, yeah. Sixteen. Mhm. Mm okay. I'm assuming sneak attack as well. Yep. Okay, so that's eight damage. Okay, well that absolutely succeeds in provoking them. <laughs> okay, I did it. Nice job. Well played. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, up oh, there's roll twenty. There we go. I've gotten really good at rolling a bunch of initiative. All right, I just do the math in my head. I add their, bon <laughs> I add their bonus as I go. Okay, well, how do you add two to that many numbers, Zan? All the numbers to add two. That is that is impressive. Oh, nice, killing it. If I rolled, yeah. no, I haven't. I'm being lazy. No, I'm being lazy. <coughs> Wow. Nice. We're getting all our good rolls out of the way. <laughs> all right, Valen. Start us off. Hmm. I was about to have that guy who rolled the 20 act, and then Zeta rolled the 21, and then Valen rolled <laughs> the 22. Yeah, really came like, really, class, really late. Yeah, I was like, all right, well, I guess I'll wait now. They are all on guard now. Like, when, when that crossbow bolt hits that one... All six of them about face, and they are all facing the door now with their, like, shields and spears. Well, I will... I'll shoot another bolt out. I know it's not going to have sneak attack, but I'll give it a shot. Same one. Let's see how it goes. 14? Mm, nope. Okay. Uh, that'll be my turn, though. Is it, uh... So there and bless. Boom. Who? You and uh those two? Or Yeah. Yeah, the usual the, the usual suspects. The usual the suspects. New use. The new here's, use. The here's a here's a question though. If you guys are gonna be camping, <laughs> like if if you're gonna be using a uh, sacred flame and Argos is going to be using Chill Touch. Chill Touch is an attack roll, and Sacred Flame is not. 
Oh. You know, so like the tables have turned if you guys are using your cantrips. I'm going to be cantripping a lot. Yeah, go for it. I'll give it to Argos. Whereas it's better on you when you guys are actually like using your spells. Yours requires attack rolls and mine usually magic. Mm hmm. Yeah. Literally don't make a difference on whether or not you have bless or not. Right. Smart. Smart. Revolving our tactic. Well, um, this one moves to here and attempts to attack theme. He will try. Ow. Wow. He will succeed. <laughs> well, yep, he will succeed. Okay, well. <laughs> and all of his undead gain inspiration. <laughs> that could have been worse. <laughs> theme is like, pay theme's like paying attention to the ones ahead of her. Yeah. This one comes from the opposite corner of the room, just comes out of the darkness. And fucking boom, like just right where she wasn't paying any attention yeah. at all. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Yeah, yeah just come, <laughs> comes out of the fucking left field and is like, yeah. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> oh, return, nice Argos! Oh, a critical 16 fire damage on that. Return, wow. return literal fire! Love <laughs> ammo! Oh yeah, no, he's uh, he's down. Nice. That was insane. Uh, nice one. Insane roll. Awesome job. <laughs> wow. That's a good one. Well, one of them moves in to take the place. <laughs> yep. Ow, hits. Hit <laughs> wow. So, guys... so far, nothing has hit me that would um, that would not have hit me on my other armor. So. Yeah, no kidding. So far, it's been an okay choice. <laughs> oh man, eventually that will become powerful enough to destroy undead instead of turning it, which should be. Mm -hmm. Just don't destroy my undead. For <laughs> uh, no, I'll, just, I'll destroy it. all undead. Okay. <laughs> oh, undead. They're very nice. They're very friendly. Nice. <laughs> The two farmers that we met in <laughs> Ethereum. You don't want to. You don't want to disintegrate them. All right, this one back yes, here. Yes, yes, I do. Um, pulls a small, a smaller spear off of its back and throws it. Uh oh. Uh, at the aim. Uh oh. Miss. Oh. This one. Uh, does the same exact thing. All right, theme. Uh, okay. Uh, second wind. <laughs> um, let's see. There's my second wind. Um, I'll I'll attack this guy. Sure, why not? Yeah. You'll try. Yeah. Um. Yeah, yeah, I don't even think we bless a 14 one. It's like a 15 well, at least. You guys no, know 14 doesn't hit. Yeah, okay, yeah. cool. Yep. That, that I rolled a 14. Alright, <laughs> right, I'll just be the I'll be the door here. I'll be the, the wall in the door. This one moves into the spear line and throws <laughs> uh, the spear at Valen. Uh protection. Okay. Misses. Thank you. Cool. And then I'm this still one in the way. <laughs> moves into the back of the spear line and chucks another one at Valen. I miss. Anybody I have any line spells? All right, oh, Valen. Man. Yeah, yeah, they're all kidding. they're all lined up throwing spears. I reveal my blue dragon hood and shoot the lightning bolt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, the only AOE spell I have is going to make a lot of noise, so probably all right, I can, not going to be worth it. Yeah. I can handle this. If you want to, like, attack and then move off to the side. Alright. Well, I'm just going to uh, pull out the copus, move up to here, whack at this dude. Hey, yeah. Cool. Whack him! You whack hit him. him. Bling! Mm -hmm. 11 damage. Mm, still up. Alright. That, that sneak attack. <laughs> So good. <laughs> Zeta. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> I only have a plus two. 
These guys is dick the, the sacred flame has become the new cons. Like, you're failing con saves with Mark when I'm casting all the decks. <laughs> <laughs> Your DC is 14 now. It's gone up. But these guys just cannot roll badly on decks. Alright, I guess. I, I'm gonna, like, two-two my way past this room. I'm gonna walk in. Throw a fastball. Uh, blast? I mean, yeah, you hit him. For three fire damage, maybe that'll kill him. I know he's pretty heavily wounded by that sneak attack. And I'll just continue my run by. Okay. Well, uh, this one will move up to take its place, drawing its great spear, and go for a thrust on theme. Miss. This one back here will throw its spear at theme. For ten... It okay. throws the spear, and the spear, like, fucking, I don't know, just hits you in the face. Like, goes to the <laughs> side of your helmet, and and gets stuck between your head and the helmet. Yeah, that could have been <laughs> you worse. Have to, like, pull it out. Mark, <laughs> how many spears do each of these guys have? Can I tell? Uh, It's on their back, and they're all facing towards you, and gotcha. the room is dark, so you can't. Okay, yeah, I can't really see them even. They probably don't have many more of these fuckers. Okay, cool. Admittedly, because they're not small. They're smaller than the Great Spear, but yeah. Alright, uh, for my turn, I'm going to take the dodge action. Okay. Uh, this one's going to throw a spear at you. Miss. Nice. Aha! And this one will throw a spear at you. Miss. Nice. Wow! <laughs> the dodge action came in. Yeah! <laughs> Alright, Valen. I know the wow. name of our group. That's the dodge action. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> I thought we were Storm Rider. No. Well, I mean, that's the name of our ship, the name of our group. Yep. <laughs> with, with the, the Storm Riders. Or the dodge actions. <laughs> the dodge actions, holy crap. Alright, Zeta. I guess it's really <laughs> kind of up to me here. Let's see. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah! yeah! <laughs> Bada boom. You hit him for five. <laughs> nice. Argos. Right, I bounce off the wall like Michael Phelps swimming, and I come back around for another. Hitting for. Oh, I don't know why I double clicked it again. For eight fire damage, and I just continue running by. <laughs> Alright, you finish it <laughs> Nice. It's going into the kill scares. Alright, this guy moves in to attack uh, theme. <laughs> and this Miss! Alright, Dave. Oh, gosh. I, I'm just going to dodge action again. This is working. <laughs> okay. Well, they're going to throw some shit at you. Miss. Miss. Hey, Valen. Nice. All right, cool. <coughs> found, my, found my groove here. Don't roll the one. Don't roll the one. All right, you hit. Nice. Hey, damage. All right, boom. He's down. Oh, nice. Uh, he had already been hurt. I don't know by what. I think something I think at the I beginning. Like, at the very start of the fight, yeah. That was, like, the first guy you shot. <laughs> yeah. It works out. Nice. All right, All right Zeta. You can't see any of them now. <coughs> now I can. Yeah. Oh, there they are. <laughs> On that first one. Whoa. Ah, <laughs> oh, dang. Fancy feet. Fancy <laughs> feet. <laughs> <laughs> Their bloodborne <laughs> skeletons are rolling around. They're rolling around. They're rolling the dodge They're freaking armored hamsters. The <laughs> <laughs> the the we shine, we shine the light in there, and we see them just like rolling, rolling, rolling. <laughs> oh, do you do you keep moving, Zeta, like out of the doorway, or do you stay there? No, I. I'm... Okay. It's bone wheels all over again. Argos. <laughs> <laughs> running, Argos is just sprinting back and forth, doing really good shooting damage. fireballs. Yeah, yeah, it's not fireball. so often, it's just a smooth <laughs> fireball. But... Alright. Yeah, that's my turn. Alright, theme. Dodge action. <laughs> well, actually, wait, are they 
Oh yeah, Dodge action. I'll dodge action. There's two of them in there. All right, dodge action. Ah, okay, fuck it for glory. Ah. Okay. Can you see? Ah, uh, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he missed. Yes, he had to know because he missed. He just stabs into the darkness. <laughs> They're in here somewhere. <laughs> oh. Miss. <laughs> Miss. All right, Valen. <coughs> that actually roll me bless on the gladius. There's a possibility. Oh, does the fifteen know what we need? Oh no, we we don't don't find out. That's fifteen, yeah. Okay. No. Nope. Zeta. Well, Zeta. Zeta? Really? <laughs> <laughs> I like to. Will you do two damage? Yep. Oh, yes. Yeah. Is it four, though? No. <laughs> mm. No, undead uh, skeletons are not vulnerable to radiant. <laughs> well, I guess it makes sense because they're not <coughs> resistant to necrotic. Yeah. Give and take. Will and will. Mm -hmm. All right. Argos! Zeta didn't move, so she's getting a fly. He's getting a fly by right by. <laughs> no, even with bus. Fire. I was like, oh, you're blocking my shot. Get out of the way, Zeta. I'll just continue back. Theme. The streak ends. The streak ends. All right. Yeah! God damn it. Yeah, I, I should just be taking the dodge action. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe for tonight, yeah. We figured out that's what I'm good at. <laughs> All right, Valen. There we go. Uh, yeah, but those guys just proved the dodge action would have been pointless too, so. Yeah. Yeah. 14. Uh, alrighty. Uh, yeah, he goes down. Nice. Nice. Sita! I mean, if you think about it, if it's a 1v1 and one person only takes the dodge action, the other person will uh, pinch. Mm hmm. You kill oh! him! Ah! I'm in the hey, dark, help! Boom. <laughs> oh, <I was> scary. <laughs> right, so where did the archers at? It's to the left. What's to the right? I don't know. That's where the skeleton is. Do we want to try to make outfits out of these things? Yeah, let me, let me give this another shot. See if I can't learn from my mistakes. All right, do you guys want a short... Do you want to take an hour, or do you want to take... It, he can probably do the outfit thing in 10 minutes. But if you yeah. take an hour, you can short rest. So it's up to you guys. I'm good right now. Just... I think only the only one that's actually benefits from a short rest at this point is theme. I'm okay. Okay, 10 minutes. Uh, So you uh make a disguise check. I'm only going to bother with two of these outfits for now. Got it. Uh, Because we are after... Do I get a slap? <laughs> yeah, you got a slap. Yeah, get you slapped. Oh, God. Oh, that was a good slap. That was 50% of your roll. See? <laughs> the D4. Yeah, so uh, they're serviceable. Once again, under scrutiny, it wouldn't hold up. Better than the last time. You feel okay. like if you were speed walking past someone in the hallway like a well-lit hallway and they're coming this way and you're going that way and you pass them and you're like hey nice weather and they're and he's like <laughs> all right like they wouldn't notice uh but it's not the kind of disguise where you could stand there and have a conversation with someone you know what i mean like you feel like it'll hold up in passing okay i'll i'll put that on there <laughs> yeah so that's the one that's medium armor um what are you gonna do with your <laughs> normal Lena Thorax and outfit? You could just stash it in the sewer. We're probably gonna have to leave that way anyway, right? Here's hoping we leave that way. I mean, probably want to keep your shit with you. Yeah. I mean, where'd you get the le or the original Lena Thorax? Wasn't it from a skeleton? From one anyway? of these guys, yeah. But it's this has been tailored to actually look like my portrait. Mm. Shit's important, man. 
Well, you could just leave your shit in this room just to see if the disguise even works. Because you don't know that it does. And then you could just cross that bridge when you come to it. Armor so barbaric. Mm hmm. Um, gosh. And again, the problem is my, uh, uh, my shield. I could put that, like, on my back underneath the cloak or whatever and use the one they have. That would reduce my AC again. I guess what I was going to say is that someone could just do the disguise, leave their shit in this room, and oh, see how go find out if it even works. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, go and give me this, guys. I'll, like, lay my, my old armor and shield up in here. Well, hold on. We need the higher AC because we're going to go kill some archers. So you want me to keep my, my Ithran shield? Got to kill some archers so we get disguises. Yeah, yeah but we're, we're wa I'm walking in there with this disguise to see if it even works. He's literally just testing it. Yeah, we're not... This is not failed. even the fight. This is not even the fight, Argos. This is a test. The we'll fight's later. Fails, we'll, be killing them, we'll be killing them anyway. This Either is way. a test. Okay. Yeah, not a fight. This I just don't want you to die. Yeah, so getting the outfit on and I'm going <laughs> to uh, just walk in there. Okay, so you like open the door. Back where's everyone? Ever, where's everybody else gonna be? Yeah. Sit over here. Can I get light? Because like, uh, it's gonna be dark in there. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Let's do Zeta. 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 Do you want me to give you light or stand in the doorway? Uh, if you do, you have uh, the other disguise on. Mm-hmm. Give it to. Yeah. If you've got the other disguise on, then yeah, just stand in the doorway and illuminate. Okay. Ding, you're okay. Bleeding. Are, you, are you okay? I'll be alright. Alright, you open the door? Yep. Okay, the door is open. You see okay. archers. Okay, walking in, Zeta. As soon can... as you step into that square where you're actually in the room, mm -hmm. all six of them draw their bows and aim at you. Okay. Like, like as you. one fluid motion. Uh, you have an opportunity to fucking leave if you'd like. Yep. Like, like, you have yep, about a second. Yeah. Closing the door behind me. That didn't okay, work. so they do fire on your way out, but because you're like leaving, I'll give them disadvantage because they're like okay. you're like ducking back around the the door. Yeah, my new AC is 18 with the, the new shield. <clears throat> cool. Well, they all have disadvantage, so miss, uh, hit, miss, hit. Oh, miss, miss. So, Whoa. The, ignore the crit shit. So it's a nine and a six. Okay, it, I'm still alive. Oof. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> Theme comes back out with two arrows in her back. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah that way is, that's not going to work. Oh, your, dis your disguise as a pin cushion worked really well. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, they, they didn't seem to even really pay any attention to what you looked like. Like whatsoever, there was no hesitation. Oh. It wasn't like they looked at you and went like, "Huh?" <laughs> no, no, no. It was literally like a living thing entered their room, and they're gotcha. like, "Shouldn't be a living thing in their room." So they just fucking fired on you. They they took no time whatsoever to look at you. All right. <coughs> oh, I'm ready for a short rest. There's there's probably some dead rats somewhere in here with arrows through them, <laughs> 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 or whatever. Like. Pour anything that ever comes in here. No. All right. If you need a short rest, you look like you've fallen apart. Yeah. <clears throat> well, those are your hit die. There we go. Let's see. That's twenty. So I'm at twenty-eight. Not bad. Hey, Billy, can you only sing that really beautiful song once a day? As many times a day as I want. But it's not exactly sing, quiet. Do you want to sing her a song? It's not exactly quiet. I mean, is there anything with ears nearby? It seems like all the undead don't really... Whisper it in my ear. Yeah. Can you just hum this a little bit? This is the song of friend. I hope you like it. Feel better, <laughs> theme. That was the most beautiful thing I've ever heard. Yeah, how'd you like that? I, a little, I cried in real life and in game. <laughs> All right. Well, All if, right, we're, if, getting... we're, if we're if uh, we're whispering "Song of Rest," which I'm inclined to let you guys do, then you probably did it last time as well. So, 
what was that Zeta and Theme healed last time? So go ahead and roll the other song arrest. Okay, cool. Zeta right. and Theme get three nice. more each because you would have done it both yeah. times if you could. Yeah, okay. that actually gets I, me to full, so that's good. I don't see any reason why you can't like sing a quiet song. That's fine with okay. me. The doors are shut. It's not like there's enemies in here with you, you know. <laughs> He's like sleeping, and you're yeah. just so getting right. out of this, getting out of this smelly undead armor, getting my, my real armor back on. Like, all right. So well, you yep, spend your same. you spend your second hour in this fortress, and again, you don't hear fucking anything. You're in here for another entire hour, and there's nothing. No footsteps. No doors opening or closing. There's like nobody down here. I'd be okay to just like, clear this whole place out. There's like <laughs> no one down here. This is like storage or something. Like oh, there's no songs. These arrests that they're singing. <laughs> you don't. You don't hear any fucking people down here doing anything. Hey, well, you want to check check those other doors? See what's behind them. Theme. Did you go to look at what's behind that door? Archers, arrows, lots of them. <laughs> Are there, is there a passageway behind them? Like there is only pain. You didn't look. <laughs> I didn't look. <laughs> Okay. All right, I'm gonna go check one of these doors out. <clears throat> okay. It'd be weird for like all those archers to guard it at dead end. I mean, you kinda, you're right. Do you kind of peek through it? But yeah, just kind of crack it open as best I can. You haven't gotten the impression that these guys are guarding anything. They're like just in storage. Here. Reserves. Yeah, they're, they're just like in here. They're not doing if, anything. If yeah. an alarm goes off up there these rooms I, I guess empty out <laughs> yeah this is the barracks that the npcs always seem to come out of nowhere <laughs> in the yeah, you're, in, you're in like the behind the scenes npc barracks yeah. <laughs> we're behind yeah. the curtain <laughs> mm-hmm. okay this just looks like a hallway yep okay <clears throat> i'm gonna peek through this door too then okay okay Peeking through. Mm, okay, I see some, I see some stuff. I see, I see a couple dudes. I don't, I don't know if there's more or not. You uh, crack a little okay. more. The dudes you can see are facing away from you. Okay, yeah, I'll keep opening it until I either see the whole room or something else. Oh. Okay. Ah! They're all facing away from you. From what you can okay. see. Okay. Well. Seda! Mm. Mm. What? <laughs> what? 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 Mm, okay. Oh, there's a lot in here. <laughs> There, like, once again, there's like a little bit of dust on their helmets. Like these guys haven't fucking budged for a long time. Oh, there's a fucking lot in here. <laughs> do, we, do we have to go? There? There's <laughs> at least twelve so far. Do we have to go that way? Pointed this uh -huh. way, maybe. I do have darkness. That makes us pretty much skip a room. If this is a room you want to skip. This is not a room I want to participate in, but there is a grate <laughs> on the floor down there. Yeah, there's a oh. grate. It looks like it runs into the drainage. Uh, it's like kind of blood stained. Well, we're already in the lowest level. Mm -hmm. so it probably go further goes down to the ocean. Mm. Um, so they are they are all facing away from you in this room. So they're already like not visually looking at you. So getting this, unless you are gonna get it in front of them, unless you want to like. Go here. Yeah. There is a pipe up that way. Mm hmm You see a pipe. It's is it horizontal? Yeah. It goes into like another place. Mm hmm oh, it's like a good leave. Maybe Do I think I could door. sneak into that pipe? Do I think it's possible? It's not easy, but you'd only have to like slip past that guy. Because you wouldn't really be in like in in the range of view of anyone else like maybe this guy over here you think you could probably slip in there if you made a good enough stealth check if okay. you were qu like quick and low and yeah not right now but maybe last resort uh, okay you wanna check that? yeah 
I would like to close this door first, though. <laughs> <laughs> There's no powder there. Nope, okay. nope, 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 nope. Okay. Boop. So, from what I could tell in that room, there was a pipe and then another door over there, I think. But I didn't see any other passageways. You know, looking at it, actually, this way isn't going to get us any progress unless there's, like, a staircase in there. That's uh, kind of what I was thinking, but I still do kind of want to peek in there just to see what I find. What's in the box, yeah? Treasure chest. Oh. Yeah, you see swordsmen. Are they looking left? Yeah, they're looking left. Ooh, good thing we didn't open that door. Okay. Um... Hmm, I wonder if there are any over here. So, see. Hmm. There, hmm. Yeah, there's no there's no progress to be made down there. Unless there's a staircase. Uh, oh, the door's open. Oh, there's nothing in there. Okay, hold on. Hmm? Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh, I think it was, I'm pretty sure it was an empty room. Okay. So should all four of us try to sneak past El uh, Skeleton Grande over here and get into the or, <sighs> or we can try to go the way of the archers. But my guess is the anything. my guess is the archer way maybe is where that other room with the oops, blocks, the saw blade that maybe they're guarding that. My gut instinct tells me that this is the way where it's, Same. it's gonna lead all us right. out of here. Do you want me to take the lead or do you want to? Try to stealth fast. Oh, God. I mean... We could all try to stealth pass, but it might not work <coughs> out. You could we just could try to if, darkness it. If Valen can get past his own, you could at least get in a lay of the land. I don't think it's super dangerous for me to try, because if I do get by, it's just like a single file pipe. So it's not the worst case scenario if I do get caught. Then you guys could just flank him from the other side. All right. So give me a map. Give me a minute to look in there, and I'll let you know if I find anything. All right, after Valen moves, I'm going to take his place. Okay. Right. I'm assuming that Zeta and Theme got out of their disguises once they discovered... Oh, yeah. yeah. Gonna oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Screw that. Those things smell anyway. All right. Okay, so so taking gonna... it one step at a time, you step one out. Mm -hmm. You're there now. Um, no, he doesn't seem to notice. You see a door to your left as well now. I do. Yeah. Hmm. And and that's just clear out of view for all of them. I'm gonna try the door. I okay. mean, it's pretty risk free at this point, unless there's something staring at the door. Okay. <laughs> but I'll give it a crack and see if I can't find anything. Oh. Okay, you see a spearman facing the door. Give me a stealth check. Uh... <laughs> the exact same thing that just came out. As long as there's not someone looking at ah! Okay. He doesn't react to the door being, like, cracked a little bit. Hmm. Okay. I'll close the door. I don't need to go in there. Okay. Nope, not out of that. Well, if anything... If anything, I just wasted that 10. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm ready to go into the now it's the real big league. Now, this is where I'm going to take it seriously. So, one step there. Oh, snap. Being and then... Gripping her sword and holding her breath. I'm going to try to make a quick shimmy just into the like... bike. Alright, give me that stealth check. You're in. He does not react. Nice. <laughs> okay. Admittedly, as you are slipping into the pipe, you might notice him turn his head towards the pipe. Ooh. But you're able to get you like go you go in like out of like to where he can't see you anymore. And he and then he go and he faces forward again. Hmm. So he did he did try to spot you, but then he gave up when he didn't really see anything. Hmm. Must have been the wind. <laughs> All right, so this room, I'm pretty sure it probably just connects to that one I just looked at. I saw Valen's light disappear from in yeah. front of me. <laughs> Hope that means mm. it's okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna peek into this door. Okay. It's a hallway. 
Okay, and it just... I'm assuming this is a hallway to that other door. But yeah, the, the, inside anyway. the further you go, the more dangerous it is. Zeta, if we hear oh. Valen scream... Darkness. <laughs> kind of a Got little it. room. Hmm. I don't think there's anything in the room. All right. An empty room. Hmm. Hmm. Mm, this is very unsettling. Okay. I'm going to crack this door. Okay. What do you think he's doing in there, guys? I think he's dead. Give me a stealth check. There's a swordsman <laughs> facing it. Mm. Ah! Jeremy wants to play Susan. Oh, he, does, gosh. he does not notice you crack the door. But there's a swordsman facing it. So he doesn't notice the door is cracked. Mm -mm. I can't see shit anyway. <laughs> I can't see anything while it's cracked. Looks like a... Looks like either a little tiny room or maybe it goes up a ways, but... Okay. I see the arrow in the darkness. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna close the door. Okay. Hmm. I need to. I need to remember what I've looked at here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this room. Just... I wonder if I can draw. So well, hopefully he just finds the blueprints on his own, and we can just go. Home. <laughs> Oh, awesome. okay. I can't see that behind the darkness anyway. <laughs> okay. Delete that. <laughs> okay, so there's a little arrow. It'll help you remember. Wait, we can do that? Okay. Uh, delete okay, that. so you yeah, get you that. get your delete chalk that. out <laughs> and you write on the floor. <laughs> mm. Okay, so that way that way is that. Alright, let's crack this door. Guys, it's so tense standing in this hallway in such close quarters waiting to see what I'm <laughs> Give me a stealth check. Mm. Okay, okay. doesn't see you. Okay. So this looks like a separate room, maybe. No, I don't know. Do you want to go to your fucking party now? or I'm just what? trying to figure out where the fuck we're supposed to go. <laughs> <laughs> What do you mean supposed to go? This is like <laughs> they they didn't build this place for you. Yeah, yeah, I, mean, <laughs> I can imagine them laying out where we're like, right. supposed to go. So I'm ideally, if we're going to enter the here, the best route through it is. Hopefully, it goes this way to get to here. All right, gotta make sure that it looks like. Door. Here we trust. Mm. He's an expert at D and D. He'll figure. <laughs> uh. Well, that says nothing about his ability to navigate a base. In a What's D&D? &D? <laughs> okay, Zam. I'm not going to open this door. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. If I remember right, he's looking this way. <laughs> for, for Zam. The face so, of Zam gave. Oh, my God. So... So I've gone pretty much as far as I can go. I haven't seen anything obvious yet. I do appreciate the webcams for moments like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or like when Valen was going like... Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> so, hmm. We've got a couple options here. Neither of them look great. <laughs> There's the archer room as well. We haven't checked that out. That's true. Can't leave that on the, on the... There's the archer room. Mm. Either way, I gotta come back with the guys. <laughs> Are we gonna sneak past Guard City over here? I'm not. What if I blinded this skeleton? Mm. I mean... At the point where you're going to spend a spell slot on it, it's your cleric like a... has your cleric has darkness that comes back in the short rest, and that's kind of blindness, but no save and everyone, you know what I mean? Like a better blindness. It's just like a it, yeah. Oh, well, it's just that it comes back in a short rest, so it's like it at the point that you're going to spend a resource on it, 
You know what I mean? It kind of yeah. does the same thing. Yeah. And it costs less. So we never really talked about like signals if I wanted you guys to come with me. I just assumed that you'd be able to see me. Mm -hmm. <coughs> but if I show myself to you guys, the thing's going to see me. It's only if the message can trip. If only I thought about that too. Mm. Um, so... If only there was a small animal that Argos <laughs> <laughs> hmm. so There would be, if that, if that dead rat didn't have an arrow in it. Yeah. So, Poor arrow walked in the wrong fucking room. I mean, I saw the ambassador with me, I just didn't think about it beforehand, so he's just... Yeah, oh, I, mean, I have... Messenger. I have... An idea here. You can animal messenger your familiar, I've never thought about that. That's actually kind of Oh, cool. yeah. yeah. So... Mm, True, but it would just be my voice. I'm going to telling him stuff. It wouldn't. It needs the other way around. Yeah. I'm going to make a uh, an illusory image appear, mm -hmm. and it's an illusory image on the floor that just looks like this, <laughs> just an arrow pointing into the pipe. All right, you can make a small symbol appear on an object or surface for one hour. Yep. It says that. So you make a little arrow pointing at the pipe. Yeah, somewhere in view of the rest <laughs> of my party. Okay. Oh boy. So the party sees a magical little arrow appear on the floor pointing at the pipe. Do we want to darkness this or try to do it naturally? I think the, fl the Fulusian gods are trying to tell us something. What do you think? Do we want to darkness it? I, darkness would, would I would kind of want to darkness it. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to fight this room either. Yeah. Okay. I would darkness it, but make sure we still have a clear way past. Next time we fight something, we'll probably be short resting anyway. So. Alrighty. Alright, so do you, do you uh, invoke your divine legacy to... Uh cover that guy in darkness? Yep. Okay. Alright, where are you going to put this exactly? It's a 15 foot r radius. Mm -hmm. Let me, you know, I'll like go up Is here. It... Yeah. So I can see a little better. Oh, uh, to do. -do, -do. Make sure you're comfortable with where you need to go once you cast darkness, because you're not going to be able to... Well, unless, unless it covers... Yeah, if I go, it's like... Like, if, if it just covers, like, this side of this guy. Here's your darkness. You have control over it. Okay, cool. Oh, that's not too bad. How do I have control over it? I think you can click on it and move I'm it. I'm trying to. Do you have okay. the, uh, the... Oh, uh, yeah. You have to select the arrow. And select to move. Select the arrow. You've got the you got the ruler selected, yeah. On the top oh my it. bad. I'm yeah, actually yeah. an idiot. No, 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 no. It's okay, it's okay. So why is okay. my darkness look like an eclipse, huh? We really we really <laughs> only have to block that just one. Ask. Yeah, I know. I'm like, I wanna get it so we can still like see where we're going to. Okay, fine, like that. Yeah, right there is good. We like, can still see. No, 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 not <laughs> oh, that's fine. All no, right. no, 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 no. <laughs> Yeah, you can yeah, slip can't around. See out of it. You can slip around. His little his little corner of his box is out, but ugh, that's he's fine. He's not better. facing this way. So, uh, I want the three of you to give me stealth checks with advantage to stay okay. quiet, cause just not trip and fucking fall, basically. Okay, so far so good. Argos, are you gonna fuck it up? Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Argos, are you gonna fucking fall on your face? Versus that! 22! Yeah! Okay, you're good, you're good, so, you're good. Balin sees theme and he's like, oh, You got it! <laughs> you got my message! <laughs> the darkness didn't give it away? <laughs> I can't. 
I'm like in my box. Like my character is like in the box for my oh, darkness. Shit. I can't move myself. You snooze, you lose. And they just walk. Ah, they can see us. Ah! No, no, I had to move it to. Move yeah, I know, it I know, up. I know. <laughs> Yeah, my bad. Sorry about that, Zeta. <laughs> that that one was not your fault. That one was me being an idiot. <laughs> I want to... Oh, you don't actually have the darkness spell in here. I want it, because I want to be able to text block it. So I'm adding it. Okay. So, so that I can click on it. And be like... Eh. How exactly does... I mainly want to see how long it lasts. So concentration... Up to 10 minutes. Okay, so it goes away whenever you stop concentrating on it, but you can keep it for up to 10 minutes if you want to keep it in if there. If we decide to come back this way. Yeah, if you want to keep it. 10 minutes is a long time. It's 100 rounds, so yeah. it's up to you. I'll keep it. I'll, like, keep it. Yeah. Alright, it sticks around. So All right, guys. Is it? Anyway. So, this door, skeleton's looking right at it. That mm -hmm. door down there, skeleton's looking right at it. If you follow me, you'll see There's another door, door right here right with skeletons looking right at it. Then, if we go down further, once more, we have a door with skeletons looking right at it. So why didn't we turn around and go the other way? Because there's fucking skeletons looking right at that door! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, we're going to have to find our way through one of them. One way or another, we're fighting our way through this. All right, take your pick. Whatever sure way I think I like this room because it's a little bigger. This one? Uh, whatever way will get us there quicker. All right, Argus. I'm in hot and heavy. Oh, Very gotcha. Much. All right. Hmm. Also, these guys are the sword ones, so get ready for that. Oh, God. Perfect. <laughs> um, are you sure this is the way we should go? You make my no. day, Valen. No, All right. I'm not sure. I'm going to open the mm. door. Wait, before you open the door, <laughs> I'm ready to attack with my crossbow. Okay. okay. I'm opening the door. Boom. Um. You immediately hear movement in that room. Okay. All right. Yeah. Why wasn't I? I had myself targeted. Uh, yeah. Four four point 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 I have to roll it again though to get on the order. All right. I guess rolling initiative then. There we go. Yeah, that works. Good luck, us. I think we've got the perfect connect for pattern going. This would not win you a game of connect for. <laughs> Putting that out there. This is like disconnect for. I'm not very good at connect for. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> Clearly not. <laughs> All right, Argos. <clears throat> Gonna hold my action to firebolt the first spoopy guy. I have a feeling that you're not going to see any spoopy guys. Oh, let me move up up square. Where? Are they coming from? They're not coming in. They left. You don't think they're gonna come in? They moved away. No, I'm up here ready. Their... I'll still ready a firebolt anyway. All right. Everything's quiet. Um... Zeta. I'm just gonna, just gonna, just gonna stay here and uh, hope for the best. Okay. Wait. Go, I mean, go ahead, Sam. You hear a door open, and then this one rushes. I knew it! Shit! Uh, <laughs> my fireball goes off at least. 
Bam, bam. <laughs> nope. You were aiming at the other door, motherfucker. Ready to actions are specific. Oh. I know you were watching the other door. I know you were. I would have given it away if I had asked you, though. That would have given it away. But I know you were ready to shoot someone who came through that door. You can't just sentry turret the whole room with your ready to action. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah. Oh, he gets Dang. it. Oh no. Ah! All right, Valen. <laughs> well, I saw that one coming. These guys are assholes. Uh, you did. You did call it. I think like a moment before I did it. You were like, wait, was that what the wait was about? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you figured it out like literally 10 seconds before I did it. Yeah. Hmm. Well. Uh... Well, it's a 15 hit to this guy. It does. Whoa, <laughs> big damage. Nice. Wow. Actually, very big. Yeah. Well. Um, then? And then? I'll move there. Alrighty. This one comes around the corner to attack. Ah, them. okay. We got two problems here. Yeah. Yeah, they were, they were positioning themselves to come in all at the same time. Shit. All right. Oh, misses. I think. Uh, okay. Yeah, that misses. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, it misses. <laughs> <laughs> Big mark. <laughs> okay. How would you even have seven AC? Like, how do you do that? It, I was kidding. I was kidding. <laughs> have, like, one dex. One dex. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Boy. One dex and naked. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, um, I'm going Naked to... Naked man in a wheelchair has eight. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, I'll hit, I'll attack this guy with my... Actually, no, I'm going to magic weapon first. Okay, bonus action magic weapon. Boom. Yep. Um, and... Magic bonus. Okay. Yeah! Nice. Yeah! Ooh, boom. Good damage. Uh, and I'm going to... Um... I'll maneuvering. Well, I can't act ah, maneuvering. Wouldn't really do anything. I'll goading strike it. Okay. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. That is <laughs> not quite. Not quite. Good try. Uh, time for the eight hundred wisdom. Nope. Wow. I was expecting oh! a twenty. Well, hey. <laughs> All right. Cool. All right. Uh, Valen and Zeta, you both see one up here. Run past. <laughs> like, you see it? You see it go that way? <laughs> Somebody please kill this one. <laughs> I say we kill, we kill this one and then move into this room. Then you see another one pass by. Oh my goodness. Which way are they going? <laughs> yeah, they're going over there. Yeah. Like, to the left? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, I say we kill this one. Oh. So we kill the one to our right and move into that room. <clears throat> Alright, Argos. Alright, I'm gonna... I don't know, I heard... I don't know. North or east? I say east. I like the Valen. What do you think, Valen? If they get reinforcements, we're gonna be in trouble. So you oh, should... your, uh, your ready to action would have gone off on the guy who attacked me. Oh, Dave. okay. Because you were aiming oh, at the cool. door. Yeah. Oh, cool. Oh, free six damage. Oh, yeah, so you killed him. Ah, okay. Your, In that case, ready to right, make, I'm going to magic missile then? this guy up here. Uh, uh, let's just so keep it. Killed him. Let, all right, let's all right, fine, let's fine. just keep Yeah. 12 damage to the guy north. Boom. Super fucking dead. Jesus, that's a oh. sh that's crazy overkill. He already took 12 damage. I'm going to run nice. into the darkness. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Uh, all right, you get hit by a ready to attack. Oh. Uh, oh no, alright, I'll shield. Okay, like from the dart. Yeah, I feel the port like a swoosh and I'm just like, ah! Okay. Bing! Alright. Did I? Zeta. I might have done something foolish. Oh boy. Okay, I guess, we're, I guess we're going north now. Yeah, you did 12 damage to something that already had taken 12 damage. <laughs> Gotta make sure. Nice. 
Zeta. Yeah. Zeta, make sure that darkness doesn't fall. Because I think they're going into that room. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm gonna move. Maybe we should just go east. That's what I was thinking. You say that after the wizard runs in, failing and doing. <laughs> I wasn't expecting you to fucking run in. I got there. really excited. <laughs> and you ran in there with no I guess action. I'll already, the sacred flame. If I see someone, okay. Like CNID, this Argus still doesn't have any light in this there. direction. All right, so you're you're gonna you're gonna stop there then. We got to get out of this room. I'm I'm gonna be moving what's, out of what's this room. The, after this. What's the plan exactly? Like, are you guys going? I don't know. Here? It was gonna be to move move east and hold on in this room, but then Argos ran that way, so now I don't know what the plan is. <laughs> plan is save Argos because he's an idiot. <laughs> All right, Valen, go ahead. Go get him, Valen. I'll be right behind you. Oh motherfucker, dude! <laughs> Why there <laughs> of all places? <laughs> All right. I realize that it should have also taken up the five foot spotty. So, I'm gonna pull out my crossbow and try to shoot over Argos's shoulder. Mm. How's a 10 do? It does miss. Okay. I'm gonna continue. I think it was 5, 10, 15, so 5, 10. There, open the door. Okay. All right. Uh, let me see here. Oh, close the door. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's open. You opened it. Okay, well, that was 25 <coughs> feet of movement left. <laughs> Jesus Christ, no. <laughs> I think surrounded by these spookum. <laughs> oh, Argos is going to have a bad time here in a minute. I'll just move back to <laughs> Hello. All right, team. Uh, okay. Well, yeah, the swordsmen are fucking shit because they're smart. <laughs> they're the worst. They're gonna get really <coughs> so... They they use tactics. Turn hmm. tactic. Oh. Hang on a second. Trying to figure out my uh, my point to point movement here. Um, so Valen would have been like, guys, there's another one over there. <laughs> okay. Well, I could go around behind that one. Take him by surprise, but um, you're not going to do any good over here. That's for sure. Well, yeah. yeah. I could move between you and that other guy, but like. Yeah. Boy, I don't know. Like, like, there's no no way I can actually get up there to actually protect anybody. Just go for that other swordsman. All right. So I'll move to right here uh, and attack that guy. Okay. This. Yeah. Nice. Oh, you hit him. Pucha! Nice and one. another uh, another goading strike. Actually, I'll use a maneuvering strike to allow Valen to move somewhere. Uh, I don't really want to move. Never mind then. Okay. Good. <laughs> How about Argos? Uh, <laughs> it only uh, prevents attack of opportunity from the one that I attack. Got it. Um, I might have to see them as well, actually. Ah, uh, whatever. Let's see if you kill this guy. Nice. Oh, you super do. Nice. Uh, let's see. Maneuvering strike. Uh, yeah. He, uh, oh wait. See or hear me. That could be a maneuvering strike. I, uh, I can tell Argos to move if he uh, wants. He get ops. Two attacks. Hey, of Valen doesn't want to move. Zeta, would you be interested in some free movement? Sure. Okay. All right. You can move up to fifteen feet. Zeta, we're moving. <laughs> yep. Let's get in here, guys. This would be a much easier way place to hold. All right, Argos, that's ten. If you can live long enough. 
And then, uh, I don't know, do you shield that? Uh, no. It wouldn't help. No. Yeah. And then that one misses you, actually, just straight up. Yeah. So that wasn't the worst result. Alright, I'll take 10 damage from my stupidity. Pretty, pretty high damage, but not the worst outcome. Because the other one missed and easily could have hit. Alright, Argus. I'm in, like, alright, this is a bad idea. I'm gonna disengage and. Just get over there! <laughs> <laughs> alright, Zeta. Yeah. Yeah, oh, you actually. Assistance. You actually made it out of there looking just fine, dude. Yeah, it's not bad at all. And Argo still has all his hit die left to spend on short rests, so that's a big deal. Yeah. Theme is out. <laughs> I'm out, die. but I'm still at high health, so I'm okay. Yeah. yeah. Every time Theme gets hit, it's a bad thing. <laughs> but a short rest, I can uh, <laughs> still get back all my class resources. Yep, I have. Ooh, nice. Uh, that guy gave me a thing. Downtown. I made with it. The ting, with the ting! Yeah. Ah. Hmm. Sorry. Valen. Hmm. Hmm. Are we worried about these guys getting reinforced? I mean, I think we're going to have to fight them and hold them at the hot gates. I don't think we can stop them because you'd have to get past this guy and get stopped. That guy, if you can like Zephyr strike past this guy, mm -mm. And, and then get over here. That's not how it works. <laughs> I don't know. I, I think it's gonna be hard. Here. It's gonna be pretty hard to stop him. Alright, I'll just do a point blank shot with my crossbow, <laughs> and then peace out. Seventeen hit this guy. Yep. All right, five damage. And see you later, nerds. Okay. Theme? Uh, okay, I'm going to move up to here, uh, and I'll... Um, I'll ready to attack uh, any enemy that steps in that square. Okay. Just embracing my uh, sword for a charge. Alright, so, I wonder if we have the opportunity to just fucking leave. Yeah, the only problem with that is if we, like, go to the north door and try to escape, we open it up, there's a room full of 12 more skeletons. <laughs> the 12 from up here and the 24 from down here. Well, if they moved away, there's a door down there and there's, who knows, there's a door up here. Alright, there it goes. We got two possible ways. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna hold a fire bolt if anyone uh, tries to charge down this hall. Balin, which way do we go? I'm just All right. holding the hallway until we have a direction. Just hold it. Give me a minute to check out the door. All right, we don't have long. All right, so Zeta, do you do anything on your turn? Uh, Yeah, I'll actually ready a secret flame if anyone comes out that door. All right, we got the fucking pyromaniacs ready to roll. <laughs> Locked and loaded. No. Valen and, or Argos and Zeta both like with their hands up, <laughs> ma magic fire, like ready to pit. <laughs> All right. Oh boy. All right. So let me crack this door open. Okay. Mm. Let's fucking open it. All right. Okay, they're not looking at us. Yeah, they're looking <laughs> to the right. So I go. <laughs> uh, we're, just gonna, you guys. we're gonna run through the entire dungeon, aggroing every mob, <laughs> and then they're gonna chase after us like the Speed greatest run game. Strats, baby. <laughs> like, we, can, uh, we can move up to where we're all behind those guys and close the door behind us, <laughs> and then like go to the left or something. Yeah, might work. But then they come back to chase after us, and then they alert these guys. They've, got, they've <laughs> got two doors here that come through in this room, and it's not going to be pretty. Yeah. I'm hoping the darkness, like, really fucks with them when He's they get open. confused. Oh, gosh, or if they go in and they, like, try to tap their shoulders, they, like, turn and attack them because they got touched or something. They got spooked. Then we got undead fighting each other. That would be great. <laughs> 
<laughs> not likely, though. All right, if I'm gonna close line. this door back up. We're not going that way. You want to run through a fucking room of dudes? So is that a no? Are we committing to the other door? Theme. Valen, are we committing to the other door then? It's your your guess is as good as mine. This one's a no go unless you want to fight more dudes. We're gonna have to fight more dudes anyway. Whichever way we go, probably. We're gonna have to fight more dudes if we stand here. Alright. Go here and I'm gonna open this door. Alrighty. It appears to be a hallway. Uh, but it's go. very dark. Okay. Alright, time for stuff. Uh... <laughs> All right, so ready to actions go off. Uh, like as it's moving out, yeah. To the back door, though, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so it dodges the sacred flame. Does the firebolt hit it? I just thought I didn't get it because it didn't come down the hallway. Uh, oh yeah, it, it did not. I was really yeah. That. Okay, well he is going to attack uh, Zeta. Nope. And then, uh, the pants are attacking, so do your firebolt on this one. He's coming oh, okay. down here. Right, he so comes up out of that room. They were like, they looped around and they were hiding in this room right here. 17? So they could come out both doors. Yeah, you hit him. Why'd you have disadvantage? Because there's an, uh, an enemy within five feet under the range. Yeah, okay. You hit him for three. He comes up and he tries to hit you. And he misses. Alright, Argos. Oh boy. Alright, I'm just chilling. <laughs> Go, okay, alright. What is that, uh, attack roll? Oh, you hit him. Six necrotic, he can't heal, and if he tries to attack me, it's just a Nice, nice. nice. Now it's good. <laughs> yeah, alright, second. Right, good damage. Well, you got it. <laughs> Yeah, you yeah. hit it. Ah. You hit it. <laughs> you light his like, I don't know. You light his hair on fire. No, like his fingertip. Yeah, his fingertip. You sent <laughs> you burn him a little bit. I mean, it hurts, but it's like <clears throat> he's like ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah. All right, Valen. Oh, mm. Do I see which one of these dudes has a bolt stuck in them? <laughs> Uh, well, it was a fire bolt. <laughs> no, I shot one of these dudes in the hallway earlier. Oh, I, don't, I don't remember, but the one to the left of Argus is lower health. Okay, so that's probably just... the one. Yeah. Well. So, uh, I'm going to run up to this dude, drawing my sword along the way. And I'm going to make an attack on him. Get him. Miss. I'm going to miss this guy. Theme. Oh, springing back into action here. Um... Now we pincer attack them! Yeah, for real. Uh -huh. um, Our master plan! Bodies. Hit him. Act like idiots. Yeah. That's how it works out. Alright. I'll move up here and I'll action surge. Oh, okay. Yeah. Miss. Ah. Uh, Unfortunate. Oh, I should have commander striked that. Dang it. <laughs> Ew. He is going to attack Valen. Nice. At that time. Our goals. All right, I'm, my the hand is still clinging to him. I'm just gonna dig in deep. Oh, and eight. <laughs> Again, I don't. Eight. Know. I, don't I like know. double clicking. Yeah. I think it's my mouse. Double clicking so much today. My mouse just double auto clicks sometimes because. It's... <coughs> Zeta. <laughs> eh. 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 Uh -oh. eh. Eh. Really? Eh. Eh. Alrighty, let's try it. You know, they only have a plus two and it's DC 14, so like, they should be failing more than they succeed. Though they are not. Right? Like, it's a higher than 50% chance for them to fail, but they uh, just roll really well on that <laughs> shit. Oh yeah, he's dead. Got him. Alright. All right. That's all of them. You play sound... them out. Things sound quiet now, at least. Yeah, those guys are assholes. 
<laughs> it doesn't look it doesn't seem like they were going to get help at all they might not even like it doesn't seem oh, like there's any programming for that they were literally just being tactical like they were trying to loop around and get like a a good attack on you guys like come out when it was advantageous so there's a the hallway over here i can't see down it though looks like one door at the end all right you want to check it out i'll be right behind you sure why are we going this way and not this the doom <coughs> wait a minute waiting uh okay i see i see two guys so far mm, looks like they're looking to the left um i think I'm the other one to... might be better then hold on i'm gonna try to open the door a little bit more okay perfect so it looks like just a another long hallway of these guys but they're looking at the wall we don't if you guys think you can be quiet, we could sneak by pretty easily. How far back does the wall go? Farther than I can see. You want me to go first, or do you want to go first? I think I've got the better chance of not. Okay, there's a door on the right there, but if the mm -hmm. thing is, if we set it off, wouldn't you want me in the front? Mm. Give me a sec. Alright. Well, there's a fourth one. Oh boy. Hmm. Hmm. I'm trying the to remember. Just gets better and better. I don't remember which way. I think they were looking that way up there. Nope. They're looking the other way. Looking that way up there. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's correct. Hmm. I'm trying to use my gamer sense here. Where's the exit? Where's the exit? Use clear points, Jeremy. Where's that? Use all those be... years of D and D playing into something. I wonder if it would be this way and then like up or something, or if it's just up that way. And just don't zoom out and see how little progress. We... <laughs> <laughs> see how far from the edge we are. Like, I can't even see it unless oh, I God. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty bad. I will say that you guys started... You started way over here. Alright, the beginning of this arrow is where you guys started. Okay, we made decent progress. Still a long way to go, though. Yeah. My... My bet is... Might, be one, of those... Might be one of those multi-session dungeons. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's Mike only ten. On the other door. It's only ten. Like you could easily beat this tonight. Oh, that'd be good. I'd love to do that. Mm. It don't let the size intimidate you. You're you're trying to find something. Yeah. So it's like once you find it, you're you're you know you're golden. Yeah, I think it's more that we we've been just moving so slowly so far. Mm-hmm. All right, back up, dudes. It's also like many of these fights are avoidable. Like that room over there, you just completely avoided. So that speeds things up whenever you can skip a fight. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think this way? option is going to be a little better. Okay. All right, yeah, so we might have to fight something. Crack me open again. Yeah, whatever. I'll just open it. Okay. Kind of a similar situation, but there's a door to my left at least now. Let me try to crack that. Okay. Uh, give me a stealth check. That's never something you want to hear. All right, you're nice. good. The swordsman doesn't see you. He's looking right at the door. Okay. Uh, close the door. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna tell my. I'm gonna turn around and go. Shh. And I. I go. Nope. <laughs> not that door. I'm gonna try and sneak right. behind these guys. Gotcha. Okay. So you want us to be right with you? Yeah. Give me a stealth check with uh, advantage. 20. Yeah, you can get all the way down there. Okay. I'm going to go to the end of the hallway. Mm -hmm. I'm going to open the top door. Okay. Mm -hmm. Boom. Boom. You 
You can see the edge of an archer facing the other way, facing that way, to the right. Okay. Yeah, you got some archers facing right. So I'm going to turn down to my friends, and I'm going to go, shh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to do that really exaggerated um, old 1950s Batman sneak. Yeah. Give me that advantage on stealth. All you're, all you're doing is trying to be silent. Yeah. You're walking right behind these fucking guys, like yeah, trying to bump spooky. them. Yeah. No bump. But they don't seem to notice you. All right. Uh, particularly because Zeta would have tapped you probably, so that's at least a fifteen. Okay. Right. Well, Zeta, Argos to get... Zeta, give me a good pat. Good pat. Good touch. Good touch. Good spot. Good good spot. Good spot. <laughs> All right, here I come. Quick <clears throat> advantage. Click stealth. Pie double clap. So I'm most a piece of crap. Nope. Fifteen. Please. All right, you're good. You get down there. Bam. There you go. Look at that awesome nice. D4. Yeah, pretty good. <laughs> Oh god, I want in the fast. room though. I'll let me in. <laughs> Bandage tap. <laughs> uh. Nice. Oh, oh yeah. fuck yeah! I'm so glad I didn't bring my bulky iron armor. <laughs> Feather feet. <yeah>. Wow. <laughs> the, the yeah, yeah. Oh my god, max on the guidance twenty five. <laughs> Zeta is a ghost. <laughs> Sprints silently. Yeah. You, you guys all get in the room, and someone's like, "Where's Zeta?" And you turn, and Zeta's just fucking standing there. <laughs> like a ninja. I, oh, there use... she is! Wow, she's right on top of me. Hell. Okay. okay. I'm gonna like point up here and like give a little shrug. Like I that. point to Zeta and go. <laughs> what? what? Are you trying to are you trying to make a pass at him? Slap that ass. <laughs> you do it, Thalen. Point past it. Zeta. I point at Zeta and I go, Oh, close the door. Oh, uh... team, team closes the door. <laughs> I thought you were like, slap that ass. <laughs> yeah, the door. Okay. Yeah, the door is shut. I'm going to take a peek through this one. <laughs> okay. I'll go switch. Well, give me a stealth check. You see some spearmen. Yeah, they don't notice you. Mm, they're looking right at me, though. They're looking this way, yep. Alright, close the door. Did you okay. fight in that room without these archers knowing? <laughs> no. Did you, did you check the left side door down here? Yep, they're looking right at us. Alright. You wanna just fight these archers? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. If we can fight the check. archers in the room, they'll have disadvantage on melee attacks, or on their range check attacks. that. Yeah. Mm, if, like, the I'm pretty sure thing. that's just another long hallway of swordsmen, but... Oh, yeah. Yeah, we don't want to go wrong. back that way. Well, we'll, let's fight these guys so that then when we fight we these fight guys, the these there. aren't on us. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. If one of you stands here and one of you stands here, they'll all have disadvantage. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get there first, but yeah. Alright. I'm gonna pull so, up my sword, walk up, sneak up behind this guy. My plan is to move to right here. Now I'm go and wait for my friends. <laughs> They're ready okay. to attack. Like, all right, all right. Well, can I go ahead and make that move then? Uh, yeah, you can start it off. All right, moving right here, and that probably provokes them. Ready attack to firebolt. Uh, <laughs> and I guess the the south. One. Yeah, so you guys can basically all get. You just get a surprise round because you can just make your fucking attacks. Oh, cool. <laughs> oh, oh, nice. Nice. All right. When's the last time we've had a crit, crit attack? I don't have advantage, so that's a miss. Okay, that so the iron coat... Oh, wait, no, if I... Wait, do I have advantage? Uh, no, not really. I mean, they... they... Yeah. So the iron copus, Valen, was who? Uh, the one I'm standing right next to. Can you roll that damage for me? Sure. Well, there's nine plus... 13 damage. So that guy's dead. Argos, nice. who, are you, who are you hitting? That guy. Okay, he's dead. And then, nice. uh, theme misses and Sacred Flame, I'm assuming? Or something yep. more? Sacred okay, Flame. Who do you want to hit with that? Well, you I've hit got him. more movement. Alright, you hit him. If for... I've got more movement left, I'm gonna move to here. 
No, that they get aggressive. They all right. they all turn to face you, but you guys like pummel them with everything you have. Like when that happens. All right, cool. So you hit him for two. Okay, now this is where the fight actually starts. Yeah. So you managed to just take a couple of them out before it even started. This is a good surprise good. round. It's really nice again. Ow. Basically, Theme strolled up to there and attacked one. You all attack them, they all. Yeah. Ah, what the wing? Okay. Oh, I miscounted how many I had. So I'm a fucking moron. There we go. No, you're not. You're amazing. Aww. Gwen tells me that all the time. Aww, oh, she should. I don't believe her. <laughs> okay. Wow. Start, starting with Valen. Party with the party in this. Yeah, I feel like you guys are just gonna fucking rape this room. <laughs> <laughs> Good God. You killed two of them before the fight even started. Yeah. There's 15 feet. I'm gonna attack the one next to me. <laughs> All right. It was an 11 hit. Uh, it misses. All right. Well, I'm gonna continue moving. There. Nice. I'm just kind of swinging a wide <laughs> arc, kind of trying to distract as many dudes as I can. <laughs> Alright, Zeta. Same one that I did last time. The damage is real. Oh, yeah. It's real it only seems to succeed when you roll like a one or a two for some reason. Yeah. yeah. So oh, that's like that. Wow. Alright, Argos. I will fire both the one that was Sacred Flame Blast. Nice. Six. Nice. Alrighty. Cool. It's my turn. Alright. Cool. So they all draw their arrows back and aim their longbows at Valen. <laughs> oh. Um, and you get the impression that they may, kind of like how the swordsmen have the shield master feet, these guys might not have much of a problem shooting people in melee. Oh, no. Oh. Uh, they've got like the crossbow feet or whatever. <laughs> crossbow master. Shit. Wow. <laughs> so that's a miss. Mm -hmm. That's a hit. Sure is. And that's a miss. So Valen is in the middle of these guys just like dancing. Pretty much. <laughs> like, oh god! <laughs> They're shooting oh. arrows into the floor. He got me! <laughs> One of them nicks you for, for seven. Okay. Alright, theme. Was there only three? Uh, Yeah, the, the other guy's initiative is worse. Oh, I didn't notice that. Yeah, yeah it's, oh, it's, he doesn't get to right. go yet. He has to go after cool. theme. Uh, okay. Well, I'm going to. His add... initiative was actually the same as theme, but I favor players. Play... Okay, I'll go for. I'll go for this guy. Players always get to go before monsters in my games if they're if they tie, because I'm cool. Does that hit? Uh, it hits the archer guys. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. There's that. Uh, and. Um, oh, oh, uh, goading strike it. All right, just for the extra damage, if nothing else. Yeah, he goes down. Nice. Oh, cool. Worth it. Mm, this one here is going to shoot at Zeta. Huh. Oh, miss. miss. Yay. Oh, very lucky. Barely, barely. Ooh. All right, Valen. All right, Valen's gonna attack the one right next to theme. Uh oh, Valen's not doing so hot right now. He's busy, busy trying on, to dodge. We're focusing on defense and offense. Let's see the... <laughs> <laughs> the three things in a row. What the hell? You hit him. Yeah. Yeah. Two is better than zero. He goes down. Oh, oh yeah! yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Death by a thousand cuts! <laughs> yeah, because he got hit by two sacred flames and a firebolt, so it's nice. like, eventually it'll die. 
Hit it with enough things. I'm gonna firebolt the one down. Took three cantrips to kill that fucker. Alright, you hit him. Six four. There we go. We, we've started on this one. Two more cantrips and you'll get him. Cantrips! <laughs> <laughs> we're we're getting, it, getting, it, getting it started. Yeah. Alright. This guy's gonna shoot at Argos. With disadvantage. Oh, never mind. Sorry, oh, I thought he was shooting uh, at Argos. Uh, I will. You're gonna shield? Or... Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll shield. Okay. Theme. How many spell slots do you even have left? Like two? I've barely used them. I've only used them for shield men. here and I'll hit this guy. This will... mm -hmm. Sorry, I'll attack that guy. Um. Do what? Actually, I'll let. Actually, eh, yeah, I'll go for him. I'll save my you last uh, last maneuver. Boom. All nice right. one. All right, let's Bailing. see if Bailing can break his dry streak. Hopefully, fingers crossed. He doesn't focus on. Get it. There anymore. we go. So that's seven plus, so nine damage. All right. I, think you, I think you guys can manage that. One more cantrip. <laughs> cantrip, bro, strike. Yeah. Oh, that's spiritual. Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, what? oh, oh. Wrong one. oh. my bad. Ignore oh, okay. that. Oh. I made the save. <laughs> oh, Argos. You think you're safe in the shadows? I was born in the shadows. <laughs> <laughs> <That's very dark>. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well we have a lot of options now. <laughs> We sure do. Got four doors now. Well, sorry, three new ones, but let's see. Well, those oh, there's like a hallway up there too. The yep. Not this one. Okay, so we know this one has spearmen that will see us if we open the door. Do this one probably. The these two probably then? have the sword swordman hallways. I, so... I guess this one. Give me a sec to check it out. All right, I'm gonna try and crack this one open, Zim. Give him a back rub, Zeta. <laughs> okay. All right. Out of sight, Zeta. <laughs> you see Spearman facing the right wall. At least five. We're not sneaking through this room, though. Why not? Because they're looking at the door. No, they're mm -hmm. looking to the right. We can go yeah, like but that. If there's one oh, right there's... here, like I'm guessing... Mm. Then he'll see us if we go. We door. Sneak peek the door, like stand in the doorway. No, I don't need to sneak peek the door. See. I know it's there. <laughs> you want me to go first and see, and then if there's none back there, we start sneaking. And if there is some in there, we start combat. I there, there's no doubt in my mind that there's a guy right there. <laughs> what if this is just the end? Like this, there's like another door over here. I'm one thousand percent certain there's a guy in this square. I mean, that would be pretty bad. So do you want me to go in then and start the combat, or...? Not really. Okay, what do you want to do? Mm. Go the other way where they're facing us, or this way? Or short rest so I can darkness it. Maybe. That, I don't know, I'm, I don't, I I don't know if it's I, worth... Yeah. yeah. I don't know if it's worth darknessing if it's only like six dudes, but... I am, I am down to one superiority die and no other class resources, so... I could use a short rest to heal some health but okay. at the same time I don't know also we could just go through the other door too I mean I don't know which one's better mm. I think I could do one more combat before short rest depending on how big it is yeah. yeah you don't know how many dudes are in that room maybe you could peek forward a little bit and get an idea of that yeah like like witchy your way up there could do a peeky peeksy weeksy I'm assuming there's six, but I guess it's possible there's more than six. You wanna I you wanna widge way your way up there? Okay, I'll Wid. take a I'll make a stealth check to try and find out if there's more. Okay, there's definitely at least eight. See if they <laughs> oh even god! See me. You wanna go the other way then? <laughs> ah shit! Nope, well, we're going this way. They don't see you. Oh. Oh. Where? You, well, you're just in the or or rather, they don't seem to care about you. You're in the doorway, oh. you're not in their room yet, so they don't oh. give a shit. These are the, the lower programmed AI. Yeah, they don't <laughs> care. You're not in their room. Oh boy. Hmm. So, what, you think that one then? Yeah, this room looks I horrible. Mean, I can there's... even see a fourth one here at the edge of the light now. Uh, like... Oh yeah, there's at least 12 of them in there. Then. <laughs> Close oh, the door. God. Alright, over here. This is a great door over here, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I like this room. Alright, close this door. It would be a great door if I could see it. There we go. <laughs> Alright, so you're gonna close that door up. Yep. I think we should get ready to 
SWAT team this town because we already know they're looking. Yeah, I'm gonna ready an attack with my crossbow to shoot a dude. Uh. Okay. I mean, assuming theme's just gonna work. Do you, I mean? Do you want to get an idea of how many are in that room before you do that? You, have, huh? you don't. You don't know how big that other room is. Mm, it seems sure like don't. you're. It seems like you're making decisions without information. So. I feel like Argos, with his AT intelligence, would be like, "Hold on, we don't know how big that room is." Even bigger. All right. <laughs> Want to give it a check, Valen? All right. Let's see if we can't see what's. Just don't know how it could be worse than I'll, the other. I'll room. give you a slap. All right. Well, since you know the spearmen don't really give a shit as long as you don't enter their room, you know your safety zone. So there you go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. Oh my god. Right, there's at least 15 that I can see. Shit. So. <laughs> what do we do? Uh, fight 15 or fight 12? Wait, what <laughs> if. Hang on. Or what if Zeta. Darkness. Hang on. What if yeah. Zeta used, used her spiritual weapon? And there's none of us in there, but if it starts slashing around at those guys. She's not they gonna kill that many in ten turns. I'm not gonna let you cheese it. <laughs> okay. Um, I, mean, by the same I, I actually, just honestly, like, into it. I mean, your cleric presented a fucking fantastic solution. Oh, sorry, what? Earlier. Yeah, I mean, the other room, they're all facing the right wall. Your only problem is like, basically getting around that corner. So that I just feel like you guys threw that off the table a little too quickly. That was actually a really good idea. Yeah, I think but, we were trying to com do another combat before short rest, but given the two rooms here... Yeah, yeah so if you're trying to avoid a short rest, then you could totally fight your way through there or whatever. I don't know. Yeah, yeah I think it'd be worth it to do uh, to darkness through one of these. If we, if we have to like choose which ones we skip, I'd rather skip one of these two. I don't think we're going to be able to darkness our way through this room. No, the other one, though, we could. Yeah. Right, let's take a short I rest. Don't it's just an option. I mean, if you're trying to avoid the short rest, that does make sense. Uh, I, I would be it would be trying to avoid it if it was a small combat. But I was like, I think we can do one more tiny combat before yeah, tiny short combat. Rest, but yeah, this is not a tiny <laughs> combat. Taking a short so, rest. Yeah, let's, let's let's go ahead. Well, hold on. I want. I want to see how many. No, no. no hey, oh, short rest. Valen, do you want to be invisible? Do you think that would work on them? Since... <sighs> Uh, I, don't want to use I, might, I might be able to do some really good scouting that way. Yeah, but if they're they didn't like seem to care. I mean, like with the archers, you were disguised and they shot you anyway because no living creature is supposed to be there. So if their same AI is no living creature, they might just try to shoot the where they. As long as I'm quiet, I'm not too worried about that. I mean, it would burn a second level slot, but if you get some good stealth, maybe you could really get some good. <laughs> We might be able to find our way to the exit that way. I wish to do it. I'm just gonna invisibly. Uh, okay. Wait, what? Oh. Okay, you're invisible, Valen, I suppose. Okay. You just gonna <laughs> scout out while we're while we're waiting here? Yeah. That's a good idea, oh, actually. Open this door up. <laughs> Why not scout the north door yet, route if that's what we're planning on going in? Oh, yeah, I guess so. We'll go the north. No, north. Okay, okay go going go. north because that actually makes sense. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> they okay. don't. They don't react to you entering the room. Ooh, nice. Uh, I promise you don't have any light, do you? It's on he me. Does. Mm. Let's go this way. I know this way just goes to the other big ass room. Let's check this door. Okay. Boop. Arch the archer is facing from... facing the left. Yep. Oh, now, right there, you see a pipe to the north, and the pipe is angled steeply down, and there's a there's a strange uh, light emanating from wherever it leads, and you can you hear <clears throat> you hear like some some odd sounds like liquid pouring, and like something brewing or whatever like, like different noises. Laboratory sounds. Yeah. Oh! Nice. All right. I want to back up. Gwen's getting excited. <laughs> I'm, going <laughs> I'm going back. I'm going back. Close the door. 
<laughs> All right. Wait, wait. So if one goes right here, cast darkness on like this spot. It's a 15 foot radius, right, Sam? Mm -hmm. Yep. That would do it. And then we could just <coughs> sneak by. Yep. Okay. All right. Close the door. Let's take a rest. How long does invisibility last? An hour. Okay. Yeah, it'll, it'll be gone. Well, there we go. That was your second level spell slot, but now you have a destination, so. It was like a second level augury, but more specific, I guess. Nice. That was the first second level spell I've actually cast this whole adventure, so I had plenty of those slots. Oh, do we get Song of Rest again? Mm hmm. Okay. So, Song of Rest. Will that be six? Will that beautiful bean footage? Oh. <laughs> So two health for anyone short resting, and then hit dice. Um, I'm gonna wait until you guys are done with your hit dice before you do mine. And you get your don't wanna... so... you get your divine legacy back. So and I, I get... don't wanna um don't wanna long rest in here if at all possible because I I wanna I don't wanna leave Suzanne back yeah. there like for any longer than we have to. I like Are you Suzanne, guys done with though. Your... I don't know why okay. we did that, but I, I'm glad. You know, if we can, if on our way back through, we convince the village that like we have the cure to the uh, the potion, Dave's did not bring this to you. Mm -hmm. The uh, the pagan gods. Didn't... The pagan gods have delivered this uh, this potion. All right, you guys all full health. Yeah. Almost. Same as not right. I'm 36 out of 40. I'm okay. Okay. And I've got my second win back, so... Did you good. find a good way for us to... I found the way to the laboratory. Oh, man. Oh, good. How are we going to get out? Are we going to go out the same way we came in? It took us a lot of darknesses. Maybe we'll find a better way out once we get there. Okay. If there's a grate to the ocean. We could take that. Maybe. Oh, yeah, there are grates all over the place. Yeah, maybe. maybe yeah. There's a They're covered by undived. There's one in the la uh, library. Just clear out, like, one room and then... Go that way, yeah. Yeah, I just hope there's one in the laboratory. All right, let's do it, Zed. It's all on you. Did you find all a good right, spot for him to uh, darken? Mm -hmm. Re refresh all the light stuff as well. So if you hit, if you hit it directly on the second row, second column skeleton from our point of view, that's where the. The, the money shot darkness location is going to be. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I'll get some divination to follow. Alright, right, well, I, I put the darkness there. <laughs> uh, Alright. <laughs> uh, I think divination spells would be really useful in this campaign. So maybe I'll... Yeah, dude. All right, so I think he's talking about doing like something like that. I'll have a there. minor in divination. <laughs> uh, oh, you guys! Have, oh, the door's closed. Yeah. <laughs> Open door. Okay. There we go. <laughs> so that looks about right to me. So if you just put your hand on the left wall, you'll be able to see. <laughs> oh, like, we're back to that again. Follow it through. <laughs> Until yeah. you get out of the darkness, just keep your hand on the left wall and don't go far. Okay. <laughs> Give me a stealth check of advantage, Zeta. Uh, and you, can touch, you can slap yourself too if you want. Oh yeah, I'm going to give myself a big old slap. Okay, yeah, you're wow. good. Alright, yeah, you're good. Uh, Valen? <laughs> good. Okay. Up, oh, Zeta. Theme, advantage stealth. Yep, you're fine. And Argos, here it is. This is where Argos. Why do you always put the pressure on one... me like that? <laughs> I want Argos to just slam into one of these guys. For Suzanne, thirteen. That's fine. You are just fine. On your on your way, you you brush against one of their cloaks. But it, doesn't, <laughs> yeah, it does not react. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't react. <coughs> yeah, I just looked at Valen in this tour. We're supposed to... Yeah, 
Yeah, in a, in a campaign where you don't get XP for killing stuff, uh. it's not worth it to... Which I like better anyway. Like, I like the idea that you're getting experience by accomplishing things, not just, like, mindlessly killing enemies. That's stupid to me, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, like, you it could makes... be killing all this stuff because it gets experience, but honestly... Doesn't make any sense! Like, yeah, why? it doesn't. Why? How is that? All right, do you guys follow Valen, I assume? Yeah, I'm not yeah. Right. Wait, my right. turn. Your stealth carries through. Oh, good. This All is right, really you good guys end. are heading into the pipe, and you're heading, and you 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 slide down into the laboratory. We are gonna take a five minute break. Oh, oh. Ready? oh. we're going down oh, yeah. into the labs. All right, sounds good. Oh, oh man. <laughs> All right, guys, you ready for this? I think so. Maybe. Oh boy. There we go. All right. The bottom of the tube opens up. Uh, this seems to be some kind of ventilation shaft. Because uh, it's a big, it's a big place. They gotta make sure the air flows. And uh, there we Whoa. go. It opens up into a uh, cold, sterile chamber filled with corpses uh, preserved underneath uh, sheets. Some of them have, like, lines painted on their faces or, or different parts of their body. Guys, what do you think those lines mean? No idea. Oh, there's light in here. That must mean there's people, too. Or torches. Yeah, I mean, why would it be? Do I know any correlation between the lines on their faces and where the purple marks for the disease like correlated? Are they similar? It doesn't seem to be related, but you can go ahead and make a uh, Arcana check on the lines in general. Nineteen. Okay, this is necromancy stuff. The lines are indicating, like, parts of the bodies that are, uh, good, usable. Um, and then some of them are indicating parts that are, like, weaker or too decayed to be disposed of. Uh, apparently the undead used in the Imperial Army, at least in this case, are, are actually kind of cherry-picked a little bit. These bodies are, like, awaiting processing or some kind of surgical process in which they're going to basically take the best parts and make something. Now what's interesting is you've mainly run into skeletons so far, so you're not sure exactly what the fuck they're making out of these. You you probably have not encountered whatever it is. Okay, if I have a piece of paper <clears throat> and a pen and some ink, can I like draw a human skeleton like mark the good spot? <clears throat> Um, well, it's different for each person. It's it's more specific to the bodies. Okay, well, I'll just take notes in general okay. of, like, maybe yeah. it's more consistent. It's, it's stuff like this person has great arms for what we're doing. Okay. The rest is garbage, and this person's got a really good rib cage. You know, so you could, they... you could sabotage them by drawing extra lines <laughs> on parts that are not as good. So, Zan. Mm-hmm. Um... Do we know if the Violet Plague ruins parts of people's bodies for them to use? Um, <laughs> you <clears throat> you don't know that. You don't know that. We're not sure either way. No, you don't know either way. Uh, it, kills, it definitely kills people. There's four doors. Where's your innate sense of direction taking you, Valen? Nowhere. <laughs> I need to get a get an idea of the layout before I can just go ahead and say. Do you want to go invisible again, or do you want to do it the old-fashioned one? Mm. Mm. Let's do it the old-fashioned way. We don't even know if this place is dangerous yet. Alright, my sense is telling me north. Okay. I'm, uh... This door or the other door, Argos? I don't... I don't know. I just don't know. Okay. Let me... 
peek through this door. Okay. Well, you see more bodies. That is a lot of bodies. Alright, open it up. Okay. But it's a lot of bodies still. Is Valen invisible? No. No, he's visible. Okay. Okay, Matt. What's your gut telling you here? Oh, you get in the room. Uh, west. Okay. I'm gonna check out the west door. Okay. Does these bodies have the same inscriptions of like you know cherry mm -hmm. picking? Yep, they're like marked. Yeah, ready for processing. What is in this room? Peek, I'm taking. I see like uh, a corner of something there. Yeah, it's a corner of some kind of something. Table? Okay, so it looks like a big metal table with uh, arcane symbols inscribed into it. What in the fuck? Okay, so right that? there, you see what appears to be some kind of hulking conglomeration of bones taken from many different bodies uh, hunched on that table, like laying motionless. Nope, no thank you. All right, we're going south now. <laughs> mm. oh, cool closing is that? the doors behind us. Can I do a something check on that? A something check? Like Arcana or Religion or something? Uh, I mean, you can go over there and examine it. I don't do that. that. What about this sigil here? Can I examine this since it's a lock? Yeah, you can give it Arcana. Will you slap me? Slap. Well, it... <laughs> what the fucking double roll, alright. <coughs> oh no! How did you notice that this time? Well, I, got, I got what I rolled. I'm pretty it sure that was the first Arcana you made earlier. So oh yeah, so... Oh, okay, yeah, you're right. My bad. Anyway, uh, it looks like necromancy to you, but... um. Other than that, it's it's uh you, you kinda sit there and you examine it. It's it seems like this is how they revive uh bodies. Like this is how they make their undead. And so like you've been taking notes and you kinda like write those down and secretly Argos is beginning to put together the pieces of anime dead from what he's getting out of this laboratory. Like, he's starting to learn that spell. You, can't, you don't have the slot for it yet, but, like, you feel like with a little bit more investigating down here, you you may have that in your That'd spell awesome. book. You may have anime dead in your spell book. Yeah. I was going to have to wait till 6 for that, so I'm excited. Yeah. Nice. <coughs> so who wants to test the waters with that thing? Does it look like it have, has legs at all? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's it does. Do you want to go west? All right, let's go west. Let me check out this dorm. Although I would like to get closer to the critter. Do it. Be, be my guest. And I have to. Seems to be some kind of a junction. Hmm. Well, I don't want to go investigate the critter alone. I'm not going with you. <laughs> I'll go with you if you want to. All right, then come with me. I take the offer immediately and make my way hurriedly. I don't like this. Alright, All right, you're there. It's pretty big, and it seems to have been made out of bones taken from many different bodies. Do I don't know if it's been reanimated yet, or if it's just like getting the pieces together. Like, like you've got all the pieces to a car, you just haven't assembled it yet. Is that what I think this is, or do I think it's already... Well, you can get in close to figure that out, or you can cast yeah. Detect Magic. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll cast a 10 minutes <laughs> 10 minute ritual. 10 minutes? Yes. Okay. I'm going to close the door while we're waiting. Oh, okay. okay. Both doors to this room. Okay, sounds good. Well, <clears throat> after 10 minutes, uh, your detect magic reveals uh, necromancy magic emanating from both the tables... And the body. It probably has uh. been reanimated. 
Uh, you're you're not really sure. I mean, you just all that detect magic tells you is there's necromancy magic coming from both tables and the mm. and the body. Okay, we should, you know, should probably be careful of that. I don't know what the trigger is. This might spring the light. All right, I guess let's continue on. Whew. At least I have a uh, detect magic. Well, we have that going. It reveals that the torches are ever burning. Oh, okay. Oh. That's I'm gonna snag nice. one of those. <laughs> okay, you take a torch. I mean, it's it's still burning. Um, I'm putting my backpack for now, but okay, you can't, you can't do that without putting it out, and you don't know how to put it out. Mm. Okay. So you have to either carry it. It's ever burning, but you guys don't, and we'll probably never learn the trigger word. So it's like you can't turn it off. Okay. So it's kind of like. You can just carry it out of the dungeon with you, or you can leave it. Yeah, fuck it. I don't want it that okay. I'm not going to be able to figure it out. No. Lumos. <coughs> Alright, I guess we can go back the way we came, or I kind of want to walk past it, but maybe its trigger is, like, opening up one of these three doors or whatever, Mike. Well, I mean, we opened this door, and there's more ways to go in there. Okay, let's go in there. Okay. Alright, you open up the little junction room. Alright, either west or north. You pick. I'll go west. Okay. Watch, I'm probably going in the complete opposite direction. Like, any of these would go to the right way, right way we're trying <laughs> to go. In, leading us the long way around. We're just trying to learn more shit. Yeah, I wish. Well, there's more tables. Well, there's another thing. Yeah. Another thing you said. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh man. North. Yeah, let's go north. Very spooky music. Oh, what's that? Well, it looks like a body on a metal table. These are smaller tables. There's a little bit of blood, and there's like some knives. Um, the body's missing a couple of pieces. So this might be where they, like, this might be one of the places that, like, harvesting is done, possibly. Anything of interest in this room? Not really, unless you want, like, a tiny knife. Alright, let's go west again. Wait, there's another door on the... Yeah, other but that's one. what the other door we were at. Oh, it goes back that way, okay. Yeah, I would assume. So, yeah, over here. Alright. The huge the creature on the table shifts and groans slightly. Oh, yeah, it's going to trigger when we open this door, I think. Alright, I'll open the door. I'm going to peek through it anyway. Okay, you open the door up. Go, 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 go. I'm gone. Uh, close the door behind us. Go <laughs> north. I'll shut the door. Okay. We're going to get so fucking lost if we shut these doors. <laughs> <laughs> well... All right, North, you said? Yep. Okay. North it is. So many bodies. Do these bodies look like... Have we come across many different people? Like, do these people look like I could recognize where they're all from? Uh, no, they, they look like... Um, they, they just look like humans. None of them look sick. None of them have any signs of illness. Many of them have... Uh, some of them have battle wounds. Like, a lot of them have old wounds. Like, they were killed fighting the Empire or something, like, here or there. Mm. Oh. Yeah. I see. Or fighting for the Empire. Either way, like, these have been collected from battlefields. I see, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, did you say you closed the bottom door? Mm-hmm. Okay. Boop. All right. Opening up the top one. Pum. No. Nope. <laughs> but look at the door. There's a door up here. We can go there. We're just noping this one. We gotta go in there. I mean, we can go in there, but I am not going first. <laughs> All right, team, time to lead the charge. That's where we gotta go. No. Oh God. I'll wait for. Ah. <laughs> what did you want to do? On the other side of the room, we gotta go over there. Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> 
了。嗯，啊，我觉得。Which door, right or top? <laughs> North. North. All right. North door it is. All right. Yeah. We've been doing an awful lot of no. <laughs> an awful lot of what? Of north. North is a little sprinkle of west. <laughs> Just I'm going to sit by my favorite, my favorite rap. Okay, open that up. Boom! Wow, mm. tons of bodies. More, <coughs> oh. more bodies. All right, now which way? West. Well, there's a. Oh, there is a west door. Oh. There's also a north I door. I closed the door. <laughs> Smart. Alrighty. I hope I'm doing a good job leading everyone. I don't know how it all fell on my right, like any. Any kind of markings on the wall? No. And the walls are pretty sterile. <coughs> oh, this is a hallway. This might be something. Hallways are good. Just check, maybe you should then. check for traps. They haven't seen like a single trap. Too late. Whole... Oh, okay. <laughs> well, they probably don't expect anybody to get past their undead guards. What is this? Uh, it's going back south, it looks like. Hmm. All right, we can go a little bit Do we south. want to bank on south? Yeah, we'll bank on, we'll go a it looks bit. like it's just, it looks like it's gonna go back around the way that we came. It's different. I don't remember if anything was over from like these rooms. Is this a double door, Sam? Uh, no. That's uh, literally just roll twenties light mapping being retarded. Oh, okay. I just didn't. I just didn't know. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. It's okay. It's not your fault. It's roll twenty. Fault. I didn't want to be like, man, I can't believe they walked past the obvious double. And I was like, well, no, nah. no, 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 no. That's just dumb fucking roll twenty shit. Okay. Yeah, no, <laughs> we'll, we'll see what's in this room. I don't. I'm not really. I don't have a good feeling any of these two. Wait, where are we going? Okay, up here. Boop. Oh, it's just a closet. It's another door. Boop. Okay. Looks like uh... some kind of a uh, operating room once again. Is there anything in here? There's like a body, there's some tables, there's some knives. There's a little bucket that's filled with uh like entrails and bones, yeah, and entrails. How <coughs> old do these bodies look? Like when's the last time someone like worked with these? All the bodies are showing up under tech magic as necromancy, which implies they've been preserved. Mm -hmm. Magically. Okay, I'm gonna like, open this door. Uh, oh, you like get Everybody is showing up for detect magic, which is probably like a, like just them being preserved again. Oh, there are no torches in this room. No torches? That's kind no of torches in this room down here. Yeah. yeah, there are no torches in one of the rooms back there too. Okay, Maybe how far the people south that came before us stole them? I don't know if we should be going south. Oh, like oh wait, we've we've been in this room. We've been in this room. Looks like the door up here wasn't totally closed. Oh, you're right. Okay, back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Why are we backing up? Back so go up. back to the north. Back okay. Up. I'm going to wait for the party before opening the door. You just gather your party before venturing. Oh, God. <laughs> I've already heard that too many times, man. <laughs> All right, then I'll bail and open the north door. <laughs> You're going to wait for the party and then... Or Valen to open. Or, yeah, and then you grab the thief and have him open the door. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't realize that's how you're supposed to play this game. Hmm? Uh, which one are we opening? North or east? We're either going north or west. If we're going south or east, we're doing it right. Well, we went south <laughs> earlier. I know. Look at where we ended up. Wasting time. <laughs> <laughs> what about east? We haven't gone east yet. Uh, this is not allowed. Either. The mortal enemy to northwest is southeast. It's like taking a right turn in NASCAR. Yeah, yeah, don't do it. Do that. <laughs> All right, I guess we're going north now, Sam. All righty. First, there's been like not a lot of traps. Do you have any of these thieves, thieves tools? There's been a lot of like I'm liking it. So yeah, I could, I could have just left them home. I broke my crowbar. We did break. All that right. was a sacrifice. <laughs> so it was a crowbar. All right, we'll get another crowbar. 
Is there a silver a dozen? All right, there you go. So, by the way, whenever you find a room that doesn't have torches, there are slots for them. Mm. Okay. So every room has, like, slots. It's just not all of them had one left there. Mm. Pre presumably they might not have enough of these fucking things for everywhere. Maybe sometimes someone takes one and goes somewhere with it. Doesn't bring it back. Can you believe those kind of people? Rude. Alright, all right, we're going only east or south here, Matt. Uh-oh. Uh... I guess let's go east. I mean, east is bad, but not as bad as south. Oh. <laughs> Alright, going east, Sam. Okay, found a hallway type area. There's a north door. And there's a west door. North door, best door. So north is the best. Then west, west is second best. Third is east. Fourth is south. Alrighty. I think we're opening this one up. Alrighty. Might not the optimal route that we're taking, but we're good. We're doing a lot of meandering. Oh. Okay. We have two north doors here. I Ooh. say we open both which, at the same time. Which one's farther west? <laughs> the one that Valen's on. Oh. <laughs> this is uh, a... empty. Dead end. Is there, anything, empty. is there anything in this room? Mm, like a table. Uh. Some kind of an operating room. Well. Okay, what's this? There's a west, there's an east, there's a south. And they designed their, like, evil underground laboratory as quite a... Quite a <coughs> Yeah, I wonder how they get around down here. Well, I probably know the way a lot better. They don't have fog of war. Oh, you're going that way. Right, got it. Uh, and there you go. Alright. Oh, okay. Got some south oh. bars here. That again. Southwest. Oh, okay. Oh, hi. Hey. hey. Is this a dead end? Oh, weird, what? Mm, it oh. opens up. Uh, Boop. Uh, we've been there before, haven't we? Maybe. I don't, no, think, so. I don't think so. Is it no what? No. Uh, however, if we go north, that that will be a place we've gone. Have we gone before, north? I think. Are you sure? I think. Yeah. Alright, yeah. trust This is a place that has right, that north door yeah. God damn. Uh. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. Wait, Wes, do we go in north? Yeah. Do we want to start following a left wall? That's going to lead us in circles, I think. We've there's been going in circles. There's definitely an island in here. Yeah, I don't think the left wall thing really applies to this kind of maze. <laughs> I get a light source just to make sure there's nothing up here. We've already been up here, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Alright, fuck, let's do the left wall thing. So from here, left just or right like. Wall? Let's do left wall, like going north here. Like so. I think we've already. I think we know. Yeah, we've already been right here, but, you know, just follow me. Just follow no, me. that's not gonna bring us anywhere other than this super east door. Well, yeah, but then the that will east. that'll take us somewhere else. It's not gonna island us. All right. We need lights in here, please. All right. So this way. Yeah, we'll go way over here. Let me go down. All right. Here. So while you're in that room, I know you guys are all in the fucking hizzy, but some of your characters are intelligent enough to notice when things change. Did one of the skeletons? Oh God! It's gone. There was oh, definitely God. a guy in here. Okay. So. Mm -hmm. This way. Did and we not open the south door? Did he go down the south? The left wall would take us this way. We went west last time, which took us in the circle. We never did open that south door. Like these two doors over here, though. We've not gone through these. So the left door, left wall would take us through this east door. I mean, this is still going roughly the way I would take us. Okay. 
You hear metal scraping against the floor. <laughs> like over we, here. Okay, let's close this door behind us. After we go through it. Which, okay. Yeah, all right. door. You try to open it, but it's locked. Oh, Valen, you're up. Oh, is there a keel? It looks like there is. However, you're going to need to roll initiative and attempt to pick it on your turn. Oh, God. We'll cover you. Good thing my turn's coming up real quick. <laughs> All right, you hear the scraping. All right, Argos. All right, I'll ready a firebolt for any undead that comes out of, I guess, this. All right. <coughs> Zeta. Uh, I'm just going to ready a... the sacred flame word. Um, I'm gonna move to up here and uh, dodge. Okay. Good old dodge move. All right, something hulking Ooh. pulls itself through the door. Whoa! Ah! Ah! It, it looks like this. Imperial creation. Wow. Oh boy. Wonder who created it. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I like the very uh, bloody spooky blood. Yeah. Yeah, yikes. <laughs> I'm and, using uh, your ready to tax go off. Yeah, you're ready to tax go off, for sure. <laughs> well, the sacred flame hits it. But the firebolt does not. Um, so once there, it attempts to attack theme. Miss, miss. Yeah, it slams its cleaver down twice. Pick the lock, man. Valen. I don't think picking the lock's gonna make this thing stop. Get working on it. No, I'm just gonna try to fight this thing with you guys. Okay. <laughs> so, I'm gonna move up to there. I'm gonna attack with my copus. Yeah. Oh, I'm too scared. I'm like, I'm gonna help you guys fight this thing. There it goes. This fireball is <laughs> bad, meanie. Actually, you know, I just wanna cantrip it or actually use the spell slot. I'll use one first level spell slot and hit it with a magic missile. Oh. For a whopping seven damage. Oof. Ow. Mm. Oof. Painful. <laughs> the... For one of us. Less. Okay. Yes. Oh, we're doing it. Boom. On me or yourself? Um, myself. Sorry. Okay, no problem. <laughs> okay. And theme? Um, I'll lady is it. Yeah, no. Okay. Blast. Well, the blast made it uh, Well, I feel like this guy's going to have a higher AC. I don't know. He's pretty big and slow, it seems. All right, so you do hit him. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, And I'll go to strike him. <laughs> yeah, see? Hit me. Yeah, yeah see? Yeah. Oh. Hit me, you demo. Failed it. Hey, it worked. I think. Wait. Uh, I need to. Um, my save DC is 12. Mm. Nope. Because my strength or my dexterity, it's not my constitution. So, yeah. 12. Okay, well, it's going to attack Valen for 15. Okay. Then it's going to attack Theme. Ooh! 
Oh! Ah, shit! For 26. I'm okay. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. I use, the, I use okay roughly. Like, loosely. Yeah, <laughs> Alright, Valen. Alrighty. <clears throat> uh, Valen's gonna try and pay this thing back. So he, he gets hit by this thing, he just reels. You motherfucker! <laughs> Tries to find a weak spot. Get him, Valen. Oh! Yeah! yeah! That's just all wizard inspiration right there. I'm back in pit lane. <laughs> the whisperation. <laughs> Alrighty, so. Here goes. There's 18. Plus. Another 10, so that's 28. Plus. Another 10. So that's 38 damage. <laughs> where'd, the, where'd the other. D6 it's come from, from my uh, my bardic um, oh, blade yeah, flourishes. Little... Oh yeah! Nice. So that's a defensive flourish. So I have ten more AC now. Wow! Oh wow! Okay, cool. So yeah, I reel from this thing's attack, and I get right up into it, and I. Uppercut like right up into the bottom of his skull. So your AC is only increased by five because it's increased by the number rolled on the die. So even though you got to roll two die, I might let you pick which one, but it says the number, not the numbers. Mm -hmm. So it's yeah, not mul that. yeah, it's a singular number. So I might I so. might let you pick the better of the two on a crit, but it's not you don't get ten AC. <laughs> <from that. laughs> you get like five. It. That's fine. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Argos. That's just how I'm gonna rule it, man. Uh, uh, well, I... nothing that I do is kind of <laughs> as amazing as that, so I'm just gonna fire bolt. Because <laughs> nothing I do will compare to that. Even though like oh, what? what the <laughs> fuck is happening? Uh, nine damage. It's not a great crit, but it's decent. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It uh. It it crumples. Oh, it goes down. Nice. Wow. It, it collapses to the floor. So I do an undercut to its like neck, and it like loosens it, and you just blast his head off. Yeah. So I'm huh. gonna I'm gonna use my second wind. Apparently, like... I did not need that bless, but okay. <laughs> uh, I was God. like, sorry, we still <laughs> got a minute on it. Maybe it'll no, no one will speed yeah. that up. On your turn, Zeta, you notice that although it has fallen apart, it looks like it's. Starting to try to pull itself back together. Uh -oh. oh god, get the door open, Valen. Uh, uh, I mean, so it, well, it's Zeta's like turn. Radiant damage or oh, sorry. <laughs> radiant. Oh yeah, I hit it with radiant. Burn it with the holy fire. Uh... <laughs> All right. Well, it can't it take a deck up. save while it's on the floor, so hit it, hit it, hit it. Okay, I mean, you you hit the the radiant damage does seem to put an end to its regeneration. So, oh. Uh, it it puts it out. It actually properly kills it. Nice. Yeah. It's very deadly though. Yeah. Dang. That thing was nasty. That hurt. There's a ton of these things. Get the thing open, please, Valen. <laughs> Alrighty. Back to picking. <laughs> Back to picking. Oh, oh I forgot you have to do your. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you're probably gonna, you got it. You're gonna get a slap and all kinds of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're good. You got it. Okay. Alrighty. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's a pipe. Uh, pipe. Pipes are good. Pipes, pipes are good. different. You want to do pipe or eat? I don't know. Uh, we should really take the pipe. pipe. Look how take a look at the really pipe. Nice. You slide down the pipe into what looks like some kind of a, some kind of an, an important hall. Um, no good. There's there's no objects in here. Uh, there's no furniture cluttering it up, but the room at the far end of this does have a sign that says something in Imperial. <laughs> Argos can read it, and it says... Here be the magical post. <laughs> How handy is it to have someone in the party that knows Imperial? I mean, you can copy in languages, but I mean... Just Save time. Yeah, definitely. 
Dr. Tico's operating in progress. Do not. Do you want to disturb Dr. Tico's? <laughs> Tyco, it's Tyco's. Tyco. I'm okay with disturbing Dr. Tyco's. <laughs> <laughs> you alright over there? <laughs> uh, it took a little bit of a beating. Uh, I hope I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> This is kind of where, if you guys are going to take a short or long rest prior to this, you might want to find somewhere safe to do that, if that's what you're going to do. It's up to you guys. You can make the call. There's another pipe as well. This is probably where I'd chug my healing potions if we were going to rest, because uh, I'm out of hit dice. Unless you long rest. It's a, again, you guys have choices. Yeah. I'm not going to long rest. I want to, yeah, yeah, I want to avoid a long rest. Okay. I've got healing potions. So I can I can get myself up. I haven't used a single spell, so I have a ton of healing wards. Yeah. That counts for much. I mean, I'll tank the guy if you want me to. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go and go for my healing potions. Uh, are you gonna? So, you don't want to? Are you gonna short rest just in this fucking room? Yeah, short rest, I swear. I mean, I've got every every one of my resources except second wind and one superiority die. All right. What what else are you guys like? Valen's got a lot of health. He could get back. I, I recommend that the party discusses the bit, the pros and cons of short resting. I, I recommend I can, that, that conversation. Not yeah, I don't I don't have a lot to gain from short rest, but if anybody else we, does, yeah, we've we've already established that. I'm kind of talking to yeah. everyone else now. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, I mean, I'd get my divine legacy back. <laughs> I don't get anything back. I'd get two hit die, or I'd be able to spend two hit die, and that's about it. So maybe not. I don't know. It's up to you guys. Could just take some potions if you want to do that. <coughs> Be quicker. Yeah. We don't know how long that operating is going to take. But how many potions do we have? Is that even going to get us to full out? I've got three. You got That's one. Six D four plus six. I mean, they're not cheap. Yeah. <laughs> I have two. If I use both of them, I might. I'm just saying, even if we do short rest, I'd probably use them. Yeah. Just because that's my only way of gaining health back at this point. But for me, it's hard to say. Does anybody else other than me get any? Uh, I'd get my second wind. Yeah, and I get my divine legacy. Which is... Darkness or darkness sleep. Darkness or sleep, yeah. Could be useful, could not be. It's hard to say. Yeah, you think this depends. guy's like a big deal. Should we try to engage with him, or should we? Uh... I mean, he might have the he answers might... we need. Yeah. yeah, he might be able to tell us. I say we go for it. Yeah. Let me, let me drink right. a potion and see where I'm at. Drink a potion if you need it. Maybe one of you should. Oh, pick... <laughs> uh, so we're drinking. We're doing <sighs> potions. Oh, either way. Wow, yours was a dud, veil, and they sold you a dud. Wow. All right, let's do the other one. Oh, that's a good one. All right, so I'm I'm only two health short. I'm good to go. But Ooh, I did use wow. Ooh, I found a good one. Um, and I'm gonna use my last one as well. That gets me up to 38, almost full. So yeah, I'm good. Cool. All right. All right. No more Thankfully, all my spells are geared a lot better towards humans, so let's hope this guy's not the un. All right, I'm ready to go when you guys are. Ready to go? Let's do it. Let's, right. let's uh, try to leave knock this guy unconscious. And... You really want to try and knock him unconscious? Yeah, I mean, might know where the what, what information. We... All right. Um, if possible. Yeah. Well, eh, if depends possible. on what he what he is. Yeah. He might even be like a cyclops or something. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. Before we go in, I'm gonna use magic weapon on Valen. <laughs> on me? Oh. Okay. Yeah. Your weapon's already You're... better than mine. You gonna do that before entering? Because, like, are you guys talking at all? Or are you going in guns blazing? Like, what are you doing here? Okay, well, yeah, I'll, I'll wait on it. Yeah, the I'll question is, like, are you gonna start the fight instantly? Or are you gonna have a discussion? Talk, maybe if we'll just give it... No. Give you some How long does it last? One... I think it's magic weapon's only a minute, right? Magic weapon... Magic weapon's pretty quick. It's only... It's one of those minute things. Hmm. 
magic weapon. No, it's an hour. That's an hour. Oh, it's an hour. That's an hour. Yeah, I'll give it to you, Valen. Holy Christ, you could have done that a while ago. All right. Yeah. <laughs> well, I would have taken a heavy hit. All right, let's talk but... to him, see if he'll cooperate. If he doesn't yeah. cooperate, we'll give it to Valen. So, Valen, you got a magic weapon now. Have some All rope right. ready in case you need to tie him. If he'll let us tie him. I've got rope. All right. Who wants to go in first? I guess I'll go in first. Yeah, go ahead. Do you want to be invisible? No. All right, you open the door up. There's a lot of these dudes in there. Oh, God. Does he seem to notice us? Uh, he doesn't. He's facing an operating table. He's concentrating. He's working on something. Can I see what he's working on from here? He looks like this, and he's cutting up a body. Mm. Uh, this might have been part of the research team that they tried to um, get the doctor apart. Might be. Hmm. Excuse me. He stops working, and he uh, he looks over his shoulder and says, "I wouldn't step any further than that." Are you uh someone new? And he he kind of like looks at you and. Yeah, we're uh we're lost. Uh, I'm trying to figure as out soon as he sees you, as soon as he sees that your appearance is like very foreign and you're covered in like blood and stuff, he uh he tenses up and it's like, "Who the hell are you? What are you doing in here?" Oh, well, well, I'm lost. All right, I'm just trying to kind of look. I'm supposed to be in the uh, in the, the playroom. He snaps his finger, and uh, uh oh, these guys uh, they get up. Oh boy. Yeah. They get they get up on their on their tables. Oh, uh, yeah. and pick up their cleavers. Cause he, he's very intimidated right now. He doesn't know who the fuck you are. A bunch of people in weird clothing covered in blood come into his fucking office. He's like, You're not supposed to be here. Are you assassins? <laughs> whoa, whoa, we're not here to kill anybody. We're supposed to pick up a sample and bring it somewhere. A sample of what? The plague. By what? Who are you supposed to be? Why? What? I don't have any of that. What are you talking about? Yeah, I told you we're lost. Can you point us in the right direction? For a... Plague sample? What? Yeah, we're supposed to start another outbreak. Give me, a, give me a deception check. He looks utterly just completely confused. There's no clue what you're talking about. It might be yeah. above his pay grade. But... Haven't you heard about the the queen returning in uh, that place down south? Ithera. Yeah, they're not happy about that. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That might be above his pay grade. We should just get the he, he looks upset and says, First of all, whoever you are, you don't have clearance to just come down here and interrupt my operation. Second of all, I am in charge of everything that goes through these laboratories, and they have not told me anything about starting up some kind of plague outbreak. So if this is new, then they should have informed me. I don't have any paperwork on this. You can't just burst into my office and tell me about this brand new operation. Is um, this related to this violet plague that's been giving us so much trouble on our coast? Yeah. We're making I'm a sorry. new one? What, are we making another one? Like I to... guess so. I, Why would I we make mean... a plague when we're in the midst of dealing with one? It's been a nightmare. I don't know. It's just what I was told. I thought they would have let you know. I'm sorry they didn't. You don't have anything for me? Ruben, the one plague will counter the other plague. It's far-fetched, but it's just the paperwork. Just take an order. Wait. Or any other notes you might have on getting, on curing it. Oh, I mean, can you help us or not? Hold on. 
No, 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 no. He, he, his hands start to crackle with red electricity. No, 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 no. There's no way. You're not supposed to be here. And if I'm wrong, I'll take the rap for it. Oh, whoa. Look. Come on, I mean, I'll go get, I'll go get proof. Like, we don't need to fight about it. You're why. You're why I've been losing undead. I'm sorry? I've been losing undead. All morning, they've been going missing. Uh, necromancers can only animate a certain number of hit die of undead. And when the undead are destroyed, they regain those hit die with which to animate <laughs> more undead. So uh. he's, he's like, I've been losing undead all morning. I was wondering what the fuck was going on. <laughs> yeah, we got in, lost. They're supposed got... to be in storage. <laughs> yeah, we got lost. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's, no, 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 no. He's not having any of it. Oh, boy. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I tried, guys. I'm sorry. That's all right. It was a long shot anyway, but the sound <laughs> of it. God, that, that, that will sounds awful, though, that the Empire is not behind the plague. Holy shit. Yeah. We'll interrogate him after I mean, Can this. I roll an insight to see if I believe him real quick? Um, yeah, roll an insight. Yeah. I think he was pretty fucking confused. <laughs> True, but uh, still. Yeah, I mean, it seems to you like he uh, <laughs> he really doesn't. Like, yeah, he's the head of the laboratories, and he, uh, isn't aware of anything like that, you know? We got- okay. we came here to get the cure, we're gonna get some out. Hopefully we didn't do all this for nothing. This is really bad. <laughs> that is really bad. Shit. Now we don't have any- anything to- to leverage the villagers to drop off Suzanne <laughs> with them again. <laughs> All right, here we go. I don't know if it's worth entangling the scientist, because he might not even... Maybe he doesn't give a shit. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm guessing by our inside checks that we didn't really... We kind of believe him. Yeah. Okay. Well... Oh man, none of these guys roll bad on their initiative. All right, so Zeta, you see some things lumbering into this hallway. Oh right shit! Here. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh god. Oh god. Uh, kill me <laughs> now. Yeah. Save I me mean, the torture. It is a big metal reinforced door, so you feel like you might be able to just slip in and shut them out. Oh, do it! Good God, but, do uh, it! But it definitely looks like there isn't going to be any like backpedaling out of this room. All right, this one moves up to Valen. But it doesn't get to attack because climbing off of the table is difficult terrain, so it, it takes it has to like climb down onto the floor and get oh. up and then come over. All right. Tycho splays out his fingers, and uh, red lightning arcs out, and it kind of like goes around the skeleton and hits Valen, and then goes through Valen, and it chains to Argos and Theme, and then chains from Theme to Zeta. What? Oh, God. So, uh, give me a dexterity save, everybody. Crimson lightning. Uh, would I get my shields AC to this? <laughs> yeah, I'll give it to you. Because right. it's like jumping from one person to the next. Oh, so the save, the save is for half damage. And it is lightning damage. Oh, uh, I have resistance to that. Finally yeah. came in handy. Nice. Yeah, there you go. And what's the oh, DC? 15. It's the 15. Ah, oh, dang it, none of us passed it. Oh, shit. <laughs> Man, I can't you. Doesn't theme get uh, your shield? Oh wait, yeah, I do. I do. Yes. Yeah, hey, you plus passed. three to that. Awesome. I did pass it. Cool. Yep. So I take zero damage. All right, Zeta, so here go. Well, I walk in and I shut the door. Cool. Um, that that can all just be part of your move, honestly. Part of your move. It's, it's okay. Not... Not hard to is close like a, the fucking door. Is there like door. a a bar right. to put down over to something? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Anything to barricade? It, no, it's yeah, yeah, it's fine. Okay. It's shut. Bless. Okay. 
Cool, cool. Uh, is this you or Argos this time? Uh, me. All right, cool. Man, I don't know how we're gonna get out of this. He's an Imperial Necromancer. Mm, this one we take we take him out. It stands to reason his his guys will fall <laughs> fall apart. Climbs down off of the table. All right, team. Oh boy. Um. Okay. So I'm gonna move to go there. Uh, and I will goading strike this guy if I hit him. Yeah. Bless. 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 Yep. Yep. You already we know the thirteen they're... last time. Yeah. Yeah. Hit him. You know the race is thirteen. All right. So yeah, goading striking him. Guys, I'm almost wondering if we knock out this, this dude if the fucking yeah, I think we have to. Yeah. Guys will just sit down. Hopefully. That's ten damage to him. Wisdom save. <coughs> All right. <coughs> All right. Cool. So bless has done uh, ten damage so far. <laughs> <laughs> This guy will uh, climb yeah. down and lumber on over here. Oh boy. This one's going to climb down and it's going to lumber over here. And uh, it, it standing right there, it like braces its cleaver in front of Dr. Tycho's. And yeah, it, it's seems protecting to, him. it seems to be like readying itself. Yeah. Um, all right. Yeah, I bet, if we take, I bet if we take him out. Focus the doctor or go for the end. Focus the doctor. All right, I'm gonna target him and just like the uh, corpse laying behind him in rigor mortis, his uh, muscles start to seize. Oh, old person. Okay. Oh. Wisdom save. Yep. Oh, plus five. Wow. All right, that's very wide. He's a doctor. Medicine checks and wisdom. I was hoping he was like a weezer. <laughs> Oh, man. Alright, Valen. Yeah, he is a doctor, so he's wisdom-based. Yep. Yep. <laughs> he is a medical man. Alright. Well. <clears throat> Valen, uh, runs up onto the table. And he, as he's climbing up onto the table, he takes a low stance. And he darts across to this table. And then he hops down to there, and he kind of like slashes at this dude. Uh, he sees that the the big guy is like readying an attack, and he tries to cut this corner here to stay out of his range. All right, you manage to get around behind him. You kind of step up onto the table behind him. Yeah. And um, from there, I'm gonna make an attack. Yep. So here comes the attack. That is so close to a crit, it's unbelievable. <laughs> oh, oh, man. No. Um, Nuts. So there's 12 damage, since it was at the advantage of sneak attack. With the Zephyr Strike, it's another 8. And then with my Bardic Blade Flourish. Wow, so many dice. So, All of the dice. Yeah, I'm the extra nice. weapon damage dice guy. So there's... 15, 18, 26. Now, which, which blade for, for us are you doing? The defensive one, so I get three more AC. Got it. Nice blow. Oh, boy. All right, this one lumbers up to here. Oh, boy. And then it's going to attack Valen. That will hit. Just hits my AC. God dang it. 14. And then it misses the second attack. God. We in deep shit, guys. Alright. Tycho's disengages. Uh, he goes to here. And then he, uh... Just opens that door. And he just... He has enough movement to just slip right in there. So he can... And he's still aiming out of the door with his lightning. 
And the, the, the plaque over that door is in Imperial and it says office. <laughs> so that's like his office over there. Oh boy. Alright, Zeta. <coughs> well, I'm gonna double check my range real quick. Oh, well, I lost it. There we go. Oh, yeah. Just in range. Spiritual weapon. <laughs> nice. Right on his ass. <laughs> okay, like right in his fucking door right there. Right yeah. in his face. So he, he, like, ducks into that doorway to try to get, become, be safe. <laughs> and uh, this fucking thing just appears in his face. And he's like, what the hell is that? <laughs> Oh you, hit hit him. oh, you hit him. Nice. For 11. Nice. <coughs> and then I'm going to have this one give me a deck save. Okay. Oh, I uh, make it. Alright. So Fair this enough. One will, this one over here will attack theme twice since it's been goaded. It would have definitely gone for Argos otherwise. Oh shit! Mm. Ow! Why does that keep happening to you? God oh. damn it! I don't know. You need to get some adamantite armor so you can't be. Good God! <laughs> I've been crit so many times today. Holy crap! All right, team. <laughs> oh jeez, this guy. I don't have my second wind. Um, <laughs> uh, you like the uh. Oh, never mind. Go ahead. <laughs> Ooh, okay. So, I'm going to attack with one superiority die. Ah, crap. That's not going to work then. Well, well hit, you could blast. it could still work. No, let's just try it. I don't think 12 hits. No, no they're, 10 they're, does their not AC hit. is 13. Okay, I'm action surging. Okay. There we Boom. go! Now we're talking. Uh, this is going to be a maneuvering strike. Um, Valen, would you like to move 15 feet? Is that an attack of op? It would be, but would you like to take it? No. <laughs> Argus? Don't fucking die in one hit. Uh, Argus, if you take it, you would not get attack of op because I'm attacking this guy. Ah, that's good, actually. Uh, so I could lead, I could go 15 feet away? Yeah, you could just Yeah, yep. without provoking from this guy. Uh, actually, I don't know. Another D8. There you go. Alright, 16. Nice, there you go. Alright, cool. 16 damage to him. Alright. This one's just going to attack Zeta. It's coming in. Hup. Okay, miss. Whoop. Miss. Oh, nice. oh, thanks. oh my god. god. It just slams its cleaver. Oh god. Wall around Zeta, yeah. I'm probably going to go down just keep healing <laughs> wordly. <laughs> this one's going for Valen, baby. Oh, Valen, no! Fuck. <laughs> going to be an undead Santa. Oh, oh no! For me. Boom! Alright, I'm unconscious. No! Oh, you're unconscious, huh? Okay. Oh, uh, damn. Well, if that's the case... We need to focus these guys down. It moves here, and it uh, attacks the spiritual weapon. It's knifed <laughs> right through it into the floor, and then Tycho's is like, No, you idiot! <laughs> you can't attack that! <laughs> I told you to attack... No, okay, alright. Rescind command, attack nearest enemy, attack nearest... Living enemy. And it's like, <laughs> oh, okay. Like, <laughs> fucking dumbass piece of shit. <laughs> it doesn't know. It's like, oh, yeah. I'll attack this thing. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't fucking know. <laughs> Alright, I uh, goes, grab the... corrected the issue, though, so they won't do that again. I grab a It'll be shrunken, in the patch notes. shrunken head yeah. of a doctor on my belt, hold it up, and Ooh. its blue eyes glow up, Ooh. and Valen gets sealed for. Oh, Europe, Europe, nice. Using up a thought. charge. What do you got? Nice. One left on that guy. Uh, let me update him on my sheet. Yep. One left. Yep. And then with my other hand, I uh, hold out still shrunken head in my head. I just point at this guy, and I guess I'm just going to up. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Against the doctor? Oh, you hit him. Come on, 10 fire damage. Oh my ah, god. <laughs> Not quite 10. All right, I'll move. I'll move like over here, I guess. That's my turn. Valen. 
Well, Balin's awake. <laughs> That's a thing to be. We'll see how long that lasts. <laughs> Balin, you're so fucking fucked. Oh my god. Oh, it's great. Hmm. Okay. Oh, man. So, uh, Valen throws out a shatter right here. It's Ooh. the guys. Those two guys? And this corpse, if it matters. <laughs> <laughs> what is that, Khan or Dex? Uh, I believe it's Khan. So let me see him. Okay, well... Here's Dr. Tycho's. Oh, he's feeling, uh, he's feeling he's pretty... Fine. He he's takes nine pretty damage. Good. He still takes nine though, at least. Oh, that was a dex instead of a con, but it was still a crit fail. Oh, I. Oh, it was a dex save. Yeah. No, it was, still crit fail. No, it was a con save. It was a con save. Okay. Well, I crit failed the dex on that guy. Yeah. Whoopsie. Oh. Well. So he takes uh, nineteen. And the doctor takes nine. You know. Yep. And then, actually, I'm curious about something. Can I... No, don't cast the fucking spell, you idiot. Output spell card, not attack. What? Eh. Hold on. It's being goofy. How do I do the spell, not the attack? Oh, there we go. So. Mm -hmm. Creature made of inorganic matter, so no, it doesn't count on undead. Alright. Alright, so he's gonna move to... there. Oh. Okay. Oh, you move to there? Yeah, I'm not gonna move between the two of them, that's for sure. So you're provoking? <clears throat> not. Nope. I was right here before. Mm -hmm, not provoking. Okay. So. He wasn't there, Mark. You're wrong. All right. Sorry, it, it looks like he's right here. What? It looked sorry to me. It looked like he was up here. And then moved to there. Unless me, that's where yeah, it was. He didn't, anyway. he didn't provoke. He was right here, okay. and he moved to there. Yeah. It, it was wasn't range. Yeah, roll twenty. I saw. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, is it roll twenty? Okay. Yeah, yeah. The roll twenty had him go like over here and then back. All right. Oh, well, hey, ba hey, Valen. Hey. <laughs> Hello. Uh oh. Hey. Uh oh. Uh oh! I doubt that does less than four damage. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got me up it long enough for me to shatter, Matt. Thank you. All right, Tycho's uh, actually takes his action to communicate to his undead, and and he says, "Hunt and kill those four and he indicates you guys very specifically so that there cannot be confused. No matter what, until you are destroyed, even if I fall unconscious or die. That was his turn. <laughs> there you go, Zeta. He can do that? <laughs> <laughs> they don't go away when he... Yeah, your undead Shit. don't collapse. They well, just... dang, there goes that plan. <laughs> that was his whole turn. He, he gave him new orders. <laughs> We gotta focus All one right. of these guys down or something. Yeah, anime dead is not concentration. It's just instantaneous. It just makes it undead. Uh, if you go away, then it like follows the last command you gave it. And if you didn't okay. give it any command, then it just becomes fucking mindless. But it doesn't like stop being undead. Yeah. Yeah. We, we need to focus one of these guys down. Like, which one's taking the most damage? Do we know? Uh, let me check them. Uh, it's definitely the one next to you. Oh, I forgot. Okay. We all get inspiration when Team Kurt last round. Yeah. Oh yeah, we have inspiration now. Nice. <coughs> and this one Good up call. here is the second most damage. Yeah. All right, Captain. Feel better soon. Thanks. There goes my last first level slot. Oh, that's not great. That's not good at all. No, all right, it's what, not. What do you do with your action? <sighs> I wish I could just use my action now to. Hit him with the thing, but I can't. Uh, well, because you cast a spell with your bonus, you can only use your action to cast a cantrip or to activate a class feature. Or the, um, uh, 
thing. The, the thing. The, the, the thing. You could turn him dead That's or a make bonus it. action. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. She's, yeah, she's healing her. Yeah, Never yeah. mind. So you can basically cantrip or you can turn on dead with your action. Oh, well, turn on dead would be turn clutch. Or heal divinity. Or you could heal theme like up to half. Yeah. Yeah, both channels are pretty good. How many could you hit with turn on dead anyway? Is it 30 feet? Or it's 60? 30 feet. That sucks. Uh, if you stood, like, here, you could hit them all. You'd have to provoke an attack of Bob to do that. You know, I'm at pretty good health. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. Okay. Nice. I mean, your AC is solid. Oh, oh and he wow. hits it exactly. No, it missed. Wait, no. It missed. Yeah, that's right. Get the 19. shield. Plus one shield. Nice game. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, Emerus. Is, that's the second time the the shield of Emerus has saved you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right. Yeah, he doesn't hit you at all. Alrighty. Boink. Boink. Ah! Fear me, undead. Uh, it is a wisdom save. Okay, one, two, Ooh. three, oh. okay. four. Uh. Well, which one was that? Uh, all right. Uh, eh. Eh. Those three are afraid of you. For uh, one minute, or until they take any damage. We need to focus down the other one then. All right, is that it? That is it. Alright, this one is, uh, it's scared. It's like, eh. <laughs> and, uh, Tycho's is like, What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Does ah! it until it takes damage? Yeah, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna attack it. Alright, theme. And Tycho's like, You idiot! <laughs> okay, um, so this one's the one that's not turned. We gotta focus this one down. <coughs> uh, so things gonna move over here and attack this one. Okay. Oh boy. I still want the doctor dead. God damn! All right. All right. This one uh, is gonna attack theme. Figured. Hit. Uh oh. Hit. Dang. Uh -oh. I'm down. I'm just gonna move up and try to attack Zeta. Uh -oh. Oh, try to. Oh. <laughs> Zeta has the best luck. <laughs> okay, this is okay. Yeah. I'm okay with this. She right, this, one time. this one cowers in the corner, and Tycho's is like hitting it with a roll of newspaper or something like, <laughs> dumbass, get out there. Go, come on. What are you doing? <laughs> he doesn't doing? know this magic. He doesn't know this magic. <laughs> so, yeah, he doesn't have any idea what channel divinity is. He's like, what the fuck are you doing? All right, Argos. I'd like to imagine. I wanted to wait till my turn to do this joke. I'd like to imagine this guy is Zan, and these are like things Zan yells at, like roll twenty, his pet, <laughs> his mood when he gets hungry, and I don't know the traffic in his area. Dr. Like Tychos I feel like is, is my character. Is yeah. you, and you're just saying roll twenty. What are you doing? Why don't you just win? Escape! What are you doing? Why is? It's like, yeah, no, no, no. That Damn one, it, Discord! That one's <laughs> roll 20. Yeah. Yeah, that's just the name of things you get mad and, at. And uh, this guy here is Zoom. <laughs> Zoom, yeah, it's working. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he's working pretty well. Zoom's doing great. <laughs> Zoom's doing Good job, Zoom. You're on it. Yeah. Oh, I love Zan. Alright, we're just gonna nuke the wizard for 14. Okay, he uh, spits up a bunch of blood and falls onto one knee, but he's not quite unconscious. Alright. He looks to be in bad condition. It, it's possible that one more hit might get him. I'm just gonna walk towards him. Alright, Balin. Uh, the dude next to you is spooked, so he can't attack a bop you. He's been he spooked sure by Zeta. The doctor's low, get him, Balin! <laughs> get him! So, Man. I'm gonna use my inspiration dice to give myself advantage on this yes. attack. Yes. Ah, get, get him! Get him! Get him! 23. Uh, not a so, that's 5. Plus that. Hmm. He goes down with oh. that. Oh, boy. Nice. You, you stab him. Yeah, I'm not going to kill him. I'm not yeah, going to kill no. him. 
He's unconscious. He collapses in the hallway unconscious, bleeding okay. out. He's not stable though, so he'll okay. be making death saves. Then as a bonus action, I'll healing work the aim. Thank you. Nice. So, if it even makes a goddamn difference in the world, you get six health back. Alright, I'm sure it will. <laughs> it get, yeah, it makes a difference because I'm on my feet now. Yeah, but if it makes a difference to you getting hit. <laughs> Alright, this one clambers into the corner and covers its head with its arms and is like, Eh! The cleric is scary! <laughs> that was scary. <laughs> He's unconscious. Let's see if he succeeds his death save. No! Oh, oh, no! no! Oh, man. Two Woo! failures! <laughs> Zane doesn't want to put up with his evil <laughs> existence anymore. He just wants to look that side. Alright, Zeta. So is Dr. Tycho's canonically, like, my character now, it or is, what? yeah. <laughs> yeah it's Sky I'm, I'm Dr. Tycho's. Yeah. Roll 20 and Skype for my secret weapon's gonna move on over here and. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna. It like goes by my shoulder and I like flinch. I'm like, okay. And slowly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Can I move to here? Or is he still gonna attack me? No, you're that. Okay. He only attack if you if you, like, leave his range. Okay, cool. And can I, like. Can I touch Steam from here, or do I have to move closer? You can touch her. Good, okay. Little reach around. Little reach around, give her a good tap. Good tap. That is what? the wrong one. Wait a minute, wrong, no wait, wrong it. touch, <laughs> wrong <laughs> touch, <laughs> <laughs> bad touch, bad touch. <laughs> you gently mercy lay God. your hand against Steam's face and it's like, <laughs> <laughs> My head explodes oh, on the floor. Your head button. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. I was looking for a C, it was a G, they're right next to each other. <laughs> well, hey, that's, right. that's not bad, that's a good one. Then. 13, yeah. yeah. So we kill this guy. A then... three and a two. It's below average, but it's pretty good. Um. Alrighty. That uh, guy's scared. All right. Keep track of your uh yes, your that's channel. Cool, that's important because these guys all become dangerous again after that. All right, theme. All right. Just trying to burn this guy down. Uh, yeah, we don't have a whole lot of time. To yep. Ah. <laughs> It does. Ka. Boom. Um, I've got one more superiority oh. die. Um, I'll go ahead and use it. Um, uh, maneuvering strike to allow Zeta to move away if she wants. Wait, is this guy just gonna hit me? No. Oh, okay. Cool. He, yeah, you can move 15 feet. He cannot attack you. I will. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do that. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't worry, I'm sending the spear in. Yeah, Thane's uh, going to say, oh. uh, gonna say, take this one down, then dog pile into the office. Bottleneck the door. <laughs> Alright, this one is going to attack the team. Alright, come on. Oh. Ah, it hits. There's the one Man. that would have. I'm, I'm alive, I'm alive. Yeah. That misses. <laughs> 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 Oh man, okay! Take right, him down! Alright, I kinda wanna meta stabilize the doctor, doesn't look like he's doing too well. So I'm, I'm going to uh, walk up there and try to stabilize. Give me a medicine check, I guess. Yeah, I read into a herbalism kit. They actually brought my herbalism kit with me, but it doesn't actually, like, help me with anything. You can, uh, no, you can, I'll allow you to substitute herbalism. Okay, so I'll roll my herbalism kit proficiency. Nice! Boom. 24 it didn't really matter anyway, but... Hey, stable. I'm gonna move, move a little bit away from it. Alright, go get him, Valen. <laughs> Will do. But I'm not going anywhere, I'm staying right here. <laughs> Alright, cool. <laughs> crossbow, and that's okay. Just yep. get him down, please. He's bringing out the crossbow. This shit hurts. <laughs> so, that's an 11 plus plus. So, 13. You hit him! That does it. Nine. So, 9 plus... plus. Uh, 10 piercing damage. Boom. Alright. Scared. Unconscious. Zeta. Uh, uh. 
Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, get him. Ah. I like to imagine it's like a Roomba. <laughs> <laughs> Roomba <laughs> death. <laughs> oh, you hit him. Nice. Free damage. Why not? And then? And then. <laughs> We're just forming up the squad over here. Huh? Oh, good, good roll! Good roll! Come on! Big money! Good roll, good yeah! roll! Yeah! Big damage. And it was radiant. Which doesn't matter. Alright. Uh, it, it only regeneration. matters when he goes down. It does stop the regeneration, yeah. Alright, theme. You're right. Alright, right. hoping to finish this guy. <coughs> plus bless. Plus bless. Can't miss with bless. Don't yeah. mess with bless. Don't mess with the, mess with the bliss. <laughs> Four. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> right. Hang on, I can move. I'm moving to here. Okay. Well, it's gonna attack you. Miss. Miss. Oh. oh! I heard what? It goes. Dang. I uh, <laughs> throw some Jeez. baking grease. What? Yeah, I mean, if you. If you like excitement, play a tank in one of my campaigns. Oh, great. That's, that, that's nice. an extreme sport. That's an extreme sport. I Tanking in Zan's campaign. Yeah. Like skydiving. Let's <laughs> make a deck save. Oh, this guy? Wait, are you really okay. trying to make him fall down? He's going to get back up on his turn. You realize I'm making ranged attacks, right? Oh, please, please. Oh, you pass anyway. <laughs> oh, his turn already went past, so I'll get it. I'll head it in. Um, here. That's my turn. Sorry, he's so. That's my turn. Balin. Alrighty. 21. Hit him. For 6 plus 4. 10 more damage. Alright, he so looks. So he's just low. loading in bolts and letting them fly, just sitting there. He looks pretty low health. Kill it. Come on, Kill spiritual it. weapon! Hit yeah! It. Come on! Bring it down! Bring it down! Right, so ah. He collapses, but he is now regenerate, like in the process of you regenerating. Still, you still got your cantrip? And then I'll cantrip him. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Nice. Oh, God. Boom. Into a pile right. of grease. He's done. <laughs> Alright, get and into then, the office. Yeah, that I... That I is the office even safe? Is there a big metal door on the office, too? Uh, yeah, it looks like it. Good! <laughs> oh, man, get us in there. All right, so you get the. Don't want to attack these guys. No. So you get the. You get the right there, and the door is locked. <laughs> We've got time. Fail and go. <laughs> All right. Scared. Theme. Go. Scared as well, but moving. <laughs> <laughs> Not scared of the cleric though. No. Um. There and I'll. I'll I'll keep moving. That role play is kind of lagging, but I'll pick up this guy on my shoulder. Yeah. Okay, sounds good. Wait, so um, we're not gonna fight the rest of these guys? Not yet. We want to bottleneck it. We can if we get in the office, we can lock the door. What if there's more bad guys in the office? They didn't hear the order. I guess I don't know. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna continue to draw boxes until someone tells me I can't. So uh, I'm gonna entangle. Is that really worth your spell slot at this point? Not a spell slot. It's his divine legacy. Dude, that or animal right. messenger, so. Makes you a strength. <laughs> strength right. save, Mr. Magoo. Uh, which one? Oh, him. Okay. Yeah. Alright. He's just in Binds Keeping Company. Man, that my spells aren't doing that great. Alright, I'll just get in line to move into the room. Alrighty, well, um, I can't get to the door right now, so I'll just kind of wait where right. I'm at, I guess. You can, <coughs> you can stand on the course that can. Alright, go yeah. ahead. Alright. <coughs> Alright, I'll give it a shot. Try to open it up. So, Have you used your inspiration <laughs> yet? Yeah, yeah, I already have. Oh, you, you can, can have, have mine. mine. Oh, Zadar is giving you We will all, all right. give you our inspiration. Just I get us in that damn door. Ah! Alright, well, not quite, so, uh, oh wait, oh. nope, that didn't quite happen. 
So uh, that's another round of whatever. Do you guys want to do stuff, or are you just waiting for Valen to, to do Zena, it? you should use your action to guide me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll bonus Perfect. action move my spiritual weapon up, but... Okay, sounds good. Because normally you don't want to use an action in combat to guidance, but this is actually the one situation where that's <laughs> Yeah, so I'll guidance right, him. And... Yeah! Oh, All plus right. the yeah, there right, we 25. go. 25. Nailed it. Uh, 25 was the DC. Ooh! So you wow! Open the door up. I barge in. Yeah. Like, come on, guys, come yeah, on, come on. Get in there and close the door behind you. Go, Take go, the go. Guy with you. Okay, you guys managed to get in there with the dude, and you shut the door. And, uh, the door? yeah, you can lock both it. Both doors? Like, can we do both doors? Yeah, yeah, you shut <laughs> them both and you lock them. Nice. And, uh, yeah. Oh, Boom. God. I was for sure thought we were gonna die on that. Like, how did on earth did we survive? The that's that's my campaigns, dead. man. I am good at fucking difficulty yeah. balancing. Oh, God. <laughs> Couldn't have done it without, uh, Zeta as always. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, so this room is an office. There's a desk with lots of paperwork, and uh, there is a disposal chute that goes like pract. It goes at like a downward angle, and it seems to curve and go practically straight down, like out of the fort into the ocean. Yeah. Oh, All right, I want to cast detect magic again and search the body, the desk, read the papers. We are going to loot the ever-loving time out of this office. All right, so detect magic. Uh, doesn't turn up any magic except for like him because he's a necromancer. Um, obviously. Can I tell if he's got the flame in the middle? Uh, you can't tell immediately. I mean, just he's a spellcaster. He turns up as a spellcaster. I guess he's unconscious. Maybe we have to kill him to communicate his. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm gonna rifle through, oh. through the desk see if I can. And through through oh. She, like, takes off her helmet and is kind of, kind of clutching her hair. It's like, oh, gosh. All right, I want to rummage the guy's pocket. He does All right, it. both of you give me investigates, then. Valen for the desk, and Argos okay. for the guy's pocket. Can, can we get a hallelujah? Uh, All right, this is going to be us, too. Oh, 24. All right, Argos, that's for the desk, I guess. So you find a shit ton of papers, and uh, one thing papers. is... One thing Argos finds in particular is, is the last of what he needs to... Figure out how to animate dead. Ooh. Go ahead and add animate dead to your spells known. Awesome. Obviously, you can't cast it till level five, but you've you've learned animate dead from this. That's laboratory. so exciting! I'm so happy. Yeah. Um. Yeah, theme's just like he doesn't know about the plague. Uh, throughout the papers, you find almost nothing about the plague. Uh -huh. The only mention of it are like how uh, frustrating it is and how it's making its work harder because it renders bodies uh, almost unusable for his work and how it's just like a total fucking waste and he hates it. Wow. So we're going to have to rethink who made the play. So it wasn't the Empire. So all of this. Oh. It was the girl. It was Susan. We should have let him kill Susan. What now? That like okay, um, we're pinning all of our all of our hopes on this being it. All right, let's. Uh, can we search his body and see if he's got anything on on his body? Mm -hmm. Well, you find a few items. Take any focus he might have, or tie his hands so he can't cast yeah, spells on when he wakes up. Yeah, he'll be unconscious for at least an hour, but it's definitely good to do that before it picks up. I'll probably even like tie him to the desk or something. <laughs> oh, we can't. We're not going to leave him alive, are we? No, we're definitely going to kill him, but we're going to torture him. But he doesn't need to know that. Right. <laughs> we're going to do good cop, bad cop. If he will be the good cop, I'll be the bad cop. Sorry, my emotional state is not on, on tip-top condition right now. You've had a rough day. You take it easy. We're, we'll handle it from here. <sighs>
Let's see if it sort of sits I wish I had like... my whip. It's this exact same situation where I bring my whip. Yeah, I think he's just kind of clutching her hair right now because, yeah, she's just kind of distressed that this was not the answer. <coughs> Look, they've been doing research here. Who's to say that we won't find anything? We already checked the desk. I'm kind of suspicious of that other doctor now, because maybe this guy was, like, uh, not a bad guy. I don't know. I mean, like, we... who else could have done the plague? We don't have any other leads. I mean, I don't think it was that other doctor's fault, because I, I was running under the same assumptions before we even talked to him. This works to further the Empire's interests. But we were all wrong about it. Yeah, so the island's not their purpose, it's a casualty. So if anything, this is supposed to hurt the Empire, because anything, it's all the people, all the Empire's colonies. We thought they engineered it so they could get into the Vault of the Gods. Yeah. But apparently that's just a bonus, apparently. So here's a couple of <laughs> cool little items he has. Wow. Pretty cool. Um, he also has uh, his personal notebook. Um, and his notebook goes into a little bit of detail about what he's been up to. <coughs> so it goes briefly into some of his latest uh, projects, focusing mainly on that uh, Imperial HQ basically gave him this laboratory and all this space and resources to work with because of his talent with creating new types of undead. And his job was basically to create, like, new, stronger undead to add to the Imperial Army. Um, and it seems like he's been in constant communication with them and that they already have the blueprints for these things you've been fighting. Ah, and, crap. And, and, are, and are fully prepared to put them into mass production, so Damn. to speak. Um, it also mentions a couple of uh, potential assistants that he sought out for this work in the area. Um, one of which is Dr. Arias that he mentions he uh, he actually says that he thinks Arias might even be a more talented physician than him, but he was a little bit concerned that he might not accept the job because Arias' parents were killed by the Empire when the Empire took over Ejidon. And then later he confirms that after confronting Arias that there was definitely no way that he was going to join his team and help him work on these undead. Was Arias the guy we talked to at the clinic? That yeah, was, was the doctor at the clinic, yeah. Who uh, gave you the plan to sneak in here and do all this. I told you about the snorkels and about the pass and how to get into the fort and all that. And, yeah. Yeah. Apparently this guy didn't tell Arias anything about the plague, so Arias had, couldn't have had any way of knowing that the Empire wasn't involved. Okay, what are some of the other uh, princesses? Was there any uh, <laughs> perspective. There's one that he did bring on to the team who got killed by one of the undead going crazy. And then it's like, oh, well, he did it great. And there's another one who turned him down. Nothing really relevant. Nothing super important. Um, like apprentice revenge stories. <laughs> no, nothing <laughs> like that. Yeah. Either died or said no. There wasn't any like left in uh hated him or anything. Like that. No. Okay. Um. Do you want the doctor's tools? To say yes, I would love. I would love the doctor's tools. All right. Go ahead and take those. What about protective goggles? Can I get some really cool spectacles? Does anyone else want those? Do any of you other people want to put your bed in for it? I mean, I wouldn't mind having them, but if you really think you can have them. Who would be blinded the most? I mean, I feel like Theme, if she was blinded, it would, like, make her... <laughs> Did you wear protective goggles? They, it's good. It, they look just like the goggles in the picture. So they, they're like those goggles. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if that's exactly my style. Okay. If you want them, uh, Balin, you could. 
At least Tavares sure? I mean, blind. You're the one that you're the one that called dibs. I think they just I just wanted for the cool look. I mean, don't you need to like see your targets of all your spells to be able to do anything with them? I mean, true. But I do have a couple different AOE. If I get blinded, I can still sort of function. I mean, true. Say is pretty important. They are pretty snazzy looking. They're pretty snazzy looking. All right, I'll hold on to them for now. I'll plop them on my head, and then maybe we'll, we'll see if you get targeted by a lot of stuff, and you can have. Them. Okay. I'll, I'll leave just the machine. Cool. Alright, you add him to your sheet. Alright, should we short rest while we wait for this guy to wake up? <coughs> we'll help us figure short out or him. long rest, even. No, I mean, you could also just... We still have okay. Suzanne to think about. <coughs> I'm not even Kish. convinced. Yeah. I am good with short rest. I'm not even convinced that we should leave yet. We could still look around. Mm. Uh, so after the, the fear thing runs out... You hear lumbering around in that room, um, and you also hear like the the other door bust down, leading into it. So like all those other guys who are in the hallway have have flooded in there now too. Yeah, we're not looking around anymore. So you're pretty <laughs> sure there might be like six plus of those things in there now. <laughs> mm, probably not a great idea. <laughs> Just glad this waste shoot is here. Are we able to? Rest, or did they break down the doors before we? No, it seems like they can't get into the office because it's such a narrow hallway. It's two reinforced doors in like a narrow space, so they can't they can't really squeeze and. They could break down the do one, much. but once they're squeezed yeah. in the hallway, they can't real like they can't wind. They up don't have room. Have yeah, yeah, they don't. It's too tight. They're squeezing. They don't have room. They can't really like do what they need to do to break it yeah. down. Yeah. All right, I'll short rest. I'll play us a little ditty. We'll bound this guy's hand. Did this guy have a holy symbol or anything? Didn't look like it. All right, you guys Wonder all get powered by the flame. Back. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and use my second wind as well. Once as like as soon as I get it back. Okay. All right. Cool. All right, so I'm almost half health. All right, I'm full health. Don't know much in the tank. Oh, nice work. Woo! Nice. All right, let's interrogate this guy. See what he knows. <laughs> oh wow. damn! Wow, big money. Oh, God. All right, full health. Crit hit dice for days. Wow. All right, let's interrogate this guy. See what he knows, and then kill him. And then we'll... So you're not gonna do any hit dice? <coughs> sure. You get two free hit points or four free hit points from him saying a little. Yep. You get four from Valen. Sure do. If you didn't already notice. All right, you guys wake this guy up. Uh, yeah. We'll, just, yeah, we'll slap him white. All right. <coughs> He's like... Ah. <coughs> <coughs> hey, Doc, how'd you sleep? It really Please. didn't have to go down like that, you know. I knew that you were intruders. What gave it away? So what are you going to kill me? How did you give us what we're looking for? We just want information. We want to know about the plague. Tell us about the plague. The... God, you mentioned that before. What, did you start it? You're no, we want to know how to end it. We were led to believe you did, so apologies for the misunderstanding. We want to help end it. Well, then, that would be in my best interest as well. Yeah. All right. I'll tell you everything I know. The, the plague is was definitely created. Um, whoever was behind it knew what they were doing. It seems to affect both plants and animals. And... Its effects are difficult to halt entirely. That is to say, it's airborne, it spreads quickly, so while the symptoms can be treated, uh, it was clearly designed with the intent of spreading. Um, I don't see this as targeted. It's a very... 
That is to say, if, if whoever worked on this wanted to infect only one place, they could have easily designed it differently. The way that it works implies to me that their goal was not to infect a single place or target, but <clears throat> that they just want it to spread and spread. Why would anyone so, want that? Who with the skills to do that would even want that to happen? I don't know. But... I know that it certainly hurt the hurt the Empire's power in this region. My work has been severely hurt by this because the plague also decomposes bodies quickly and makes renders the bones weak and brittle. And I, I've been <clears throat> I've had a lot less good samples. That's why I've had uh, I've had to have them shipped in from distant battlefields to compensate. Do you think Dr. Arias could have done this? Do you think he hated the Empire that much? I know, he hate, I know he hates the Empire a lot, but I, I can't speak to his character. I have no idea what kind of person he is. I'll say this. Um, we did uh, send some agents out to investigate Indiosis when this all started up. And in speaking with the people there, they did get a lot of reports of witnesses seeing uh, someone traveling through Diosis wearing a bird-shaped mask about Ooh. a day or two before the plague started. And the plague seemed to start everywhere that this person visited. What places did this guy go? He seemed... He or she seemed to uh, just travel through Diosis in a line, uh, like from north to south, through what is now the Plaguelands, <coughs> and then back again. North to south, so... Well, no, no we got the, the earliest reports we received of witnesses seeing him are in the northern area where the... Uh, the sunken city is. Uh, I think it's called Old Shore. Right. That sunken city all the way in the north tip. The very first witnesses of this figure were there. And that was also the very first place that the plague started to take hold. Why can't I find this guy? Who? He didn't. He definitely didn't have a... a no, I don't mask. care about the doctor. I care about the politician. What's his name again? He's in miscellaneous. Senator. The senator. I'm Elios. He's in, he's in miscellaneous because he's not like. I guess he could be in allies. <laughs> I'll put him in allies. Okay, isn't this guy a. Okay, so it doesn't. Because he's the only one of the bird that rings any kind of bell. With a mechanical bird on his shoulder. Could that be no. a mask? <clears throat> no, I mean. it. No, I mean the mask is shaped like a bird's beak. It, a plague Doctor mask. Yeah, yeah. It's a plague with a plague doctor mask. Yeah, I'm not really. Suspicious. Of anyone on that island. It's possible someone we haven't even met. Yeah. But in any case, I know that I know for a fact that the plague started in the city the, the flooded city of Old Shore. That was the very first place. And it started like a day after a bunch of people reported seeing this stranger in the bird beak mask walking through. And from there he went to the south. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then they came back to the north? Yes, apparently he passed back through Old Shore. Again. Did they know where he went after he went north? No. We, we didn't... Uh, the trail went cold there. It's a hard wonder, lead to follow. Well, it sounds like it's coming from Hegio, so... Where about places It called? didn't develop there until much later, though. Yeah, but... It sounds like that person came from that direction and then went back there. Wasn't... Hang on. If you wanted to investigate further, you could go to Old Shore yourselves and ask around. Was Diosis in a war with anybody at the time? No, Diosis is just farmland. They're peaceful. They've always been cooperative with all of their neighbors. 
<coughs> Just trying to think who would benefit from infecting uh, th that country, that island. Well, I don't think they were necessarily looking to just infect that place. The plague uh, seemed right, to be right. designed to spread. Right, right. I remember that now. Okay. Sorry. I was going with that. <sighs> could go to the sunken town, whatever it's called again. Yeah. I'll, say, I'll say this, says Dr. Tychos. If my goal was to frame the Empire, then what has become the Plague Land seems like a good place to start the plague. It's out of our territory, so we couldn't stop them. But it's right next to us, so it looks incriminating. Yeah, that's why that we're here. That does make sense. That is, yeah, that is what led us here. We've made all the wrong conclusions, so sorry about that. How did you get in, anyway? Very carefully. I mean, did you sneak through Solurion? I'm having trouble believing you could have made it through that whole fortress. We have our ways. Alright, well, I told you everything I know, so you're going to spare me, right? You sure that's everything? Nothing else you can think of? Can you roll an inside check? Yeah. I'm gonna, use my, as well. I'm, gonna use, I'm gonna use my inspiration. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm really good at reading people. Killing it. Alright, I'll give it a shot. Six. Oh my god, there's the insight. Yeah, there you are. Ah, there we go. Um, <clears throat> Zeta does believe that Dr. Tycho's has divulged everything he knows about the plague. That he's telling the truth. All right. Can you tell us anything about the uh, Empire's plans for the re- <sighs> you, know if they f you know if they find out that I've divulged that, that I'll be killed by the Empire. Well, we know the okay. Empire's been trying to, trying to attack Asperities. Do you know anything about that? Well, yeah, what is there? Asperities? I don't know. I was stationed here to run this lab. I'm aware this base was originally built as a forward base from which to attack some island. I, we haven't I tried in a while. That's not really why I'm here. Alright. I admire your work. You've done, you've done some great things. I was able to learn a lot. It seems frowns like Argos. Well, I, I <laughs> appreciate great notes. that. <laughs> and I'm going to try them on my own time. But it'll be it's quite a learning experience. Balin kind of like looks at Argos like... It's too bad that you're criminals. Uh, you might have made a good assistant. So what are your plans for us, then? <clears throat> well, I certainly can't stop you from leaving. And I suppose that eventually I'll be found here. And when they question me, I'm not going to lie. Because I would be killed. So you can murder me. Or you can leave me here to continue my work. You're not going to stop uh, work? Of course not. My work is what I live for. This is my purpose. Don't you think you could do something better than this? Better than creating life with my own hands? I mean, is it really creating life? Helping, me, it, helping to preserve life by finding a way to cure this plague. It is to me. I'm curious to see your viewpoint on that. Why do you think that way? <laughs> he just looks. He looks tired. Like he's a. Are you? He's like. Are you serious? You're gonna. We're gonna do this now. All right. <laughs> he has a philosophical discussion with you for ten minutes. So <laughs> he's out his perspective and viewpoint to you very eloquently in a well thought out way. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, is it about necromancy? Like it seems to all make sense right now. <laughs> We've been on the wrong you. side this whole time. I, I disagree with you, but I understand your. I, I copy the the main points down on the same <laughs> paper. He just he wants to play God. That's what he's about. He's wanted to ever since he was a kid. It's simple. Like this is what it. 
This is the, to him what dog grooming is to Gwen. It's just it's what he wants to do. <laughs> <laughs> it's what he wants to do. He's happy. This yeah. is his work. He loves it. He loves make it undead. <laughs> That's what all there is to it. You gotta do what you're born to do. Yeah. It's what he likes. You did this all without the help of that pesky uh, flame that they keep talking about with the Emperor. Uh, the flame of the Emperor? Mm hmm. What about it? You don't have that, right? You did it on your own, uh, with your own uh, work, work ethic and knowledge. They didn't give you any of that? No, I do. Oh, uh, yeah. Do you know anything about how that worked? I do not. And has it helped you with your work, though? Tremendously. Before I was given the flame, the number of undead that I could animate was extremely limited. As you can see, it is now a lot less limited. And thanks, who... by the, thanks, by the way, for killing about 10% <laughs> of my undead. <laughs> wow. You're welcome. No problem. Anytime. So, how did they give you the flame? What kind of ritual... <clears throat> I was given the flame by a, an imperial arch wizard or archmage uh, hailing from Sanguis who himself was given the flame to give to me along with several others to distribute drawn from the flame held by the vicar of Deus who's the vicar one of the three closest to the Emperor, the Vicar of Deus, is essentially the head of the Deus religion. She, um, she was given the original flame by the Emperor, and from it, she created the first flames to distribute to her archmages. Those archmages give us, Wizards of the Empire, embers from those first flames. What, what do you imagine if someone... Oh, uh, who are the other two closest to the Emperor? Uh, the Imperial Regent and the Fleet Admiral. So, you were able to do all this with just an ember. What if someone actually <laughs> had one of the first flames? What do, you think, what do you think they could... I don't know exactly what the first flames are capable of. I don't know how many there were, and I don't know exactly what they do. I just all I know is the hierarchy. Uh, the original flame of the emperor was given to the vicar of Deus, and then that from that she created the first flames to distribute to her archmages, and that all embers dwelling within imperial wizards are derived from one of those first flames. Well, you get the pleasure of looking at someone that has a first flame. Interesting. I still don't know how it works, but I'm pretty looking to get First flame given to a person that's going to bring down the Emperor. Kind of ironic. Is... Okay, I don't know why you would tell me that. Well, but... it's obviously not leaving here alive. Okay. Just yeah. you should... Sorry about that, but... With all you do, we can't <laughs> let you continue your work. It's too bad you destroyed the URS with those blueprints out already. Fine, then do it. Alright, I, I just I stab him right in the, right in the back of the... the... Alright. Uh, cool. So you get in, you get in there and stab him. Um, I'm trying to like suck the soul out. That the soul is like well, as as you stab him, he kind of slumps into you, and he puts a hand on your leg, <laughs> oh, and man. uh, you take six lightning damage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cute. <laughs> <laughs> as he <clears throat> dies um and it, it with his dying breath 
a small red ember leaves his body and is absorbed into Argos. Oh. Uh, fueling the first flame inside you. Basically returning to its source. Nice. Because all the embers came from the first flames, so... <gasps> so refreshing. Argos. Yes? What are you going to do with that? I, I don't even know what it does. I'm collecting them all like uh, I'm supposed to. I'm going to return it are all until... Are you supposed until... to? It seems to do it on its own. I don't. I still don't know how I get it. I don't know if death's the only way. But then again, the Archmage didn't. Or the Avak Polos didn't die, but he spent mm. it. So I, I'm still trying to figure out how it works. Yeah, he he basically let it out. He put all of it into the Colossus. Right. And then the Colossus died. Oh, and then I got it. So they probably do have to die. So in both cases, something died that had it. Yeah. Okay, but when he got it originally, I bet no one died. Well, Maximus was the fleet admiral. Oh yeah, and he gave me his. He didn't. So, so he to transfer. So he literally got it because he was the fucking fleet admiral originally. But yeah, you now, uh, our Valen asked a really good question, so uh, you now know for sure that these are the three people who are basically the Emperor's inner circle. Yeah, that's good info. I wonder if the vicar was the lady in your vision. You told us about that vision, right? That's how I knew that we were mm -hmm. being hunted. Yeah, I, I, I told okay. <laughs> <laughs> you. Yeah. You're pretty sure she is. Oh, uh -huh. we got the handout. Uh -huh. we got it's the handout. official. It's confirmed. It's canon. It's confirmed. It's a man. I have spoken. <laughs> Well, she was speaking to the fleet admiral as an equal, maybe even being kind of a sassy bitch to him. Uh -huh. And he was and he was taking it, which implies that she's like at his level. He also referred to her as your holiness. Mm. You know, and she's yeah. the vicar of Deus. She's basically the pope. Stands to reason. Yeah. So the only one we don't know is the Imperial Region. Yeah. Mm hmm Well, from the name, you can get an implication of what that means, or at least Argus probably does, because, you know, history. I don't know, you may make a history check? Know what a regent is? I yeah, know, it's like a lord, like a steward or something, but I'll give a history check. 24. Okay, so the word regent's actually really specific in this case, and in, in all cases. Like, a regent is a really particular thing. A regent is someone who runs a kingdom for the king, like in the oh. king's place. So the Imperial Regent implies that the Empire's, the minutia of, like, the the day-to-day the -day rigmarole of running the Empire is not done by the Emperor. The Imperial Regent takes care of that. So he's the one actually running the Empire. So you don't know how much decision-making the Emperor actually does. It could be a lot, it could be a little, but the, the existence of an Imperial Regent means that there's a huge amount of decision-making power not in the emperor's hands could I be mean, more like a ceremonial position at this point though. no it well it depends it's it doesn't the existence of a regent doesn't necessarily mean that the actual ruler is a figurehead like it could still be easily be a case where the emperor can come in at any time and overrule the imperial regent on anything you know what i mean but he would just leave it to him when he doesn't care So, you you don't know exactly how much power the Imperial Regent has. That would depend on how hands-on the Emperor is and how much the Emperor leaves to him. He's basically delegating the Empire to this guy, whoever this is. Okay. The Emperor is almost like a godlike figure, though, right? He's like supposedly the son of Deus, who's immortal and never ages and can't be killed and does all these miracles. So, it kind of makes sense that there's someone else doing all the paperwork. <laughs> like, it, it would be weird for, like, fantasy Jesus to walk into an office and be like, okay, get, bring me the regional, <laughs> like, <laughs> dialectics on, like, our last month of whatever. Like, bring fucking... me the sentence of last year. Right, exactly. No, he's got, like, a guy who does all that, does, does all that shit for him so he can go and be Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Give fish to people and convert yeah. water. Yeah. Well, so, I think we should, uh, should get out. Well, yep. I think we have two pretty good options. I think... 
I think we have one actually really strong lead in that the doctor back at uh beach of, which I mean I it? I can't think of any better place to actually resume So it's Jeremy it's each done. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm with you not being able to pronounce any because I don't I, I'm, I'm sure that this was his best idea But I mean we're gonna have to say that that was a dead end. We need another direction Yeah, since we have to go back to our ship anyway, might as well oh. investigate the people of the floating town and see what they know about Yeah, I'm almost curious if If we go back to that clinic and look around to find maybe like a, a doctor's mask mm. Maybe Look around and or the politician's a place or something like that or something. Okay. It's just the path he took makes it seem like he came from that direction, and I don't know. Even that okay. guy, what's his face up here, was like considering the fact that he was a better physician than he is. Yeah. When? I was he gonna say something? As I well, for now, let's focus on getting back to yeah. our friend and seeing if she's still alive. I still think we might be able to convince her village to take her back because we've gotten an admission from her that she's not a worshiper of the Theosian gods. So we know she's innocent of that crime. We do, but they don't believe that. There's right. No They're not, not going to believe that. Otherwise. Well, if they don't, like, I, I say we go there, we try to get them to believe. If they don't, we take her with us. Maybe we talk about this after we get back, and if she's actually alive. Yeah, let's, that yeah. yeah. I hope she's alive. We haven't had a long rest yet, but I don't, I don't think we should have one until we get all, all the way right, back let's there. Let's go down the tube. I'll take a all level right. of exhaustion to get back there who, before uh, the long rest. Who goes, what order are you guys into the tube in, just out of curiosity? I can go first. I guess I go first. Or okay, Valen, you want first. to? You can. Well, I'll go <laughs> first. Okay. I want to like burn the body on the way out. Can I like, light my torch and lay it? Oh, burn his him in his office? Sure, yeah. You like the office on fire? Okay. All right, so uh, you guys head out. Yeah. Um. So, uh, Valen, you're sliding down the tube, Whee! and as you're sliding down, you hear a buzzing noise getting closer and closer. Oh God! Can I can I stop and be like, guys, stop! Don't come uh, any further! I'm like, my arms out and legs yeah, out. Yeah. You managed to slide to a stop in this like almost vertical tube at this point and beneath you you can see one of those blade wheel things you you saw earlier and it's going oh god underneath you so just to get a better understanding of what i'm seeing here <clears throat> it's like central in the tube and it's like a fan in the middle no like there's a it's blade. like a bar going across there's a bar going across the tube and there's blades sticking out like all the way down. It's like and it's, grinding. And it's grinding. It's like a grinder. Oh mm. god. Yeah. Okay, guys, this, this isn't gonna work. <laughs> what? We have no way out. It's blocked. It's blocked up. Well, how do we get out then? Not this way. Climb up. Uh, uh, way you, find something you definitely, up. you definitely kind of can't climb up at this point. Oh god. Uh, besides, the office of, is on fire. <laughs> That's right. Fire. Okay, so I'm going to cast Shatter right on that blade wheel thing. All right, you blow right, it to pieces. Up. Oh, good. Nice. It's, it's just made of bronze. So <laughs> you blow it to pieces, and you guys slide out into God the ocean. Damn. All right. Wow, that was close. <laughs> nice little fu on the way out. Nice. <laughs> yeah. You burn my you burn my incarnation of myself and my character. You're gonna get meat grinded. I'm glad you had a shatter left. <laughs> my God. Yeah. No kidding. Right so down the tube we go. <laughs> you slip out. I actually had a ton of spell slots left after that. Oh. Hey, you did a lot of stabbing. How'd you guys like that boss fight, Go right. God. Was, uh, that was that was See, that's the trick. Is I had you fight one of those things. As foreshadowing, so that you would properly understand how bad it was for there to be four of them. Yeah. If I'm I didn't have you fight been... one of them, you wouldn't, you know, be able to appreciate that. I'm just glad for that turn undead. It's like yeah. only had to kill one and then just hide in the office. Yeah. Can we talk about for a second how literally, <laughs> if it weren't for that turn undead, there's like no fucking way. <laughs> it's like no fucking way. We're losing a party member each time the skeleton took a turn. All.
All right, so you guys are in the ocean. You snorkel yeah. up. And snorkel you, our way. And you swim your way over to the plague lands. Yeah. Yay. Um, so you guys, I presume, you want to go find the girl before we end for tonight, yeah? Yeah, going yeah, straight yeah. there. She's still alive. We have not okay. had a long rest. Like, we left, we came back, we're... Yeah, uh, it's like we're not like 16 hours. Even exhausted. if I take a level of exhaustion, I'm okay. I'm okay with this. It's physically exhausted at this point. All right. Well, you head back. Um, we told her we'd be <coughs> back in like three days. We come back like less than 24 Same hours day, later. Yeah. We thought it would take longer to cross the water, I think. Yeah. So you head back, and it takes you a while. Um, you've probably been gone like, I mean, there was some travel. There yeah. was travel time. Sure <clears throat> then there was water travel that was ours so it's been close to a day i mean you were uh, you because okay. there was overland travel you didn't leave her in a thing right next to the water there yeah. were there was hours of travel to get from where you left her to the water and then hours of water and then you're in the place and then hours now it's the hours, dungeon, back, hours, hours so, back so we've gone like 24 hours plus without sleep <laughs> no it's been when I say a day, I mean a day of daylight. It's a day of daylight. Like, okay. okay. It's like getting dark when you find her. Okay. okay. Um, or it's been dark for a little bit. Yeah. And uh, as you approach, and you peer in to the uh, the place where you left Suzanne. Suzanne. So I rolled uh, circumstances the same way I roll for you guys when you're sleeping oh, at night no. to Don't see what kind Susie. of like what kind of encounter might have happened. And uh, as you peer inside, you see Suzanne uh, alive and well, cowering oh. in a corner. Oh my god! <laughs> Suzanne, are you okay? We're back. It, yes, I'm. I'm all right. Are you okay? Yes, we're okay. Oh Is, are you injured at all? Did anything happen? No, nothing. Nothing bothered me at all. I was completely <laughs> safe. Oh, God, oh. thank goodness. Good. I'm going to give Susan a big hug if she'll let. <sighs> okay, oh. she she blushes. Oh, Susan, I miss you so much. I'm glad you're okay. I know everyone was she, really has her arms, she has her arms straight out, like, away from you, like, not hugging back. Like, she's oh. kind of uncomfortable and doesn't know what this is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And I'm she's like, it. but Come but we're not married. <laughs> I just give in your uh, uh, hug. Uh, it is, it, it's not. It isn't right for a man and woman to to press their bodies together like that. On the oh goodness, <laughs> no, Suzanne, why do you have to do this? To me? I just like. Oh, uh, it's too tired to put up a fight. I just like get my bed roll and go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, I'm not gonna stop torturing you with this. No. <laughs> Don't make me kill Susan myself. I'll... Oh my god! I'll kill her myself, man. Animator. Then you get <laughs> if it's dead made, she can be your first undead. Oh no! I feel like that needs to be an Put honor. The headdress on her. <laughs> the team. Team will say it. We'll say to Suzanne. Uh, on our on our way back north, we'll see if we can. Uh, convince your village of your of your faith. Maybe oh well, that, that, that sounds like a plan that everyone has agreed upon, and you all have a complete consensus on doing. <laughs> really? We're not. No, I'm, sorry, I'm, I'm kidding. No, it's like literally the, the party God, still has God, not decided on doing that. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Before I go to bed, how do you feel about going back to your village? I feel like what they did to you. Do you even want to go? Back? I don't really have anyone to return to. My family is dead, and my village tried to kill me. Do you, well, would you rather sense. be with us than the village? I, I think so. I suppose so. It's been good. So I like the idea of free food and getting paid. I've never gotten paid before. There's a better free, life than the one she leaves behind. Keeping you alive. I'm not going to let you starve. Wow, you guys actually, you're going to have Suzanne. She's going to be like on your boat. <laughs> Are you guys gonna find a home for this chick, or are you literally gonna adopt a fucking? I was, peasant? I was hoping to find a home for her somewhere. That is <laughs> well, the funniest so, shit. I am, I am actually okay with having like a crew full of like people we pick up. Oh, my people you need Art. If, okay, so if she stays with us, I'm teaching her how to fight. You mean Argos' harem, not just random people? <laughs> oh God. <laughs> <laughs> 
We'll play it coy. I think it people. might be nice to find somebody to take care of her and Ejidon, but barring that, if she stays on the ship, I'm teaching her how to fight. All right, but okay, the, in the party easy. folder, there's a subfolder called Crew, and I put Suzanne in it. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, hey! I'm, oh. Glad, I'm glad my random like thing turned into such a happy moment for everyone. I'm I feel invested. Alive, like... I feel you're invested because I my heart was like gonna die if this <laughs> if this girl was dead. I was gonna know, like being cry. Brats or something. <laughs> I thought yeah, I, I thought she was gonna be I'm dead like... by the time we got back. I'm like we're leaving her alone in the Plaguelands. This is an awful idea. But Susan, wow, you did, Suzanne. You did it's great. Suzanne. You God damn it! Pronounce her fucking <laughs> name right. It's not even a complicated <laughs> name. <man. laughs> You've been renamed to Susan. Think about if you wanted to file a lawsuit against Zan, you would sue Zan. <laughs> <laughs> Screw the doctor, this is Zan's character. She even got his name it's in her. So I don't care what her legal name is. It's like a pet nickname. Uh, like you're renaming her like a pet. Like, yeah. like but, uh... but Master, to give me a nickname. Good so freaking serious. God! <laughs> Go on. <laughs> no! <laughs> Don't call him master. <laughs> uh, you shouldn't give me a pet name until after we're married, though. Oh, okay, God. I'll work on that. <laughs> you don't need to call him master. We are I mean, equals. Lots do, I know. I just no, Argos, <laughs> it's not okay. Are you gonna take her like magic potion and her dagger back? Or are you gonna let her have those? She can have. I mean, almost. I feel like she might do, dagger back. do more I mean, damage to herself with that dagger than she okay, would do to. Yeah. Well, so after a, just after in a case. little while, Suzanne is like, uh, "Master, you look tired. Would you like me to rub your feet?" I'm so oh, tired. God. <laughs> Theme that is sounds nice. <laughs> 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 my feet up outside of the bedroll. Just goes, God. Okay. Yeah. Like me when it's my watch. <laughs> yep. Theme sickened. <laughs> this and is not from nice the plague. Foot. My feet are all wet. My socks are really wet, Susan. Will you take them off, please? They're so. Su French. Suzanne turns out to be the fucking best assassin ever. <laughs> <laughs> she yeah, like man. kills kills Argos in his sleep that and fucking slinks out oh, like God. and steals yeah, his flame. <laughs> that was an epi be. That was actually straight up just an episode of Firefly, like exactly. <laughs> Uh huh. All right. Uh, anyway, um, <coughs> all right. So, fuck. It's like one a.m. This feels good to stop. Yeah, it's a good place to stop. Uh, you. Well, you did it. You did you it. Do it. We you reached it. Did it. Did did I mean, I, I feel like animated. our our biggest accomplishment tonight is keeping Suzanne alive. <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> hey, hey, hey! You crippled the Empire's undead production at this base. Is you that, put yeah. down a fucking mad scientist who is cooking up new kinds of undead for them. Like, no more new shit from Tycho's. I mean, yeah, like... It was a dead end, but yeah. You, you didn't find what you were looking for, but you kicked the Empire in the nuts again. So, like, that's good not... That, that's that not feels like good. It feels time. good. That does feel good, yeah. I got another part of the flame. I got an ember, which I'm excited. Well, I the, loss, the loss of Dr. Tycho's is not, like... A negligible loss. Like he was pretty talented. He was making new things for them. Like he's you gone it, now. You think it was the right decision that we killed? Like there's no way we yeah. could have just left him be alive. I don't. Know <laughs> we could have sworn allegiance like. and joined the empire at that point. I mean, there were, there were branching opportunities. <laughs> I mean, Tycho's was kind of, like killing Tycho's was kind of the blow to the empire. If you'd left him alive, then you wouldn't have really done any damage, right? You would have just. He'd just go back to work, like you know. You just killed some of his shit. He doesn't. He'll make new ones. So, yeah, like leaving him alive might have been. There, there's the. I'm not going to talk about the morality of it. Like that's up to you guys. But as far he as like the, not as far as the empire being your enemy, killing him was the one thing you did up there that ha will have a impact on the campaign world that matters. Okay. Um, because he, if you had left him alive. He would have kept making new stuff, and then you might have had to fight that new stuff later. It would have been even worse. <laughs> so, yeah, you might like at level sixteen, the Empire might have whipped out Tycho's new, like make <laughs> <a> undead <laughs> for the graveyard. Yeah, like make undead. <laughs> <coughs> 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 
<coughs> so yeah, it was, it was a lot of sneaking. I had I can't believe we didn't walk away with what we thought we were going to. It's kind of. Oh, confusing. did I get you with the plot twist? You got me with the twist. Yeah, we thought we thought we were sold on the on it being the empire behind the plague. Yeah, we were. We were totally sold on that. <laughs> I think hey. I, I think that was their fault until we rescued Suzanne. He's like, we I really gotta mess with these guys. <laughs> and then like the violence. I, was yeah, I I thought it was the Empire oh, since no. we were on Hesperides. Oh, no, 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 no. This twist has been established before we started the campaign. That that is the twist of the story arc. That is not something that was changed. I know it's just a joke. That is, no, no, that is it has been like that is the case. Yeah. yeah, I I I thought it was the empire behind the plague since we were on Hesperides. All I needed was somebody else to point us in that direction. And go, yep, yep, we're there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that's why this twist works because yeah. you guys have been set up to assume the empire is behind everything. Yeah. That's uh, exactly why this story arc works. Clever yeah. writing. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Tycho's was a fun boss fight. Yeah. Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> I, I, like, a, I need to like, rest IRL after that. I need to... <laughs> Matt cracked me up so much with that fucking comparison. <laughs> it was so true, though. He's like, Skype, what are you doing? Like, yeah, yeah. I walk in. Like, what's Zane going to yell at? <laughs> <laughs> Idiots! <laughs> <laughs> Please, someone out there, just oh, like, what? Well, maybe I'll do it. I'll just put like a little name tag over all the four guys and think of what Zane's yelling at. Really he he shall be missed. <laughs> oh. All right, well, I'm carrying his soul in my body, so Dr. Tychus will always be with me. Yeah, you've got uh, Avapolos, or, yeah, Avapolos and Tychus. You took their embers. Awesome, good people to have their embers. You, you should keep track of that, by the way. I'll write it down. You need to keep an ember count, my friend, okay. because it, it is going to matter when you start hitting certain numbers. I'm so excited. Oh. It's, you're, still wake, you're still waking it up. It's, it's not ready yet. All right, you guys are the best. <laughs> you no, too. You. We'll talk to you guys next you week. Too, Zan. <laughs> aw, aw, thanks. I'm glad you guys are enjoying the campaign so much. Uh, oh, next you session, you guys get attacked by rats and they eat Suzanne. No! Ah! But she got her own <laughs> sub handout category. We're gonna I'm sleeping in the doorway some, again. Some, uh, some plate mail. <laughs> plate <laughs> mail. <laughs> We'll get to some plate mail. Oh, stick, stick her in full plate and be like, okay, you have disadvantage on everything and you can't move very quickly. But you're not so stand there and take but the dodge action. Just stand there and take the dodge action. Yeah. <laughs> you have 18 AC. Yeah, just hold this shield in front of you. <laughs> I thought shields were. Bang, bang, bang. Hold the shield in front of your face. The mission went from destroy the empire to keep Suzanne alive at all costs. <laughs> yeah. oh, well, you learned how to say her name, Matt. I'm so so I'm so proud of you. I'll, there forget, you by, go. I'll forget by next week. Don't worry. <laughs>